ba boom. Okay, so this is the part of the VOD where I explain what this is. Yeah. Uh, this is a fundraiser for Aaron, who is here. Hello. Uh, we may be getting Chris later. I, I have no idea. Um, but, <laughs> um, Mayhem was alright. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so what we're doing is, uh, yeah, uh, donate, uh, to donate, uh, there's like a, that one lady from One Punch Man, uh, she's still the donate button on my channel. Uh, it's a good button. Oh, snap. <laughs> Sudden, sudden, uh... <laughs> <laughs> God, these intros. Uh... Was that Virgil just, like, slapping him from the from the, the side? Like, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> these versus screens. I don't recall him maybe, you know, doing that. Yeah, this is the strangest Lex face I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's no tall order. Is he uh... smizing? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> smizing. Uh, but, yeah, basically... Yeah, you click that to donate, which please do. Uh, please do. We have an incentive to where if we hit a thousand, uh, I will do the uh, do a battle royal in the Uso dancing venue. Whoa! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a venue that uh, makes the wrestlers dance, and most of the moves are now dance moves. Uh, Heck yeah. <laughs> it's like a combative version of the Killer Instinct humiliations. I like that. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, other than that, uh, the only other gimmick is that uh, if the opponents are in specific factions, I'm just going to switch them around to be funny. Uh, mm. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. For clarification, the wacky stuff is not a faction, correct? Like, that's just... They... They're just wacky. They're not togetherness they're not together in their wacky they're just disparately wacky <laughs> uh, they actually kind of are uh but you can't oh, you can't I take it back <laughs> for like the wacky and inland guys you can't really change that um mm. which i mean that's fine <laughs> uh yeah i would say for a while in, in we... the sense of um you know if you are if you are out there in the world and you feel that your wackiness uh you know is not a you know it doesn't. It doesn't separate you. Is what I'm saying. You. You can feel. We can be wacky together. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm. Uh, you know, I feel closest with Crush Death. 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 <laughs> crush uh, death. Yeah, death. Look, Crush Death. Look, if you want to hang around wearing a snorkel, no, more power to you. That's <laughs> that's what's up. But yeah, there is like a technically a lot of alternate costumes in this game that aren't documented. So that would also be a good hmm. idea to document those. I wonder if they're, like, interchangeable. Like, can you have Lex Luger wearing a snorkeling outfit? That's... Sadly, no, nope. but... Ah, dang it. <laughs> like, he came out of the red NWO outfit. You can change that into the white NWO or Horseman or Raven's Flock. I like ah. putting everybody in Raven's Flock. <laughs> it's a it's a good... Yeah, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> so, um... This is so... before they timed the Raven's Flock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, 128 characters means everybody, so we are going to have mm. some heels to boo at. Um, Heck yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, I should probably skip over this. Like, no, no, we're putting everybody No, here. we should, yeah. <laughs> but it's been, a, it's been a good week to build towards some, some hater stuff. I'm a, I'm a pretty big Jimmy Hart hater. I'm, I'm, I'm here to <laughs> boo for Jimmy Hart. I don't know, he did that promo with Robbie Ro Road Steamer, so... <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that, like, monster fighting thing he did on, like, Netflix where Lance Hendrickson is the announcer? Of course he is. <laughs> and the monsters do, like, fatalities to each other. It's the weirdest thing. I'll have to, like, show you that at some point if you haven't seen it. It's... Hell yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. Hart's... I don't know. He's had a weird arc. Also, yeah, white NWO Jimmy Hart. Like, that. That that's a good look. <laughs> but, Pretty good. Uh, so, for the first match... We have, this is a perfect uh, first match here. We have one of the Nitro <laughs> Girls. Uh, I don't Nitro know, Girls? I don't know anything about them, so we're Where just... is AC Jazz these days? <laughs> no idea. I don't um, think any of the Nitro Girls are posting. They're not, they're not online posting. <laughs> like, she... hey, I was one of the Nitro Girls. <laughs> she Chrome has Dome, fight... however. Yeah, she has to fight Chrome Dome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so before we start, the options are uh, for round for round one. 
and possibly round two. I think we're doing like round one and then half of round two. Is that um, Cycloid Beta next to? <laughs> yeah, I also made the Cycloid Gamma joke. <laughs> but, ah, okay, you beat me to it. Never mind. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, three minute time limit. Uh, difficulty hard, surprise attacks, yes. So this could go either way. <laughs> mm. No, Why not. did it say I can see me on the player two side? I'm not. Uh, uh, I guess because Chrome Dome. Is also, I love of... this like GeoCities GIF of loading on the. That's that's incredible. Yeah. All right, get it, get him, Doral. <laughs> oh yeah, Doral. Do the secret characters have promos or character select? Sadly, no. So we don't get a chromo or an AC Jazz promo. But a chromo would have been flawless. That that would have been. <laughs> Imagine they did like weird like CGI FMVs for them. <laughs> yeah, like like you know Austin in some weird CG warehouse that is on fire constantly, and then Chrome Dome <laughs> runs in. Where are you? Where are they going? Oh. Yeah, they okay. do this sometimes. Okay, switch places. Yeah. Okay. Oop, oop, oop. Okay, we're <laughs> back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Head scissors, the Frankensteiner, get it? So. Head scissors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> expect to hear a lot of. One. He kicked out. Yeah, that. He kicked and, out. And also the Frankensteiner. <laughs> oh, also, yeah, ring, uh, ring outs are also uh, in effect. The computer. Sometimes just doesn't really acknowledge it, so sometimes yeah. I assume the twenty count. Uh, I mean they're they're de they're too dedicated to to just to doing head scissors. <laughs> they, they they are paying no mind to the to the count. Uh, we're we're at fifteen. I don't know. Do, do I hear seventeen? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Never mind. <laughs> What I what I like is that uh, I don't know if we'll see it, but Chrome Dome has the Alex Wright dance as a taunt for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I feel yeah, like mutuals do this. <laughs> <laughs> the test of might is so weird in this game. It's a tug of war with a health bar with the health bars more or less. Hmm. I like a good test your might, and if it's if it's test your might tied to life bar, I can get behind that. I mean, it's is it um when when your life bar runs out in this, is it just kind of like you're not getting back up, period, or is it like a decreased stamina type of attribute? Oh my God, where'd you get that? Decreased, decreased. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, I think that's also uh, how you pin them. Ah. Uh. So. But like Chrome Dome gets taunt once and get health back, so. Hmm. Got the got the idle thing going on. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that sound. Which. Oh, uh, that sound is. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Uh, I forget where I heard it from, but I think that was confirmed. That was uh, THQ Hero Sanders Keel biting into an apple. <laughs> uh, there he goes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> into the backbreaker. That's how, that's how I dance when I hear an amen break. <laughs> that's a... Uh, oh, no. God! Wait! You can't just... What? Oh! <laughs> what? He's like, come oh, on, I just got here! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what, what a... What a, what a banger to, to kick things off. That was... <laughs> this game doesn't stink so much when you don't have to play it. Exa it's a great watch mode game. Uh... <laughs> I just okay. wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that problematic run-in to be the thing that like caps off the end of the match. It's like, nope, it's yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, he's the kind your, your of five-minute uh, classics with the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean it was the '90s. Uh... Yeah, it's '90s kids <laughs> doing problematic shit. Hey, flapper. But well, now we have a '40s uh, kid with the flapper dancer, <laughs> uh, and she has to face uh, one Mike Enos. It doesn't get his full name for some reason. kids doing prohibition shit. Rick Rude <laughs> looks weird here. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, got, he's, he's a got... little too... <laughs> his in-game model's even more so. He's got, like, a weird kind of, like, side buzz thing going on. <laughs> yeah, it, that's something uncanny about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, Mike Enos has to fight a uh, flapper. Okay. 
<laughs> I love it when it's yes, a real do. wrestler having to fight like a weird <laughs> hidden character. And there's a lot of that going on. Uh, stages are random. Uh, we have yet to see a wacky one yet, but, you know. Hmm. Hey there. Um, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's, uh, it's thunder. Yeah, it's normal WCW. Oh, is this... Where, is oh, my God. Clever, please. Calm down. So I know WCW versus WWF was the big thing, but the one thing that WCW definitely won with was the venues. What? Clever. What? <laughs> <laughs> Kick and butt. Kick and butt. Clapper either has really high, like, I don't even want to say stats. I don't know the mechanics. I'm just <laughs> I don't think speculating they have, that. I don't even think they have stats. Uh, but Clapper may be a good character. By <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, good, hey. I mean, um, oh, wait. Like it's, 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 drop. it's the oh geez okay Enos. It may be a Def Jam thing where it's like it says they don't have stats, but they might. Ah. Because <laughs> Def Jam. I feel the, like if you can do all this in heels, you're uh, you're probably pretty good at wrestling. Oh yeah, there's probably a Joshi wrestler that's able to do this. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah. It's probably me, you. <laughs> yeah. But uh. I yeah, WCW had the best venues because Bash of the Beach One, is like the. Yeah, that, that scenery. That's a pretty so solid, cool. uh, yeah. Sand and surf. <laughs> not to be confused with surf and turf. So, somehow there's not a lobster that's, uh... Hmm. There is a cow. <laughs> but that, there is a cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, ring around the rosy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just going, Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did, did Enos just... Did someone toss oh, Enos a ladder that Enos then threw? I... <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Like, this, it's this... like, you know how you never see the guy who throws Steve Austin his beers? Maybe it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're invisible knowing this game. It could be. I, I've never once seen the person who throws the beer into the ring. It's just... Hidden beer, man. <laughs> I think the body parts are in how much hit points the body part can take. That would make sense. Ah, uh, I like that. That's more. That's you know. That means that someone had to assign the, those sim stats to a cow model. That's pretty good. Well, that's that's the thing. None of the wacky characters have stats. <laughs> like they're all oh. just normal. Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> but again, it might they might be lying to us. Like Def Jam, oh no, Flapper! So, come on, Flapper, you can turn this around. She likes oh, to do God. a lot of flying moves. Yeah, the high flyer flapper. That's what they call her. Damn. Uh oh. Well. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I don't apparently. know if I agree with that decision, but it is what it is. <laughs> it, it works by fighting game rules, basically. Yeah. Um, you know. All right, Enos. You gotta. You gotta. Basically, gotta buy there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike flapper today... was looking real good out of the gate there. That was <laughs> tumultuous. <laughs> that, that could just be the, the name of a character, to be fair. Um, but um, so Mike Tanay versus uh, the, <laughs> yeah, that, versus the oh uh, gosh, the uh, the native. Let's say oh I, like, yeah. Uh, also, this description. Apparently, he's in here because of a joke that I don't get. I truly don't get it. I I need to I need to research this. <laughs> I think Collector gonna, uh, tried to, and all he found was just articles about wrestling in India, which isn't anything. <laughs> so, uh, the native also has, um, I think, uh, is that like the more acceptable way to refer to him? Like, just calling him Indian doesn't sound right. M Miriam Webster, uh, Indian wrestling, wrestling in which two people lie side by side on their backs in reverse position, locking their near arms and... Th I don't... <laughs> if this is supposed to be... I I don't think... I don't think I get it. <laughs> yeah, if it was referring to that, like... He would show... Like... References to that? Because this is just a guy. <laughs> like, um, yeah. Like, I don't... 
I'm just gonna assume it's something racist. Yeah, it draws inspiration oh, from various fire. forms of catch wrestling and shoot wrestling. Oh no! Oh. Kick and butt. Like today, no! Uh. Okay, let me let's try this. <laughs> oh, that was a. Hmm. You know, just just flailing that look. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> this is already so good. This might be the best wrestling game. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming convinced. <laughs> I, just, I don't... I'm still stuck on what the get it thing is, because it's like, no, no, I don't, Thunder. I'm, I'm sorry to say. Yeah, it's... Probably not I'll, the only game that might. Today there has to be like it. some game, some ancient game facts thread about this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually putting Mike today in my Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 mod because of TNA Impact. So, um, but we have. Oh, maybe a Wild McDaniel's reference. Yeah, maybe. But like, if it was like, why didn't they just say who we? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Scotty Riggs. Uh, we got Scotty versus, Riggs. Who, uh, as a kid, I, he always reminded me of Cervantes for some reason. Um, I can see it. Versus uh, this very unhappy-looking TV <laughs> producer. You know, not all, not all, not all uh, pictures are taken uh, <laughs> in a way where they age gracefully. <laughs> none, uh, none of these THU guys are happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's okay, look, man. Can I go to lunch now? I'm, uh, <laughs> and just... That is that is the face of a man whose only other credit I can find is for a Rugrats game. Uh, that but... that explains a lot. That, <laughs> that's the that's the face you make when you're when you're working on rug, the Rugrats game, and then someone busts in like, "Hey, you know, you know, your, your code for thunder is overdue." Rug... Also, you got to wrestle Scotty Riggs. <laughs> Uh, Scotty Riggs is doing good nowadays. That's great to hear, because just the theming of the flock, it's like, I hope these guys are doing good nowadays. Xander's <laughs> <laughs> Keel brought his good Ghost in the Shell shirt. Wait, is that like a mm. thing? Frankensteiner! Mm. The Frankensteiner. <laughs> the only Frankensteiner. Keel is, <laughs> Keel is kind of legendary for as a THQ producer, because he was the guy that was just like... That always got stuff done in budget on time with like no hmm. failings. <laughs> so it's, it's weird that, you know. Wait, is that 5 o'clock Tony? The suspenders and the long hair. Uh... The we'll get to 5 o'clock Tony in a bit. Uh... But 5 o'clock Tony might, might take some explaining. <laughs> Jim Kelly, if he was a white guy. Oh, God. <laughs> That is his actual name. Like, that's not a typo. His name is Jim Killy. Hmm. And he's Canadian, I guess. <laughs> Particle suplex! Riggs is putting the hurt on! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he has it in the picture on the select screen. He wore it during the Thunder interview on the PlayStation Underground. He he just for that rules. Oh, here oh, comes uh, John Ordell from THQ. Kinda, <laughs> that kind of just dropped the... The garbage can, but it's okay. It's a... Yeah, the frame the frame rate in this game is a mess. <laughs> you need me here. <laughs> Just you know, it's it's when you have to wrestle people one at a time. It's <laughs> also the funny thing is I am uh, I am listing what interference has happened for uh, what people. Because uh, I'm gonna make them tag teams in the uh, pro wrestling sim project I'm doing after Combo Breaker. <laughs> the Frankensteiner! <laughs> the Frankensteiner. Every time I see this game running at different speeds, none of them will correct to me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like running a DOS game. <laughs> There's probably at least one wrestling game that looks to be, you know, not as fluid. I. I can't think of one off my head. I'm just saying. Oh, Wait, shit. No, Van Hammer's here now. <laughs> Another? Who? Huh? While flexing? 
<laughs> wow, apparently Van Hammer is not uh, John Ordell does not like him. <laughs> yeah, Ordell just gets skedaddled. That's... <laughs> I do on, like the Jim. font on these shirts. It's a good font. Yeah. When, when uh, you can read it. It's a... <laughs> wow. Damn. None of the hidden characters are, like, they can People win. People are throwing things. <laughs> they can win over actual wrestlers. It's just, it's just not happening right now for some reason. <laughs> I think maybe, you know, they just... There's some preferential treatment going on. I don't know. Some under the table shenanigans. <laughs> People are trying to pale their way through the bracket. That's. <laughs> yeah, Mike. I blame, I blame Hogan per usual. <laughs> I, I I I love that Mike Tenay was the timer scammer. That is so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Arn Anderson for fighting a. Um... Armed Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's fighting a Monty Python reference. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, that was a bunch of snow falling outside. Uh, Open the door and says, "Give me your car. I'm taking your car." <laughs> Scar is like, "What is car?" <laughs> Van, I don't, I haven't heard of that for Van Hammer, but I heard he did a lot of unsafe shit. Um, he's also the mm. guy that like, you think that like sick boy is the least memorable guy in uh, the flock, but it's like, Whoa. oh yeah, Van Hammer. Yep. What is happening? This is the hidden arena, the underwater venue. This is an, this is an amazing audience. <laughs> yeah. For a wrestling show. The hidden arenas are so good. All uh, of the sea life here to here to see Arn take the bell. <laughs> well, also, the frame rate kind of just dies here, but <laughs> was this finisher power bomb and he held both legs and threw him over his shoulder? And, that just sounds oh, like a fire that throw was... ass move. That was a high risk uh, thing you just did there, Squire. You're uh... a. <laughs> Van Hammer got pissed when he was called Private Stash because he didn't get that it was a weed reference and thought he deserved a higher rank. <laughs> wow. Power <laughs> bomb. Power bomb. Oh. <laughs> I love the fade noises. Don't trust that dolphin. <laughs> That's a that's a, a Frankensteiner. That Frankensteiner. <laughs> <laughs> I hear mixed reception with uh, Dolphin. Squire, get in there. Squire's a uh, Squire. Really, I mean, Squire's trying. Ah, uh, you know, you're distracted by all this beautiful sea life. I guess you just wouldn't really. Also, no one was actually loud. No one was counting. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. There's no fish ref to count. Like, you're just... <laughs> Master Roll Gambit from Arn Anderson. <laughs> so we have um, our first real wrestler versus real wrestler match, but they're not I will say, of... Arn Anderson, good good lung strength to just be underwater for that long to, for the count out. Good, good time. Uh, who's, oh, who's up next? Uh, Mongo versus La Parka, so that means oh, that... Shit. Uh, La Parka will now be a horseman. <laughs> I I love this. I love this for numerous reasons, most of which I'm really hoping that. Uh, okay, we're, we're we're horsing it up. <laughs> I don't remember which La Parka this is. Is the thing? He's the original, I believe. Is OG La Parka? Okay. Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, it looks like a. Yeah, guitar with a chair. Look at this goofball. I love him. Cool as shit. <laughs> God, these versus screens are so... B... R's... <laughs> B R B R's. Where's Scott Norton? Uh, he is, uh... This is the ideal... Is this Stonehenge? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 it is. The ideal La Parka sure. Battleground. Ow! <laughs> uh... That's it out because I assume it's like a stone ring, I guess. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Mongo in this outfit just kind of makes him look like uh, All Japan Wolf to me. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, Van uh, anybody gonna... Oh, oh god. Scru cr scrunchy crunchy. <laughs> scr scrunchy crunchy. The Frankensteiner! The Frankensteiner. <laughs> 
they really just don't want to get in the ring half the time. They just, you know, you're, you're in Stonehenge. You want to explore the sites? Okay, they're back. <laughs> <laughs> the sites of which being just, you know, it's, it's just rocks, really. It's just rocks. Yeah. There's no, there's no, there's probably no broader reasoning. I mean, I, that could be wrong. There, there could be deliberate. It's called, you know, people have debated this for ages. <laughs> this is where Rick Flair first wrestled. <laughs> That's a, you're so right. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I wouldn't love Mark to wear a horseman shirt. Yeah, I think the further you go down the slug screen, the more, the less likely it is that they have all costumes. Rick Rude somehow does, even though he's just wearing a suit. <laughs> so, I was going to ask if the in-game model had the same suit, but I just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does, because this is manager Rick Rude. Ah, okay. Man managing Rick Rude. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Somebody just go whoa, 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 and they, <laughs> audience. I used to, when I was younger, get Rick Rude and Jake the Snake confused a lot, and I don't really know why. I think it's just the mustache. That God. stop sign hitbox was very questionable to stop. <laughs> is that milk? <laughs> that is milk, yes. <laughs> well, Parker needs to uh, strengthen his bones. Uh, milk for healthy bones. <laughs> 2% milk for that. Oh god. Yeah, knowing Inland, I'm surprised they didn't shove a Spinal Tap reference in here. Hmm. No, we're not gonna fucking do Stonehenge. <laughs> Who's booing? <laughs> Why are they booing? Well, I guess Leparka's technically a heel, but like he's such uh, a likable okay. heel that it's like it doesn't yeah. quite work. Yeah, you, wa you want... I, I'm a little biased. I want Leparka. I, I don't it's probably because I have a onesie. Where did you come from? Arn! <laughs> Arn, you cheater! <laughs> Dig in your car! Oh, yeah, he was helping Leparka. Okay, so. Yeah. Well, uh, no complaints then. I mean, I like the skelly guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this loading screen too. Um, it's a great matchup uh, coming up here. Also, um, we have Lodi, who is now going to be part of the NWO because hmm. his opponent is Hulk Hogan. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, uh, uh, soy, soy. <laughs> I, I guess I, I got a root for the soy guy. I don't know. I mean, it's <laughs> wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> Lodi is such like a dumb gimmick that I love him. Also, yeah, yeah, it wraps back around into being great. <laughs> Also, yeah, this venue is a thing. Um, <laughs> I do like the buffalo. Though. The, the head banging bison is is a nice touch. That's that's the best I can say. <laughs> is I don't know about the bear, Matt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lodi trans man head cannon. <laughs> for Let's <Pokemon> go. <laughs> you're so you're so real for that. That's. <laughs> yeah, NWO Lodi, like the look works for him. It's really strange. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I would I would believe if you if you told me this was just you know like a late stage NWO guy I, I would I would believe that. <laughs> yeah. NWO kind of became like I don't know why I'm thinking of uh, the dollars from Dorara Raw, but NWO kind of became that after a while. Just anybody could join. <laughs> yeah, it's just you know. It's like hey, you doing anything this weekend? Oh, I'm joining NWO. <laughs> you can imagine if NWO had a uh, headless biker lady. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Like Lodi has massive swole legs. Yeah, that doesn't. They don't really translate that in the games, do they? <laughs> the the boots all seem to be you know, designed in a way, but yeah, something about the um. Oh, uh, the throwing things. They don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they be throwing things? Why is Lodi not the 
Oh, okay, they're the one for home. Okay, I was gonna say. Why aren't the dinner That's in the, a movie? the right choice. <laughs> Why aren't the dinner and a movie guys in this? You could probably text your edit one of them into. Is Aaron Plasma part of the stream? Yes, yeah, right here. Oh, uh, hi. Hello. Yeah. Remember to donate, by the way. <laughs> we're, we're hanging out. Yeah. Please, please help. G gas money to Cobble Breaker is expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they're throwing things. They don't want eight. They don't want either to win, I guess. Yeah, because it's <laughs> the buffalo just throwing things. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're part of the NWO, you just get garbage thrown at you no matter what. Ah, uh, gotcha. The, the minute people see those letters, they just utter, utter fury just comes out. <laughs> like, it's like yeah, because half the time an interesting storyline would happen in NWO would just come in the ring and yeah. Just doing the most, just, just every every slow walk to the ring with that like flicker. I just I, that was not the best time. Wait, who? Reese, he's he's helping Hogan. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Reese. I know the Yeti is. is turned turned against his fellow men. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you hate to see it. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well, That's okay. I mean, it's... if Hogan goes like one and two, actually, wait, is this uh, is this single M? How are we? Uh, yeah, this I, is I didn't ask how we're... There's way okay. too many fucking characters. I was assuming this was structured that way because that would be, you know, a, a year. <laughs> but we're we're good. We're good here. We're here. <laughs> it's Thunder Time. <laughs> it sure is. So we have Giant fighting our first uh, inland developer guy. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, we should we should have done this. You saw what I had to offer last time. You really think you want some? Come and get some this time. I got something that'll fit your neck perfect. I don't know. If, oh like, nice. Ha half of half of these wrestlers seem to like not understand the assignment and start threatening the player. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a so he's fighting from inland. I don't know which guy this is supposed to be, but he's fighting Benji. Ah, uh, I was hoping for Dynamite Johnny. Fuck All right, Benji, money. what you got? Oh shit, we got fuck money. Hey. And hey, thank you for uh, five bu bucks of fuck money. Um, Appreciate I was you. With Vincent and slash Virgil, it's like nah, he has to be the donate alert. That's uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the the uh, goal thing does work, so I don't have to manually keep track of the money anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. My, guess... Mine is still tied to Streamlabs. I should probably change that. <laughs> oh, mine is too, because I that I think that was just like half of my shit is already tied to there. So I'm yeah, like... same. It's yeah, it's it's like not a it's you know not something I could change right now, but. <laughs> it is what it is. Appreciate uh, Benji looking real Ed Boon here. <laughs> yeah, what? Huh. I think it's the jeans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kevin Whoa. Nash's uh, rant is still real good. <laughs> uh, Slambury, which I guess is a baseball themed venue for folks of that font. Uh, hmm. Come on, Benji! I'm just. Oh. I'm just waiting for any of the hidden characters to win. The ones that aren't actual wrestlers. <laughs> That's it. Do the do the hidden ones do um like run-ins often or is it kinda like not Oh they do uh, run-ins. They do run-ins? Okay. I'm hoping yeah, for uh, I'm hoping for Mantis. <laughs> Cause uh Jim Killy got uh assistance from another THQ guy. Yeah, I don't remember like anything about Slamboree. Was that like a <laughs> Slambury 93. One. He kicked out. Yeah, Benji's got oh god. Oh no, this pile of shit. Hi. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it's great when you don't have to play it. Like, in terms of a watch mode, this is one of the best games ever made. <laughs> oh, the la the last Slambury was the David Arquette uh and Jeff Jarrett and DDP thing. Okay, I do actually remember that. I just didn't remember the Slambury brand or whatever. That's... Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does Kevin Nash have just, like, a red for his leg might? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I remember uh, finding out in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, Misawa has a one for head defense. I'm like, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> kind of rude, you yeah. know? <laughs> Giant's uh, kind of behind on health right he's now. A, he's struggling a little bit. I don't yeah. know. Maybe the N1 guys are actually good? <laughs> one. A distinct possibility. I mean, if I... <laughs> I, like, if, I'm, if I'm someone from THQ and you're gonna put me in in, in this roster, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> I could Aku Akuma myself here. I don't. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Is Dennis Rodman in any WCW game? Sadly, no. It'd probably be too expensive. Yeah, he he'd have some weird six-figure asking price out of the gate to be like, look, I'm gonna go to E3. I'm gonna promo your thing. I'm gonna. One. Come on, Benji. you got this. Uh, oh. Benji just has a really trusty WCW logo on his shirt. It's faded a little bit. It's like one of those red bubble shirts. <laughs> uh, Where did? Ooh, the stop sign. Not Benji wins. We got Benji, it let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like rooting for all the self insert guys. That's right. Get out of here, Paul. <laughs> Paul White. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, I was talking about it with some people, uh, yes yesterday, it's like, the, um, the self-insert characters are a point of contention for a lot of people, because I, I hear a lot of people mm. being like, they shouldn't have done that, and I'm like, well, what's, what's the, what, what's the harm in it, really? It's like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, it's a bonus thing for people who went out and got this game to, you know, and maybe didn't want to play as... Hogan. <laughs> yeah. It's it's also like, you know, because, like, you know, you unlock Arn Anderson and, you know, all these guys manually. It's like you have to put in yeah. a cheat code to get the developers. So if you don't want them, you don't have to do the code. <laughs> it's, um, anyway. Oh, yeah, this this matchup. Uh, so Raven is out of uh, Raven's flock now. Um, ah. And uh, the flock has. Oh, a don't forget the don't forget the rants, by the way. <laughs> oh, right, right. I don't know if Raven had. Old. Oh, oh yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. Pick me. Pick somebody else. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Leave me alone. <laughs> Hold the Raven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, whatever. Just pick somebody. I don't fucking. What are you, what are you even doing? <laughs> The Dennis, the Dennis <laughs> Rob in North Korea thing. That reminds me of my favorite bit from that Eric Andre interview where it's just like, oh yeah, what about South Korea? And Dennis is like, oh, I didn't know they had a South Korea. I didn't know they had a North either. And they're just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Rodman, not familiar with the cardinal directions as a concept. Excited to see cardinal directions for the first time. <laughs> Uh, I was actually mistaken. I guess uh, Raven is now part of the NWO, and Miss hmm. Elizabeth is now part of the flock. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> God, this come as you are knockoff. And... <laughs> I guess him being like, um, oh, just do whatever. I guess that does fit the grunge, like gimmick. I guess <laughs> I don't know. That's. It's still is a it, little phoned in, Raven. Is that Elizabeth on a talk show? Is that <laughs> Yeah, is she on Letterman? What the, <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, Raven, uh, the only person I know of that has wrestled in a Melvin show. So there's that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a, that gives a little more cred to the, doing the whole, like, you know, hands off. I... <laughs> I always feel like that's. Oh my God, Raven or yeah. Raven, please, uh, Miss Elizabeth, are you okay? This, this is personal. Yeah. This is receipts. Miss Elizabeth is aggro, right? Now. Ra Raven said something backstage that she did not like. <laughs> oh, that's Liz on Bischoff's Tonight Show parody. Yeah, I feel like they couldn't grab, oh, grab things okay. from you know properties that they didn't have the permission for. <laughs> yeah. It would have been really funny though. Just, just, just cut Bischoff out of that picture entirely, which is fine. <laughs> and you know, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I root for Miss Elizabeth because as much as I like Raven's gimmick, apparently the guy is not so great. Uh, oh so. yeah. <laughs> I, I think again that that bat spot just now <laughs> that felt personal. 
in ways that I don't know. Maybe the co maybe the devs do something. <laughs> oh, Miss Elizabeth just did a unique move, so I guess she has a move set. Hmm. <laughs> I love that song. Ooh, this guy. <laughs> that's a that's a good yeah. Like uh, oh, who? Is that Van Who's? Hammer again? That's Van Hammer again. <laughs> Van, Van Hammer, are you are you okay? Okay. Wait, wait, wait who? Who's, who's this happening? Now? That's is that Chavo? I oh, that's Buff Bagwell. <laughs> Bagwell, what the fuck is going on? Um, <laughs> Raven this is, is this now, is a lot. <laughs> Raven is now friends with Buff Bagwell. The frame rate <laughs> is just dying. Come on, Miss Elizabeth, you gotta, you gotta you clutch know, this. this. She, she, she can, she can still do this. <laughs> Knowing this game, yeah. Cow Palace. <laughs> things are things are afoot at the Cow Palace. Is that why they added Bessie the Cow in this? Just because the Cow Palace thing? It's, it's possible. <laughs> why isn't Judy Bagwell in this? That is a legitimately great question. <laughs> Judy Bagwell and 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 Bessie could have made event at Starcade. That's a that's a tr that's a truism. <laughs> Either Starcade or DDT. <laughs> Raven, what the? <laughs> Raven, bud, I, I don't know. Yeah, that was. Hmm. Oh! This is a lot. Oh no. Fuck money. Oh, thank you for uh, the ten dollars of fuck money. So what was all that, boy? Hey, appreciate you. <laughs> this feels like an FM. FM uh... Three. Raven yeah. wins. You know, the I you do hate to see the loss, but that match was bonkers. Yeah, yeah, that was actually. What do you like... mean in the buff pack? Well, <laughs> comes out of nowhere. Ra just... Raven hit it too many. Yeah, that's why Raven was just like face down at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Unconscious. Raven, like... Raven hit a few too many reefers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it fits him being, you know, in his, in his, uh, his rant, being like, uh, oh, just pick somebody, I don't know. <laughs> so, so much <laughs> happened there because, um, I think Miss Elizabeth just ran into a trash can at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like an FMW match. That was... <laughs> yeah, that, that felt like some Matsushi Fuck stuff, money. yeah, like that. I'm shocked oh. there's no exploding bats in this game. That's thanks for the five dollars of fuck money. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's, um... Onita definitely booked that match. I, I don't think Chalon <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah. So we got Snuff. I wish Snuff had a rant. <laughs> Just look, look at this delightful, this delightful Skelly boy. <laughs> <laughs> it may not weigh a lot, but uh, <laughs> you're gonna die, Prince. Uh, <laughs> the artist formerly known as Prince, which was this guy's gimmick at one point. <laughs> I I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I I noticed this game has glacier in it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it, it it does have glacier, right? I forgot to answer. I'm, that. I I'm chomping into. The, I cannot wait to see if <laughs> glacier has a red or not. Wait, this is a uh, fucking cult of the spoiler from uh, Way of the Warrior. That's what oh my god, you're so what? Hmm. <laughs> I only see, know wait a minute. Did um they didn't publish. That did they? Vertical. No, that was uh. No, actually, that was Naughty Dog. D yeah, were they... yeah. Yeah. Okay. My, <laughs> I got my wires crossed with it. However, <laughs> Snuff does look like someone from Killing Zone. <laughs> he does. Yeah. I feel like Killing Zone would be more appropriate, really. Uh, I also Prince, like how. Uh... Prince, you don't know about the Killing Zone. <laughs> it's so weird how Kill the Despoiler. <laughs> That's a spoiler. I only remember how he sounds in Japanese. Well, we we all. I, I think we're all at a point too where that way of the warrior intro just sounds way better and funnier in Japanese. Like it's just that's the yeah. preferred version. The voice that, acting that talking is, skull is real good. Yeah, the voice acting is so much better in the Japanese version. That yeah. is crazy. And you get you know you get that over white zombie. You're like this is an actual anime intro. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember knocking 
cold now and it would uh, be, be like, Mata Sitana! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Snuff. Snuff, do you got the stuff? Snuff, you can do this. Oh, the little, the little wiggle? I like that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Mom. I don't think Snuff... It's not good for your bones. bones. <laughs> oh, the head scissors is a new inventive move. <laughs> Give give snuff the milk <laughs> from from earlier. Yeah. <laughs> the Frankensteiner. The Frankensteiner. <laughs> yep. Nitro had a character called Frankensteiner in it. But he didn't return. Hmm. I'd argue that Nitro's wacky characters are better than this one's. Because they had like a Frankenstein, they had an anime character named Annie Mae. I do uh, feel like being leg dropped by an uh, animated you know, haunted skeleton would probably hurt more than by being leg dropped by a normal leg. Like, yeah, it would cause more <laughs> psychological damage, I think. One. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the WCW super fan. Yeah, I'm sad he's not here either. Yeah. S Snuff is here trying to start the skeleton war. Let, let go. <laughs> yeah, he was he was he was rallying them right there. <laughs> God, knowing at, at any point I run into that. Uh, Snuff's taunting a lot. Yeah. He's got the strats down. The, the skeleton war begins here at at, <laughs> at Starcade. <laughs> oh, come on, Snuff! One. Kick, kick down. You can pull this off. Okay, good kick out. Oh, you, you just need a little more. Z more. Oh, three seconds. What? Tiffany Payne! Boom! You know. <laughs> snuff, snuff might be my... Snuff, snuff might be my dark horse. <laughs> To take the whole thing. If you got, <laughs> if you got the assist of this stained glass man, <laughs> that's yeah. a that's a tough uh, that's a tough tag team to beat. Just <laughs> God, there's so much happening all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sometimes so we, wrestling is good. <laughs> yeah. So we got um we got another in one guy, John. Um, Let's go, John. Finally John enough, his uh, best bowling shirt for this. The the credits say what his name is. I don't know why he's just called John, because uh, his full name is John R. Sanderson. Uh, hmm. He was he was the network programming for Mortal Kombat X for the PC. Oh, huh. Uh, programming for Zone of the Enders HD collection. Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> John John got the credentials. Maybe he didn't want to like. Invite the "Are you related to Arn Anderson?" kind of deal. Oh, maybe, yeah, but like maybe. Wait, so are we looking at the guy who made the online setup for Mortal Kombat X and in, in Injustice One? <laughs> I mean, that's some, that that's like if you ask a lot of people when the last time Mortal Kombat Netcode was really good, this is the guy. <laughs> so I mean, all all props to him. <laughs> Also, um, John, uh, had a, he was in Nitro, so he had a bio from that guide, and basically, from what I remember, it was like, John is an average guy, he may not have what it takes to have in the ring, uh, you know, uh, eat it out in the ring, but he's about to find out if his one true strength can help him in the ring, and that is a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's, that, that's the exact promo he should have cut in, in his rant. If, if, if they had space on the disc, he would have said that. Yeah. I'm surprised none of them recorded rants. Yeah, that, I mean, maybe it was just, you know, oh. stuff, stuff, cause stuff gets busy. Oh, this guy. Oh, jeez. Uh, so he has to fight him, and he has my fa one of my favorite rants here. Hey, man, here's Alex Wright, the German. If you want to know what the Germans are about, pick me, and you're going to have a hell of a victory. I promise. <laughs> Hell of a wintery. <laughs> the the promise there was a little aggressive. That's <laughs> yeah. He's I don't know. He, <laughs> for how funny the dialogue is. He has one of the most aggressive deliveries yeah. in the game. And it's like, like it was all fine up until that last second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Road Wild. Okay, this is one of the Road Wild. <laughs> this guy in the back's just giving a thumbs up. Repeatedly, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, this Twist of Metal One contestant here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm pretty. It might be all the Squidbillies I'm watching, but I could see early hanging out this venue. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's... <laughs> he does love him some wrestling. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can immediately think of, a, of an animated... Yeah, you know, like a... thing that would make the more sense. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> like, <laughs> If if they let you if they had let you make joke characters like giving you a certain amount of polygons to just model your own shit like that would have been a good feature but yeah John the, no the, the problem with that in inviting that is people just start making dicks they just immediately <laughs> that was fast <laughs> yeah well well the problem was for what I could sorry tell, John Alex Wright also has the same strength as John does but he mm. can actually wrestle, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a lot of motorcycle sounds for that to be a motorcycle-themed uh, menu. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I need a Thunder model for early now. <laughs> which, re which really... The, you know what's funny? I was thinking about the Underbiker, because I overthink these things the other day. Like, no one's really got, like, a current biker gimmick, because I don't know who that's for anymore. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? It just <laughs> Yeah. You know, no, uh... no one is doing the 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 uh I mean, I don't know. I mean there are a lot of bikers in Maine, maybe they like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh so we got a nitro girl. This is uh, fan favorite here. Mantis! Let's go! I don't my, get Mantis my goat. I, I don't know <laughs> what the description is referring to. That could be a Zorak reference, for all I know. That feels Zorak-ish. <laughs> yeah, right. Z Zorak would make more sense as a current gimmick than a biker would, I think. <laughs> yeah. If you were just a weird alien insectoid thing in I the ring, that, that would track harder than oh, just trying to do, like... American bad at like that doesn't work anymore. That's silly think, and stupid. I think <laughs> Dan Housen said that uh, his voice was actually modeled after Zorak, so that tracks because he he uh he also like he you know he was big into like David Lynch and weird shit. I got a him and Ram Kaicho is still genius booking to me. Like that's a, that was a brilliant thing. Shout out to whoever set that up at GCW or what's it? Because I I feel like I ghost book for that. <laughs> Like yeah, I blacked out like from <laughs> a bender of having Run. one sangria <laughs> yesterday. <just> like... You're like, <laughs> you're like, yeah. And then they bring in the, <laughs> and then they start doing sangria in the ring, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> like... <laughs> one. I'd pay money to see Whisper fight a giant mantis in the, in the <laughs> sound coliseum. Yeah. I feel like if you told somebody like Ram Kaicho, like, okay, and then you're gonna fight a, a giant mantis is gonna run in, she'd be like, hell yeah! Yeah, because she's changing off her look all the time. She could just be the mantis. <laughs> <laughs> she's got wrestling's uh, Atena. This is true. She has a different like, look every time you see her. Yeah. <laughs> well, one day she'll bring the wings back. One of these days. Yeah. The, the mechanical, you know, just, just, just utter, just... <laughs> That's an amazing. That's an amazing thought. <laughs> it works. The but best yeah, just bring back. Just do dorky. Just do. Let people do Final Fantasy horse shit. I think is the thing. Like. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess think. the Karashita is dressed up as teeth already. But yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Whisper's not doing so good. Whisper, Wait. it's. <laughs> you know, doing doing your damnedest. This is a. <laughs> what? What? Wait, was I the think elbow? the problem is there's a little more in the way of limbs on Mantis' side. Mantis has like eight going on versus Whisper's. I don't know. It's... Yeah, which also may explain why Whisper was getting up from an elbow drop and it hit Mantis somehow. If the <laughs> hitbox was still active. <laughs> Mantis with the belly to belly. Just, just operating on some kind of general grievous level that. <laughs> <laughs> Uncommon in wrestling. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> Bro broke the thorax. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> uh, you know, if a giant man just puts me in a vertical suplex, I'm just going to assume I did something to earn it. Woo! Jim Neidhart is helping out 
the whisperer, apparently. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Wait, he was helping. Uh, he was helping <laughs> whisper, but he's taunting as he's. He, he's he's joined the Mantis Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fastest uh, heel turn I've ever seen. Yeah, just just being like, no, they they speak the the mantis holy tongue. <laughs> I'm on their side. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, yeah, um, I forgot if I mentioned this, but I was going to have the unofficial WCW Thunder guide with me as I was doing mm. this, but thanks to that fucking snowstorm that uh, <laughs> terrorized me oh, for like two yeah. days, uh, yeah. the shipping got delayed. So. Um, is there any chance of it being on like archive or something? I mean, that's probably a long shot with most like Prima or like Brady game style things, but I looked uh, there was nothing. Th yeah, thankfully thankfully some of that stuff gets preserved, but for a game like Thunder where the audience is disparate, shall we say, like I can <laughs> see people being like a little precious about whether they should upload something like that. Yeah, I mean, if it has any yeah, spicy info, I'll put it somewhere, but, like, the thing is, the hidden characters could have moves. This is true. But, because Nitro, like, one of the inland guys, Dude Man, uh, who, he's, <laughs> he's here, also. Um, we got Dude Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently he had his own moves in that game, and there's no documentation outside of this one guy reading a guide that I could find that talks about it, so... Sometimes you gotta sit with the, the, the dude men to find out what the dudes are planning. And, and I don't know, but it, 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 there's some, some dev out there has the, the, the goods. Or just sitting on a, on a floppy somewhere. <laughs> and they're not talking. <laughs> so we have two just general WCW guys against each other, and they both have rants. This rant. Stand up to the challenge of the British Bulldog, the strongest wrestler in the WCW. Well, come on, step in the ring with me, and I'll take a bite. Out of you. Uh, I give it a five. Yeah. <laughs> so, Better than his war zone of performance, I'll say that much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then we have. Oh, I am Ultimo Dragon. Imagara, game of the Yoki Kina, Anta, game of the Kastega. Yosh Konore and the Gre. Tidy Katskara. I understood bits of that. I think he's. I got. I got. Yeah, I got like a fourth of it. <laughs> I think he's saying kind of a generic like, "Hey, are you ready to you know win the game that pick me or something?" Yeah, the the Z the Zetai need cause is is shared like if you've ever played DOA two, that's how they start <laughs> that game. So that that made pretty that was pretty apparent. Yeah. Oh, this um, this walk in though. I like how both the FMVs he's not wearing the costume he is in the portrait. Yeah. And in the Versus screen, it's different there, too. This is an amazing Versus screen. <laughs> both of them. One of these... <laughs> I, I had to screenshot that one. That's really good. And he's got a different <laughs> one in game. All right. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't make up their mind. It... <laughs> yeah. I, I got I to gotta tweet out that, that Versus screen. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> this is the most normal match yet. Ultimo is pretty, not pretty normal. Way. Yeah, Ultimo has this weird trend where sometimes the game just doesn't like, translate him very well. Because in Revenge, he's like weirdly bulky, and I don't think he was ever that like that wide. <laughs> I don't know what to say now that the, uh, this is just how the game wants you to play it. So I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't even do I any just... faction switching, so I'm like. <laughs> Bulldog! That's like how much in that versus screen Bulldog looks like he's just really going through it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he has left every oven on. He is... Nobody asked how the Bulldog is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Nobody's landed an air move yet. The closest one was Flapper, I think. Yeah, because you kept trying to do it over and over. Like, I'm noticing some of the AI works differently for some characters. 
So that old buffer was simply built different. You, the 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 whole the whole. Uh... <laughs> I'll say this much: it'll they just weren't ready for it. I'll, it'll help a lot when I make these characters in Fire Pro. Ah, which I will do eventually. Fire Pro Ultimate Dragon probably goes pretty hard. Not gonna lie. Uh, there, there's a TV off to the side that's like playing the matchback, and I. Yeah. I wonder how much stuff like that is in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just off to the side here. Oh, it's Booker T. Who's Booker T helping though? I still so can't. Good. I think he's helping. <laughs> out. I'm helping uh, someone. Yeah, yeah. Take that. <laughs> I don't even know. Can you dig it? When I get old. <laughs> Okay, you, you, now you do that, and I'll... Alright. This is two men bullying Ultimo Dragon, who hasn't this had is, a run this in feels, yet. Yeah, uh, this feels unfair. This is so, someone should run in and help. Oh, Wait, I wonder out. if it's, this... Also, the countout's about to happen, so maybe they, maybe they won't get the chance. Yeah, that... That, that felt like some real heel shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Bulldog's not winning any, uh... Any new fans of that one? Really that much. <laughs> uh, so we have, um, I guess this match happened in promo form. Hmm. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for a solid. Uh, I like a good. I like a good. Just I don't know. A good. A good. Just air out your grievances. Kind of promo. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, whatever, you know, whatever you had for lunch that day, it's not sitting well, like... <laughs> that's, uh, that's my review for Thunder. Yeah. Meet me and Gene. <laughs> is, uh... He's gonna have to fight, uh... So you wanna step in the <laughs> ring with the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? Step in the ring with the greatest tactical wrestler in the history of the WCW. <laughs> You know what's really still really good to me is the the look on um the look on Austin's face during that Survivor Series promo about Brett where he's like, "You ran away in shame." <laughs> I gotta I gotta see that. That face is pretty good though. It's it's a good yeah. Oh, Gene is about to uh tell you about philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're in the barnyard. <laughs> Welcome to the barnyard, Overland. <laughs> Bret Hart always puts the in front of everything. Is he like that one guy that'll always say, like, the best buy or something? <laughs> <laughs> can, can only, uh... <laughs> can, can only speak in, in prepositions. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how, um, you know, due to the nature of the FMV, it's like they're always coming out, coming out of the thunder ramp setup. <laughs> and uh, now they're just in a floor. One, he kicked out. Let me tell you about the cream, Gene. You gotta go, you gotta go raise some cows and <laughs> goats. Then you get the cream. <laughs> you mean with the cream, Gene. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think Macho Man has a really good matchup in this, too. The Frankensteiner! The Frankensteiner, yes. One. The Calgary Stampede. <laughs> you know, the Calgary Stampede of the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh, God. Not the not the milk. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, Brett, no, please. Brett, he's just a... Brett, he's just a man. He's not... <laughs> Take your this is calcium. not for human consumption. This is too much vitamin D. Who? It's Whisper oh, again. Who's she fighting? I think she's anti Brett here. Yeah, yep. yeah, she is. Looks like it. Which, uh, funnily enough, uh, she got help from uh, Jim Neidhart, so I guess she's just now a member of the Hart family. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> You know, you know, I'm, I'm kind of here for this result. That horse back there is really happy about it. <laughs> it's a 
Shawn Michaels fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get our. I think we get our first heel here. Ooh. Who sadly does have a pretty good promo of this. I mean, it was before he went off the deep end. Uh, uh you know, re wrestling is. Oh, okay. Jericho Holic, and you pick me. I promise you'll never, ever lose this game again. <laughs> Short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how. I don't know. There's. There, there was a time. <laughs> yeah. There was a time when it was fine for him to just be shitty. Oh god, is it like <laughs> Yeah, neither of these guys have promos, and I'm so sad. Huh. But he has Weird. To, he has to fight psychosis. It's a good sentence to say out of context, really. Yeah. <laughs> some, some would say in his current era, he is... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Why did he That's an amazing. This is an amazing psychosis shot. This is. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy to be where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho just has a top hat on for some reason. He just, you know, I maybe that's the thing. Is he? He. he I think a lot of his bits, he just really wanted to be seen as like twee. If that makes sense, like. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the the bit of the bubbly thing, kind of just got and the, the list was okay and then after that it was like I don't know what he's doing anymore with it. I, I've never really dug the whole Jericho Appreciation Society feel. Yeah. Especially um, now because it's like yeah it's like you have it's, it's, and Jericho in the same way nowadays. Like you, like you like, were saying about the NWO, it's like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I don't know. Join the Jericho Appreciation Society fire. probably. Because <laughs> yes. But anybody... Hang on, like, I don't really like Sammy Guerrero that much. <laughs> <laughs> or at all. I only know his name. Um, um, psychosis, you gotta, you gotta pull this out, man. Jericho can't be stopped. Like, the thing that pisses me I'm off about uh, that thing they were doing with the Latino World Order is that I loved everybody in it, but they didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's like when, um, you know... Uh, I talked to I talked to somebody last night about how neat that Bad Bunny show was, <laughs> and how you know having like Carlito and and company run out like how that was like meaningful in a lot of ways because that was all just kind of a Eddie Guerrero shout out. Um, <laughs> God. I'm, I'm hoping Psychos to pull this out. Attack. Wait a minute. This, this would be a this would be a, a good upset. Wait, who on That's Earth? That's Doug Dillinger. <laughs> Doug Dillinger, what are you? You know, I'm here for this. <laughs> get, get Jericho out of here. You get him. Yep. <laughs> get, give him the give him the chiropractor. Yeah, I like that. Eddie Guerrero does not have a fucking promo in this game. What the hell? That is bizarre. <laughs> Frankly, that, uh... Psychosis, like, get in the ring, get in the ring! God damn it! Uh, uh, skin it! That, that... I want to recount. <laughs> Look at the life bars, like... <laughs> yeah, they're still going, too. You know, sometimes video games, just, just Im imperfect. Just fl flawed. We'll, we'll call, I'm going to chalk that one up to a glitch. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that was intentional. Uh, so we have uh, we have a developer in fight here because we have uh, Sanders ah. Keel of THQ in house squabbling. I like this. <laughs> Sanders Sanders is like, look, you didn't move, the, you didn't get the thing out of the microwave. I had the hot pockets. <laughs> yeah, first. Gucci. You, what do you have to say yeah, about that? Gucci, you and your you and your microwave fish have gone far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci, the face of a man who would microwave fish. He looks like that guy. I'm sorry to say. Uh, I, I hope his office etiquette was better than that. But if I'm gonna point to anybody, <laughs> I love this menu, by the way. This is real good. <laughs> like, a, um, it's real one way in. I like that the ambulance is right there. <laughs> yeah, you know they were fighting on concrete now, so. Yeah. Give me one second. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mute myself while I make this delightful cran 
pineapple beverage. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> The world's longest lockup. <laughs> yeah, with two wrestlers lock up, it's uh <laughs> still going. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, Gucci man. <laughs> the Frankensteiner! The Frankensteiner is is Gucci? I I guess it would I guess you wouldn't be able to use G U C C I, so maybe they were like yeah, maybe. But was that also even a company back then? Well, I assume Gucci is like a like a like the uh, like the like a family name. I, I'm not, I don't want to assume about Gucci. Don't don't tell. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Italian luxury fashion house. <laughs> Either that or uh, he just likes the word Gucci. <laughs> he, he he might just be. Yeah, maybe that's his. Uh, Although the founder of uh, yeah, the founder of Gucci's name was Gucci O Gucci. That's his name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe you know, probably no relation. <laughs> <laughs> probably. This does feel FMW like in the sense that again, all of the chain link you would expect something horrific to happen, but Oh well, speaking speaking of it's sleep dep ed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who's he? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Sleep Dep Ed's the Ed one guy, so. Uh, Gucci and Sleep Dep Ed. They're, uh... Sanders' model has, like, Rocco body energy. God, it does. <laughs> just, it's, it's the shorts. <laughs> yeah, God. You could easily just retexture him into Rick and Rocco. <laughs> Our Gucci's that, like, that's a good wrestling stable, just a Mega 64 lineup. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> My next pro wrestling sim idea. <laughs> it's them, but when they were sweeting Dragon Ball, like it's, it's... <laughs> on timer, there goes Gucci. But for the but for the grace of Gucci. <laughs> so, yeah, Sander is uh, one of the most well-respected founders. <laughs> really pour it off there. <laughs> we, we love a we love a ring that's propped up by barrels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not enough uh, barrels these days. <laughs> yeah. Inland is better than THQ. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. You love to see it. It's so you're you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so gorilla. Don't, mm. don't monkey with him. Uh, could be snacks to the gorilla. Could be. Um, and he has to fight. <laughs> hey, wait a second. I know what you're thinking. You want to be me like everybody else. Forget about it. You don't have the mental skills or the dexterity. Go on. Go pick somebody else. Pick Hogan or some. Don't pick me. Wow. Go. <laughs> wow. Go. Just t telling you to move your cursor. And it's like, all right, well, if you insist. <laughs> well, I ain't playing as you, so... <laughs> uh, is he Hollywood Hogan because Hollywood also sucks? Yeah, you know, I never thought of it that way, but... but if, if, if he had committed to not being, you know, grimy, but, you know, but then the thing, you know, the superficial image being the grimy part, then maybe, but yeah, I don't know, it's... <laughs> he, he worked himself into a shoe, that's the... <laughs> That's the TLDR, I think. Don't be a mark. Yeah. <laughs> I love that post because it's completely incomprehensible to most people. I guess mo more characters in games with select screens like that should tell you that you have to... <laughs> just straight up telling you, like, you might not want to play it. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I have a pretty high skill ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, like Z Zato 01 being like, I don't know, you're you're more of a soul player to me. I don't know. <laughs> you ever heard you heard of a puppet character? That's not really me, but you know, I'm just uh, yeah, that's... doing a knowledge check here. <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla with a Gorilla with barrel. I yeah, was that... I was really hoping Gorilla would have kept that barrel. 
There are some times where, like, the opponent gets hit with a flying air, but, One, like, the other character two, isn't doing the animation, so... This is some real... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Luigi and Donkey Kong team up against Mario. They've had it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Smash Brothers. True, truly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. You can't do that. Sailor, help. The the, the world, the World Wildlife uh, Federation is going to be <laughs> about this. See, this is why people had problems with their last arc of Jojolian. This shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is certainly a calamity. There was that, you know, uh, something, something, Stardust Crusaders. Uh, I actually don't remember what the gorilla's name from that was. Oh, <laughs> forever. Like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> of Wu-Tang Forever, which was actually yeah. confirmed. <laughs> uh, thank you for making Farmer happy. I forgot that was my <laughs> just follow <the> alert. <laughs> hey. Sailor's like, you oh, got Sailor's this. Sailor's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take care. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's here for Gorilla. God damn it! <laughs> are you... Are you kidding? <laughs> are you... Well, I don't know, he can still... He can still take this. He... He whiffed that dropkick like Violet J. <laughs> oh my god. Unless... Nobody can hit him... Yeah. He won because they're stupid. <laughs> You know, you love to see it. You, lo you love to see the upsets. <laughs> God. I assume there's a Scott Hall in here somewhere. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't know for for the Hall and Nash fans out there. Maybe 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 Scott will pull it back. I I don't I don't know if they're a heel at this point. That's <laughs> well, so, I assume NWO. So obviously. Uh, <laughs> So we got another faction switch here. All uh, right. But before we do that, uh, we have um, a man who is uh, very unhappy that I'm picking him for watch mode. Because, <laughs> uh... Pick me, or I'll stick your head through the mat, you pencil neck geek! <laughs> so... <laughs> hey. He's not allowed to say that. <laughs> hey. I could care less if you pick me or not. But if you want to win, there's only one move that you need. And that's a seven-year itch. So a young, more impressionable me uh, mistook this guy's gimmick um, because I thought that his shirt was just really uh, dirty and he was itchy a lot. That's I, I assumed that now. I, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh... <laughs> yeah, seven-year itch I think is a reference to heroin addiction or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it's that so... why he retired? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think he was actually doing it. <laughs> okay, I just, I didn't, well, I just assumed he had a really nasty rash. I don't know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> gotta get some cream for this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, with the hair, too, it's like, I thought he just didn't shower. <laughs> yeah. We we love a grungy lad. Um, oh, looking very Todd Rundgren, either. <laughs> he does, yeah. More so than Raven. He's, like, more in that grunge pocket. He's gonna drop a double CD on him. Why is yeah. he bringing us to here? It really likes the. I don't know. He kicked out. <laughs> Brian Adams with the uh, Ravens flying get up looks very interesting. <laughs> Just all gray. Head scissors! <laughs> head scissors! I'm really proud of this arena for so yeah. I gotta do some head scissors in a little bit this weekend. I gotta cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I also should do that to my back. I, I, I'm gonna call up Billy Kidman and see if he can do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One. He kicked out. He kicked out. <laughs> Every <laughs> <In wrestler. case. laughs> Every wrestler in WCW knows that move. Head scissors. See, they they mixed me up there because I thought he uh, I thought he was going for Frankensteiner. He did head scissors. That's a that's a mix up. 
Look at this weird, like, boxer punch they do for Irish whip counters. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get the, uh... But there's also a rule, too. If it lands on the dancing arena, for some reason, the, um... The dancing thing doesn't happen if it just picks up randomly, so we'll have to go back and set that. Uh, huh. So, for some reason, it has not shown up yet, and it needs to. Peculiar. <laughs> One. He kicked out. He kicked out. I don't think we've seen like a like a three count pin at all, have we? Like <laughs> no. the more I'm thinking about it, the, the traditional way you win in wrestling <laughs> has not occurred. Because anytime they're at low health, they don't really pin. One. He kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's really, really wants to make that drop kick work. I'm... <laughs> this isn't your dad's wrestling. <laughs> oh, she's helping Ray. Um, she's helping Brian Adams. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> so now Miss Elizabeth Van Hammer and Brian Adams are basically in a stable together now. <laughs> That world's most nightmare polycule. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ultra Man's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're doing now? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Keep the combos going. I'm always saying this. Who comes who? Mr. Perfect. Really? Late. Yeah. The... <laughs> Stop. Stop throwing things. Or keep doing it. Elizabeth is enjoying this. <laughs> that you're throwing things. <laughs> that was a manic a... episode of a. Uh... <laughs> that was almost as bonkers as the uh, the Buff Bagwell one. I feel like just wherever Elizabeth goes, that kind of thing happens. <laughs> like... Yeah, that's th maybe she was the best, like, hardcore wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> she's just in a that. sweet green and shit just pops <laughs> off. You're like, I was just trying to eat my salad. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so, Reese is now a part of the Horsemen because, uh... Hmm. He has to fight. It looks Horseman-ish. <laughs> yeah. Ho Horseman-like. <laughs> uh, and he has to be part of Raven's flock now. <laughs> oh, jeez. You think you got what it takes to go head-to-head, -head, hold for hold? Move for move with the ice man. <laughs> well, come on, give it your best chance, and you too can feel a wrap of the Texas Cloverleaf. <laughs> I I did I did not think that he said hold at first. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I I this is how I know my brain is broken. It, <laughs> it sounded like he said hole for hole. And this game is like not I helping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that audio was recorded. Uh, a little, a little low, it's fine. It just... <laughs> I wonder what Reese's rant would be like. That was the thing about Reese on the mic, is that he's like this fucking seven foot two monster, but when he talked, he was like, yeah, I'm going to beat him. Uh, he's got no They chance. are all, uh... <laughs> yeah, a, a great a great majority of them are shirtless just in this storm area, and they, they're they they're dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, feel the wrath of that time I had a spot match with Billy Kidman for not leaving the ring with his instant loss. <laughs> yeah, damn. yeah, hate to see it. <laughs> uh, before I pick him, uh, I mostly knew Dean Malenko as an example of, like, just being an insanely talented and creative technical wrestler, but having no personality. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, like, the camera has to pan up to even catch this guy's face. It's <laughs> <laughs> Also, for those that somehow don't, don't know, uh, this is Dean Malenko versus the Yeti. That is so... <laughs> Whoa! What is going on with Reese's eyes here? What is... Reese, are you alright? They just cut out a JPEG. And I, put I'm, him on a I'm screenshotting that one too, because what... Oh my god, stop going to this venue! <laughs> Yeah, Reese, uh, he was also Super Giant Ninja at one point. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's... God, even in in-game venue, I'm like... Reese is just this big. <laughs> like, he's... It's a... He, 
he looks like the person you would base like Abigail on if you were doing like a final fight thing and you needed a guy <laughs> to just get concept art from. I, I don't know. He's that is he definitely true. just did Hugo's uh, <laughs> kick grab. Oh my God, he's super red. He's he could be part of Magic. Terrifying. <laughs> Dean, I don't think this is going so well for you, bud. <laughs> yeah, Reese is just <laughs> I think it's over. Okay, never mind. He kicked out. He's not all the way down, so. Yeah, Reese has uh, a hold move, which is really good in this game. Is this the first actual pin that that we are end up seeing? I, I'm 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 invested now. <laughs> like, yeah, this <laughs> Reese I'm is really in, him in Reese winning this way. <laughs> Anybody right, who wins by out. pinfall gets two points instead of one. <laughs> That's yeah, throw stuff at Dean. Texas Cloverleaf is... is... Wow! <laughs> yeah. You ever just <laughs> hurl, man? Van Hammer! <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, helping out Dean Malenko now. In, in fairness, I guess he needs it. <laughs> like <it's... laughs> yeah. Crunch, crunchity crunch, crispity crunchity, peanut buttery. <laughs> hey, there's, there's that TV I was talking about. See, like, what is... <laughs> I wonder why they didn't, why... I feel like I know why they didn't do more of that, because it would have made the frame rate, like... Go, go berserk. Um, it's just such a bizarre it's a neat, idea for it's, it's, it's a neat touch, but it's the fact that it's facing away. Like, when you're on this side of the ring, so you can't see it. Like... Yeah. Man, Reese lost this lead so fast. Le Reese, I, buddy, if you lose this, I, I don't know. We're gonna have to write to the commissioner. I. Well, to be fair, I know, this I feels like it's... WCW booking for him. Truly, yeah. Because he would kick everybody's ass, and then like two moves would be done on him, and he get pinned. Yeah. Like, it's just... The expectation is, is you, you just look. You, you build a bunch of heat, and it's gone. It's gone now. Win. Dean, you, you, ugh. Ruined everything. I did not. I have lost all respect that I didn't already have for the for the Texas Corporal. <laughs> God damn, that was an upset. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not even halfway done with round one. <laughs> <laughs> I know that just means you got more, more, more bangers to look forward to. I, I'm glad I, I'm glad I saved that that Reese versus screenshot. But oh god, <laughs> yeah. It's... Now I have to look at that all the time. <laughs> so Meng, uh, he's up. Uh, something is going very wrong with his hair here. <laughs> uh, and he's fighting uh, Rick Fuller. Probably in the fucking frontier stage again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope Jimmy I hope Jimmy Hart doesn't actually accompany him. If that would Yeah, this it's funny the managers are playable characters, but there's no managers in this game. So they could they could have probably done a thing where they handle them the way that they handle run-ins, but it would just oh. make the again. Well, anyway, we're in space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get what I was saying. We're in space now. Hell yeah. Meg Durant would just be growling before standing on the camera and his thumb. That's only if the cameraman was like a dick. Yeah. Meg is like the epitome of like the friendliest dude you ever meet. Please do not piss him off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the joy again of seeing that Ming laughing at the Shockmaster oh, yeah. thing is 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 that that's one of the most joyous moments in recent memory, I think. Because that that's the hardiest laugh I've ever seen. How did he not just like fling him the into space there? Uh, because this game didn't think that far, I guess. It it's yeah, it's I don't know. It would have been a neat little touch. <laughs> Rick, you gonna fling, fling Rick Fuller into the upper stratosphere? <laughs> it's like, ring, out, ring way out. You're so far out of the ring. You're, I don't know. We gotta dispatch 
NASA to bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> the 2K games take themselves so serious. The thing is, there are moments where they don't. Uh, but... Uh, we're, we're just calling each other. Uh, we have one slot reserved uh, for whenever he shows up. Uh, but... Uh, next up, we got... We got a cowboy. Oh, yeah. Uh, fighting an inland guy. <laughs> Is it stuff's hard out here in the ring for an old cowboy? <laughs> Devastating Derizus. Uh, good portrait there. I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It just... Oh yeah, yeah. It made it sound like I had uh, I had quotation marks around he, like Chris was some sort of cryptid. <laughs> just uh, a a, a, scru a scrunch. To wait, well, you wouldn't like me when I'm. Oh, so they're trying to do like a hook thing. I get it. I get it now. I yeah. didn't. I didn't really get it before. Now I get it. But he's just a normal guy. <laughs> Except I still don't. It's. <laughs> This is an amazing picture. That's I hope that's on their ID. Yeah. I like how many people were like looking at that name being like, what does that even mean? I'm like, it's just his last name. Yeah, it's just a, yeah. <laughs> Devastating Doritos, yeah. So Cowboy, um, you may remember him because he was in the Melf Stomp uh, Rumble. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> How they how they uh how 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 no cowboy doing that I I, <laughs> I don't I'm like blanket on it. Uh, it is fitting that they're at the cow palace for this. Oh yeah 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 cowboy uh, really pulled it out in the uh, 2K melt stomp because he lasted like so long in that rumble. <laughs> De dedicated, committed to just you know riding the open plains. <laughs> What's get, funny, that, get that, get that guitar. Do some honky tonk. What's funny is that cowboy's face is just taken from another England dev. Hmm. So this may just be their gimmick. The <laughs> uh, his name so, is... so what's your gimmick? I'm a cowboy. Uh, <laughs> like, like, you got a name? No, just cowboy. That's that's the. <laughs> you think cowboy needs a name? <laughs> Uh, it's the, the genuine article, the cowboy. <laughs> I'm a cowboy, baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, or is this? You gotta. Well, never mind. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not gonna like it. Because, uh... <laughs> you can't you can't take cowboy down in the cow in the cow palace. That is true. Yeah. It's home home turf. Okay, so we got. Cow, cow doy is really good. I, <laughs> I'm a cow doy. Um, <laughs> so we have Adam the ant, which ah, once her I, might. <laughs> once I got, ah. the, once I got the joke as to why he was named Adam, I was like, of course. Uh, he's you know, it's it's just like Adam man. <laughs> it's just like uh, that. Well, I mean, also there was a punk musician called Adam Ant. Yeah, I, I yeah. <laughs> the I, have you you seen that thing where Grace Jones has a commercial with Adam Ant where they're basically making a pegging joke, right? <laughs> I have not somehow. <laughs> it's an incredible thing that you should you, that you would. It's it's a real good commercial. It's funny. <laughs> they, they they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> I'll have to uh, drop that real last saves commercial channel immediately. <laughs> uh, so uh, a nitro girl has to fight a giant ant. Uh, I've 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 seen uh, I've seen seventies movies. I I see I see what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire's fucking ripped. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I like how uh, in game it's like kind of a cutesy ant. Yeah, I wasn't expecting. I I don't know what I, you know what it was. Mantis gave me false expectations. Yeah. For the for the creature sizing of this game's design, I. <laughs> I think it oh, oh, could have made. It looked like it looked like she was petting him. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's okay, for next time. Oh. 
This dude's hitbox has got to be atrocious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like Yoda Soul Calibur 4 levels. <laughs> <laughs> this is me when I wrestle. I know this isn't a cat, but this feels like a very bean cat character somehow. <laughs> this, yeah. Like, I can see bean cat art of... <laughs> Of, a of Adam being like, hey, you can't body slam me, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> Adam is the Neko Orc of WCW Thunder. Yeah, or think, odd job. I think, <laughs> think anyone could have made serious bank off of an Adam plushie. Uh, yeah, that could be cute. Yeah. Like, Aaron WCW did some wild stuff. I don't remember Adam seeing ring the, work at the time, the, though. The crutch hitbox missed because he was too small. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Is he is he pinning? Okay. <laughs> so. Kind of looks like he was in the mat for a minute. I guess this is a lockup. <laughs> it's a psychic. I mean, battle. ants ants have ants are real strong. I don't know. Ants can pick up shit a bunch of times their size. I I don't know. Fire, you gotta. Oh, is that what he's doing? Oh. Like in the background. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Okay. 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 <laughs> Just keep doing it. <laughs> Mutuals do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is me and my brother trying to like decide who gets to use the Mad Cats controller from second player. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's how it ended. <laughs> yeah, raise it. <laughs> I love my part so much. <laughs> I was, this is pretty even in terms of um, in terms of life bar. I, I don't know. This is oh jeez, <laughs> Adam with the. <laughs> also, Mad Dog, the uh, name text on my end is so blurry. I didn't realize that was you. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you here. Uh... Glad to have you. That chair just materialized. I guess in a, in a world where ants that are this large will, will wrestle you. What? It what it wow, <laughs> Adam. We're Adam. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to have a balanced discussion about Adam after this. <laughs> yeah, like, his Mizumi page is gonna look very interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, perfect. That's the best way he could have won. Look, look, fish off this this giant ant. Okay, I'm not I'm not specious. I'm just saying we got some issues <laughs> in the locker room. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, so we have another Nitro girl. Um, okay. I hope she doesn't have to fight any more creatures. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, there's a lot of creatures up. in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, compared to all of them, this one feels the most casual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just, you know, she's dropped off the kids, she's... <laughs> Mom's gotta go fight Kerwin White now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, Adam Ant, I, Adam Ant might take the whole thing, I, I don't know. I'm... I hope so. <laughs> is this where, is this, is this <gasps> final stage? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> For KI1? Like, what's. <laughs> it might, for all I know, be another Holy Grail reference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clash of the Castle. <laughs> I thought I saw the stage of Battle Monsters. It does kind of feel like that. Too. It, yeah, there's some. <laughs> Especially with that, that crusty dragon in the back. That dragon is. Having a grand old time. Is there? <laughs> One. That horse is I don't want to go. Pile driver. <laughs> this is amazing match. <laughs> yeah, like, are you seeing the shower match? Why would you want to gallop away now? <laughs> <laughs> that is a bad drink. <laughs> <laughs> One. He kicked out. He kicked it. Why? Why are the trees like got paint all over them? <laughs> <laughs> Out. That one's what is this guy shield. doing with his shield? <laughs> is that Nosferatu? What is I was to say, yeah, shout out to the... 
Mister. He's a five star bitch. <laughs> I guess this is shop, but that's my favorite. <laughs> One, two, three, kick down. Oh, there you go. He's doing that shit people do. Ooh. So it's to say, I. Ooh, ooh, oh god. <laughs> Tigress, please. <laughs> yeah, make, make Tigress and Dark Souls. <laughs> Tigress does sound like a name where you just you you've lived the medieval lifestyle. You you have you've conquered like the countryside. <laughs> Tigress also just did the Scott Hall. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do when you're this empress who is is you know taking your <laughs> taking this peasant One, down to the mat. He kicked out, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this, but he, he kicked out. One, he kicked out. The closest we've got again to any legitimate pen was the Reese thing, and then Reese got jumped real bad. <laughs> yeah, he found Reese out that's, 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 a good time. that's why you don't do it. <laughs> God, if Tigers was doing the blue mini taunt, though. <laughs> oh, oh geez, five seconds. Oh wait, Tyrus might take this. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, Still one at the last damn it. Yeah. Robbery. Damn. Well, we got just. Yeah, they're not as frequent as I thought. The run-ins. Um. So we got an inland guy fighting a member of public enemy. Not that one. Hmm. Not not Flavor Flav. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, no. We got Dude Man. We got Dude Man. And he is fighting. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Grunge. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Good old Johnny Grunge. I love how Ric Flair is right next to Johnny Grunge on this roster. <laughs> it's... A lot of grunge in that section of the select screen. Just <laughs> the yeah. grunge corner, they call it. What the? Um. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> the, the, the synchronized mating dance of Dude Man and Johnny Grunge. <laughs> Pet scissors. Pet scissors. Pet scissors. Pet scissors. Just love those, those head scissors. Pet scissors. Pet scissors. <laughs> Did, did, did. <laughs> well, I do head scissors. A fourth head scissors? Okay, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get more. I guarantee. <laughs> At some juncture, further head scissors will be required. The Frankensteiner. Okay, maybe oh, man, not that, that time. A... We, you know, just to switch it up. It's a. <laughs> <Head scissors>. <laughs> <laughs> what does everybody want? Head One. scissors. He kicked out. He kicked out. I don't know, Dude Man, you know, Dude Man and Johnny Grunge probably trained for quite a while at the Nightmare Factory to do head scissors back to back, you know, six times in a row. That's, 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 uh, that's tough to do. Screw you, Rock Head scissors. Rock. Some good, <laughs> some powerful athleticism to do repeated head scissors. <laughs> Dude Man, the, uh, the master One, of the head scissors. <laughs> Old, old scissor man, they call him. <laughs> but, but then that was copyrighted, so he couldn't he couldn't keep with that. He had to go with dude man. Scissor man was taken. The Johnny Grunge is like an actual mind. It doesn't seem to have any moves. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of feels like he's just following dude man's lead here. I don't. <laughs> Somehow Johnny Grunge is ahead, a little bit. Good turn. Man. Yeah. Any any amount of head scissors will do it. Yeah, dude, man, oh, you know, dude, he's a demon with that. Uh... Head scissors. Right <laughs> <laughs> head scissors. I could really use more head scissors this match. I don't know about y'all. I'm just head scissors head only. Head. If you do any other move, you get banned for life. Dude, man, doing the neck cut taunt that heals him. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna do the neck gun width with probably the head scissors. Probably that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Eventually. The thing is, they recorded a lot of announcers clips from like the main characters. <laughs> hmm. Head scissor me, dude man. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, man, no! <laughs> dude, man, you can't die like this. You did, you did 18 head scissors. You were so dedicated. Damn. You, you went to Japan to learn head scissors from Giant Baba, only to have this happen? You hate to see it. <laughs> Johnny Grunge in all Japan, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we got another faction switch match here. Alright. Because, um... Oh, disciple! <laughs> yeah, Ed Leslie out of the uh, out of the NWO, but he has some stuff to say to us. All right. When you step into the ring with me, you are gonna find out what it's like when I put the apocalypse and drop you. When you put the apocalypse. When you put the what? The, wait. <laughs> when you put. Did he? Did he mean when I put you in the yeah. apocalypse? I don't. He did, but he like forgot a word. Did, like, they, <laughs> did they not get to do another take? Also, <laughs> is it just me or does he look like Virtu the guy from Virtuoso on the 3DO? He does. <laughs> it's really I, hard to tell that's Ed Leslie. <laughs> like, it's a weird pull, I know. I'm just, I don't know. Disciple, you're a you're an interesting guy. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> um, and he'll have to fight the newest uh, member of the NWO. <laughs> Yo, oh, oh, boy. Listen, if you ain't all jacked up, then hit the bricks and pick <laughs> some other loser. But if you are jacked and you are ready to let someone feel the bang, well, then <laughs> me. It's not like there's a choice anyway. <laughs> I, have, I have at least three issues with that. <laughs> uh, I know. I think it's all perfect. I, I don't. Like, <laughs> I, I like how pumped up he is, and then he's just kind of despondent near the end. <laughs> Is is being jacked up in this case like I I've okay. In terms of just slang <laughs> being jacked up is usually a bad thing <laughs> unless you're jacked up on something. But usually if you're jacked up on something and you are a wrestler, you have investigations <laughs> into your I I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. You gotta feel the bang. That's all. Uh, then he, then he said he had to feel the bang. I, you know, I have, I have nothing, I have nothing bad to say about the feel of the bang part. <laughs> this theme, though, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was just straight up come as you are. Like, and that was Teen Spirit. <laughs> oh, not, not, that, that was that was like Teen Spirit. Yeah, they they didn't even try to not like Nirvana. It just. <laughs> like, I'm like, the thing is, I know all of Nirvana's stuff, and it's like, what, what if they just gave DB, DDP, like, beeswax or hairspray queen or something? Like, yeah. Or beans? <laughs> I'm sure that, I'm sure Dave Grohl or someone, like, was informed of this and would just, just laugh, probably. Three teen years. God, just like... <laughs> To go to the I, game with the playable cow is uh, kind of <laughs> using our riffs. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, I remember I was talking to Chris about Nirvana. Uh, we had like this one night where we were posting songs, and I posted about uh, Hairspray Queen, and he said that if Nirvana sounded like this all the time, I would not. Be. <laughs> <laughs> it's um. It's amazing that Nirvana became a massive band. Honestly, not because yeah. they were bad, because it... they were fucking weird. <laughs> I find that more people, uh, more often than not, are like, if they kind of stuck to the Melvins-ish, Fugazi-ish stuff, that, you know, then more often than not, they'd be, I don't know that that's like, necessarily, it's hard to have a viewpoint on this stuff in the long view, high sinus 2020 or whatever, but, yeah. um, oh god. My heart is, uh, helping the disciple. Okay. What was he doing in that barn? <laughs> uh, practicing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Hmm. I decide we'll just kind of. <laughs> it's funny you mention the Melvins because it makes me think of a band Tad because uh, hmm. they were a band that I think it was. Yeah, because uh, Kurt was a roadie for a time. Uh, One. And people are like. People are like, you can kind of tell part of the reason why the band never got attention was uh, because unlike every other band in that, uh, in that uh, group, uh, the lead singer was like a huge fat guy. Ha. Huh. Uh, to the point where like one of their music videos like got rejected because it was too ugly. Like, oh yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually stinky. One, that's. <laughs> I know Kurt would be like, no, fuck that, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. Tad, uh, And Bresley. Back to the barn for, for Red. <laughs> one, two, Almost. And the one and the two. Uh... Oh, thank goodness. By the way, uh, this isn't really related, but shout out to Jalapeno Overdrive for just helping me figure out a solution to something that was really bothering me today. Uh, <laughs> there, there's a, there's a, um, you know, the, the RPCS3 thing where there's a build that is a little fucky, and there's a, like you can just get the newest version of the thing and then override it and it'll fix it. Just that was really bothering me this morning. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I still need em, emula that. emulation is hard. <laughs> anyway, sure is. Uh, not for this game, though, apparently. Not for this game. This game This game runs seamlessly. You can play this with rollback if you really want to actually play this, as opposed to just <laughs> the be the better way to experience it, which is what we're doing. Uh... Yeah. Uh, so we have... Oh, is it time? Yeah, it's going to it... time. Versus... <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked that there's no rent given the amount of money that they pumped into Glacier's entrances, that they didn't just, you know, shovel one of those in there. That That's amazing to me. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, um, I know I posted about it before, but it is really funny looking at Glacier's, like, career trajectory in terms of wrestling, because it's so much weirder than I thought. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he started in Japan as a shoot fighter. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah. M much, much like Sub Zero. <laughs> Glacier. The freaking Steiner. It's the like, the freaking Steiner. It's like, oh yeah, here's Glacier fighting Kyoshi Tamura, and I'm like, oh, I didn't just have a weird dream about that. It's like, no, that actually happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Re reality and oh, there's head scissors again. Reality of wrestling is so much stranger than fiction sometimes, but yeah, I mean, you get, you know, sometimes you get Adam and. But not Adam Ant. Just Adam Ant also did a few stints in Japan, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's like God Glacier was in the same Fed as Gary Albright at one point. That's fucking weird. Particle I could see Adam Ant being in like Lucha Underground. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Yeah, Something they just you know they they got to get the last little addition to the belt or whatever because like I guess their whole thing was they needed like. Dragon Balls, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, I think there was discussion about that. The evil they gotta go into some tomb, and then there's just an ant that wants to wrestle, and they're like, okay, okay, I say it. <laughs> Gifted the kids. <laughs> oh gods, okay, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, I was I was almost ready to stick with a uh, gift of the kids. That's <laughs> that's a good album title. I'm out of the yeah. <laughs> Yeah, throwable weapons. Uh, that that sounds like something Glacier would would talk about in a promo. <laughs> I don't even know how he sounds. To be honest. I don't remember him talking. Yeah, I I guess that's the thing is he, you know, he he kind of thrived on how silly the gimmick was <laughs> and didn't have to say anything. Yeah, he was much more visual than uh, anything. But it was so cool, like, when I was looking at his Japanese shoot fight stuff, and, like, you know, this leg walk move. And I'm yeah. like, huh, I wonder if he has that in revenge, and he he has the same exact thing. <laughs> so, oh, here she comes. Did she just, you dropped the TV? 
<laughs> Who's she helping? Oh, she's helping you rock just... a rock. Okay. You just dropped the team oh, on your <laughs> I don't know that any run-in that's been carrying something has necessarily like made it work, but I appreciate their enthusiasm. Yeah, it's, um, now that you mention it, I'm not sure if that works ever. <laughs> the one sure. time, uh, some well, someone threw a trash can and it worked out. Oh man, that's kind of an upset, I guess. I guess I don't know. To me, it is. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I wanted Glacier to go a little... I wanted Glacier versus Adamant. Or Mantis. <laughs> that would have been alright. Mantis. <laughs> so we have another heal, uh, heal match here. Alright. The one character is very good. Or this is very, you know what's funny? It just... They, they drop the TV and like how Titus dove under that ring. <laughs> oh shit, it's Archivarge. Archivarge. Uh... Disco Inferno has to fight. Oh my god! <laughs> Arjun Varge carry job. This 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 booking. I. Uh, hey, this is I a handicap match. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I guess this this would have to be where this match takes place. This is it. This is the venue <laughs> where this happens. Somebody be better should out. be wearing the shaky booty pants. Our <laughs> <laughs> Arjun Varge should actually have those pants. That's <laughs> why I would have, have them wear them. Uh... Yeah, they have kind of a basic design considering they're two head guys. <laughs> One. Yeah. What always confused me about Disco is that like he was supposed to be John Travolta from Greece, but he did not look anything like him. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. It feels like they started with the bit and then kind of like gave up halfway through. Yeah, it's like uh, Revenge made him look like John Travolta, <laughs> but they were like, here, let, let me help you with that. <laughs> One, kick kicked out. This makes me wish that, um, you know, they, they recently had to change, uh, Lilith Walter's author and then had to change Bloodborne card into Nightmare card. I, oh, yeah, yeah. I would love to see, like, a Nightmare Wrestling kind of thing where it's just, you know, creatures. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't have, like, in a, in a PS1 style. Like, that'd be cool. Yeah, we don't have, like, Mutant League Wrestling or anything. Yeah, no one's really doing, you know, no one has made the wrestling game purely out of fucked up guys. I, would, uh... I guess that's why we have Fire Pro, but... <laughs> yeah. Power Bomb! Power <laughs> Idol. <laughs> Idol... Idol... I got to Idol in KI1, like, a week ago. I, I showed Ayazme this, like... I don't know if people really remember what that fight was like, but I don't would combo you for like 99% of your life and just leave you with the 1% because just, I don't know, like just being a jerk. I was like, you, you could just kill, you could take my whole life bar. You could just do that. <laughs> yeah, 90s bosses would do that to you. Yeah, then he starts stomping and getting his life back and you're like, look, I'm like in junior high. I'm just on my lunch break. I don't know. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> Arjun Vard's the first guys to land an air move. They, they got they got the higher concentration. They they got you know <laughs> two two heads to put together to do it. it, it more, more than all these other you know <laughs> these other jobbers. <laughs> also see a bag head, but I loaded his out unfortunately as, as Ooh, much as I yeah. Do. Wait, Goldberg. Who? Goldberg, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got paid cool. a million dollars to run in and hold this ladder. <laughs> he just... He runs in and, like, spears the horse. <laughs> it's just, like, not even related to what's going on. Just... Oh. Okay, so... We got an inland in fight now. We got an office fight. We have MC Mike, which every cheat uh, site thought this said MC Mioe. 
<laughs> it looked really it can really go either that yeah that lettering is um unfortunate <laughs> um it's a good face though yeah he was just mike in uh nitro but uh yeah, I don't like to... the who is John Galt thing necessarily, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this was this was yeah. Some people were just into Rand for some reason back then. And I, but um Yeah, if you want to see more footage of this guy, uh just going about his day, the credit sequence in WC Nitro has so much of him. <laughs> mm. Oh, right, and the other, uh, my other hero, Chicken Boy. Chicken Boy? That portrait's so good because you can tell that he just got into the office. He still has his jacket oh, yeah. on. They're like, hey, we're putting you in the game. He's like, all right, snap my portrait, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, this... we haven't seen this one yet. Nope, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> what, we got ribbon cable? Yeah, this is just the inside of a computer. It's... <laughs> This is this is actually what I think happens inside the computer. I'm not not gonna. <laughs> yeah. Also, MC Mike looks like disproportionately oh, big. Like, his head is gigantic. Backbreaker. He he's um he's almost like Johnny Bravo shaped. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how this guy sounds now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, chicken boy. <laughs> oh, I'm a chicken boy. <laughs> I want to go. I need a computer. I want room, sir. <laughs> oh, right, right, yeah. I was like, wait, what? And then, uh, then when he said room service, I was like, that scene played out my head again. You know what? I, I actually, what I think I actually want. It's cool that they have like a black and white version of that thing. But what I think I actually want is to just someone for someone to mash up that movie and Tank Girl so that the low techs are all kangaroo people. <laughs> I think that I think that would fix me if someone made that movie. <laughs> Most of what I remember from that movie is that the uh, room service scene becomes so much more cooler when you learn that the poses he was doing were explicit references to the director's artwork. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. Chicken boy wins by default. <laughs> My favorite NWO guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, chicken boy, you tell him from inside the computer. <laughs> These faces on the loading screen feel like they summarize every single match that happened. <laughs> yeah, per particularly guy on the right is like, uh, you know. Bobby Heat mm. is like, all right, I guess we're just having office workers right now. <laughs> uh, so we we just we just let Nance. Uh... <laughs> so Larry's a. Is this a ring head. for? <laughs> Larry Sorry, Z you were saying. Uh... <laughs> Larry Zabisco has to fight a uh, sailor. <laughs> mm. I think he's got good odds. <laughs> Maybe. Although I don't know, this sa sailors sailors get into some you know some drunken, uh, <laughs> some rough and tumble spots, <laughs> some scuffles, <laughs> like that as one. it were. <laughs> These repeated like flag things on the on the railing make me think of um I, I never saw like the Great American Bash, but it just it makes me think of that this coupled with the sailor it, it's giving like a It feels like it should have old timey music to it. I don't know. Yeah, Larry's Abisco is there also. Uh, yeah, Larry's Abisco just happens to, to be here. <laughs> we haven't seen a run in yet, so maybe even more than we thought. Backbreaker! <laughs> Backbreaker. I feel like the run in automatically has to be anti Larry. Yeah. <laughs> just just the oh, general principle, really. <laughs> oh, it's a mantis. <laughs> Candyman? I can see that. Yeah, like. <laughs> I'm glad more people these days put respect on oh, Christina Aguilera's oh. name. 
I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> X Tina. <laughs> Yeah, like that hit. Is <laughs> that was, yeah. Well, this is a uh, getting increasingly one side. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, a surprise attack for fire again. Ch the ch <laughs> a valiant attempt, fire. <laughs> she, she's friends with Rocco Walk and Larry Zabisco. <laughs> Fire's got don't, some don't get him. Yeah, Fire is really pissed off about the whole Adam thing. <laughs> oh god, the TV! <laughs> here's, here's a question. Does the TV keep playing while someone throws it? It might. Does, does the video footage <laughs> still on bomb. it as it's in the air? I think that would be the easier thing to play, so. That there That's some floating point calculations for you. <laughs> Sailor, get in there! Come on! Sailor's, uh... Sailor's getting reesed right now. <laughs> yeah, he, wow. he, he got fucking uh, a, a second, A second reese has hit the time. <laughs> God damn. The, the old Sailor screw job. <laughs> Fire is just ruining everything. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> We we stand a queen who thrives on causing chaos and just disruption. That's that's a good tactic. She won't do it here because uh, we have a bit of an infight here. Hmm. Short circuit. Oh my. Versus uh, crushed up. <laughs> now you would figure short circuit would fight you also from inside the computer. However, Short Circuit has escaped into the real world, and um, <laughs> this is this presents an issue of, of significance. Um, our technology has begun to revolt against us. <laughs> as, as you can clearly see, this is... <laughs> we have, like, a vinyl player as a torso? Oh wait, no, that's I think like it's, the... just, it's just like a, a hard drive that with an exposed like. Back. I feel okay. Yeah, that's totally. Crush it. Death. <laughs> I, I feel like Crush Death can solve this in three ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of which, you know how in Tobol 2, Hom has this big button on his back and you can just turn him off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Crush Death should just. just like once you game get game one game. good body slam in, just turn him off. Yeah, the yeah, I was gonna say, or just yeah, that, or just disconnect the the hard drive. This is... <laughs> Crush Death, I believe we had a diver from Soul Blade uh, reference in the chat earlier. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> never forget Diver. <laughs> diver has never forgotten you. <laughs> My favorite Sophia. <laughs> I love that Short Circuit's feet are mice. That's that's powerful. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. It's also a nightmare construction, and whoever built this is a, a sicko, frankly. <laughs> They're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're just sitting here doing this on your computer? That's not okay. <laughs> you're making a computer that can, that can destroy us <laughs> it, on your computer. <laughs> you're drinking Rolling Rock on the Rolling Rock. <laughs> well, he's losing right now, so there may be some hope. What's better than a schmuck? Lots of little power pickups or infrequent big ones? Um, you know, I feel like there's a happy medium, and I feel like that happy medium is G. Darius. <laughs> Although G. Darius has like a an interesting version of the pea shooter problem, where if you ever fuck up, like you and you downgrade one level but you're still like way ahead in the stage tree like you might as well just kind of consider starting over because oh no i don't know that game is pretty generous with that so it's it's there's a level of being generous enough <laughs> where it's like still fun without like doing you know full-on like our type or gradius levels of fuck you like <laughs> Oh, I know about this is this has been the schmuck moment. 
I know that schmucks is that I saw on birthdays design in Demo Who. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 care her. <laughs> Birthday the criminal for bad. <laughs> My beloved. It's too good. Uh, so I have some bad news. Uh, oh short circuit. Well <laughs> takeover begins. <laughs> this is how it starts. How are we not halfway through round one? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, lot of entrants pulled up to, to, to the to these venues. Some, some of them are inside the computer. That's true. Some of them are the computer. <laughs> so we got a rant here. All right, Kurt, what do you got? There can't be any doubt in anybody's mind that I'm the man to pick. Not only mm. because I'm in the NWO, because I'm not Kurt either. Hennig, and nobody beats Kurt Hennig. Nobody. Pretty good. Um, it hurts so much that I have to take him out of the NWO after that. Because <laughs> you know who is part of the NWO now? Jimmy Hart. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I feel like Sheik has a better version of that of that promo. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> Sheik is like it's it's a uh, it's Sheik or be Sheik and you're not Sheik. Like that's a oh, that's funny. a good <laughs> it's a good little couplet oh, hey, Steve <laughs> to, to let off. Uh, real last save, buddy, uh, Stephen Ray Garza gave $20 of fuck money. Thanks very much. Hey, appreciate you. <laughs> um, yeah, Jimmy Hart got an entrance, but Glacier didn't. Yeah, what the? Because, <laughs> a... I, I mean, this would still be peak, like, Mouth of the South bullshit. I, I don't <laughs> like Jimmy Hart. I, I don't know. It's just... I have a bias towards him purely because he has a tie to uh, Aaron the King Wizard indirectly, so... I think maybe it's maybe my maybe my um I gotta think of I don't know. <laughs> One. He kicked out. He kicked out. He kicked out. <laughs> One. He kicked yeah, Jimmy Hart with the NWO suit is uh, real good. It's pretty weird. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it is understated for him, but it kind of looks like he's going to a funeral or something. <laughs> Why did he if, drag him across the map there? There's no reason to do that. <laughs> Roll excessive. Yeah. Is this like maybe Kurt Henning trying to beat him to Run. get the NWO yeah. suit? Like maybe he just really wants that jacket. <laughs> uh, Wait, whom? Di Diamond Dallas Page, who is now part of the oh. NWO, is helping. <laughs> Can, can 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 or will we see at least one diamond cutter? Or is Jason? Probably not. Nah, it doesn't work like it. You that. <laughs> then give me that or head scissors. I will take either. I am not super picky. Um, Jimmy Hart, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just having fun. Okay, he did head scissors. Damn it. All right. Okay, maybe I have to take my ire for him back a little bit. <laughs> a little. It's not a lot. <laughs> he did head scissors. I can't be mad at that. All the best wrestlers do head scissors. Yeah. Doing head scissors in an understated suit jacket, uh, strong enough that, you know, that's a, that's a, I give it a light seven. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> uh, mm, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> He's having some problems in this match. I think he didn't get it. DDP just knocked over the trash can and left. Dude, <laughs> you gotta clean that up. <laughs> hey, Monkey, this clean respect. this up. Yeah, real, uh. I mean, granted, people are, you know, hurling literal garbage into the ring, so I guess just being a janitor. Wow, we actually got a we got a three count. Finally. Kurt Hennig destroys Jimmy Hart's by pinfall. <laughs> that trash destroyed can by pin. That trash can got jacked up. <laughs> what if he like diamond cutter the trash can? Oh my god! <laughs> like off the top rope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just diamond cutters the TV. <laughs> that could happen in Fire Pro, I bet. So we have like, a wacky <laughs> infight. Ah, the Invisible Man. Oh yes, who's Claude Rains? I don't know. 
<laughs> versus uh, another Monty Python reference. Ah, good old Bobby. <laughs> Can I, you fly, Bobby? <laughs> I don't know if that was the name of a character in the film or what, but... I... Tim. I already have several questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Colin Reigns is just the name of the actor who played the Invisible Man, so... The Breaking Steiner! Now... I guess in a pinch, you could refashion a night suit to withstand the crushing depths of the ocean floor. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I was kind of thinking of that look at him, like, he's not gonna but have just, time here. But then it's like, yeah, then it's like, can you wrestle in that? <laughs> <laughs> also, that statue of Poseidon back there, uh, straight up full frontal. Like that's. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> that's pow That's powerful. I I admire whoever was tenacious enough to to be like, no, that's in the game. Okay, we're, we're keeping it. Well, I guess we're getting kicked off of Twitch. <laughs> Nice knowing you well, all. <laughs> what, what's the level of PS1 Jaggy where it doesn't affect Twitch TOS? <laughs> like how, how, uh, what'd you say? Sorry, um. The funny thing is, also, is that I got away from my oh, name, huh? So. This is true. <laughs> so that had actual boots in it. Now. I, I, I streamed, uh, I streamed Frankenhooker that one time. I mean, it's it's <laughs> probably fine. Like, we're... she being a wrestler character. The Frankenhooker, yeah, that's <laughs> that that's a strong gimmick. That's uh, really good, actually. If nobody a... does that, I might do that. <laughs> that's what I know about Frankenhooker is that I hear the name that I look at the lady. I'm like, man, she looks fucking cool though. <laughs> She's cool, but then there are just certain scenes in the, in that movie where it's like, oh boy, this is not okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> um, the, the super drugs yeah, scene in particular is like... <laughs> yeah, all I had to say was the I probably word, shouldn't but... have been allowed to stream that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bobby, if... yeah. Um, one... What if you had super drugs that made you explode? Just, what if? That just sounds like a Rikio shit. It, it's kind of in that same tone of just utterly hyper-violent nonsense. <laughs> um, so kind of trauma-like in that way. Like it's like a you know it's like you had trauma, but I like a, I like a lot of wrestling. There's a there's an obvious link between that level of cheese and. Shit, wrestlers do. So it's, <laughs> uh, seven seconds, five. Claude, I think you won. I think you got him. Yeah. I don't think I don't, I don't think Bobby uh, was getting out of the suit or he's gonna leave him here on the ocean floor. Just <laughs> think about what he did. It's the most depressing end to one of these matches. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby just got. That's how. Yeah, Bobby Heenan has. Oh, yeah, 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 the actual Bobby there. Fuck money! Oh. Currently at WrestleMania break and notice the stream. Notice my favorite character, Hoof Hard, it is in the stream. <laughs> hey. hey, thank you very much, DJ Tatsujin. Tatsujin, that's the homie. I, yeah. I I think I missed it. I, I didn't see... um. Tatsujin, if you're watching, did you do uh the WrestleMania arcade game run this year? I, I, I missed it. I... I feel like I need to play that on Fight Cave more. That's a still a still a fun time. Yeah, uh, I'm eternally grateful, DJ Tatsujin, because when it comes to filing my taxes regarding Twitch royalties, I still look at the DMs he helped me with. Oh shit! I haven't I haven't even looked at any of that. I I should probably figure that out. I don't know if I <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to like end up owing. So, like I don't make anything, but it's yeah. They still probably want me to send them Twitch shit, which is like, okay. <laughs> Here, here's, the, here's the pennies I've made from Twitch. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so hey, it's Virgil. Have... I mean, Vincent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we I'm have tired. we have an NWO in here. Mm. Um, I may have to run to the bathroom in like a minute. I'll I'll oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll give a I'll give a holler if I. 
skedaddle for a, a second. Yeah, that's fine. We can... Oh, there. What is this stage? Oh, <laughs> uh, hell. <laughs> what is happening? This is Hades. Holy shit. This is. Which, um. I... Yeah. I, I, I guess this is. Yeah, this tracks for Bischoff, I guess. Um, yeah, for that's... Bischoff, definitely. Uh... <laughs> that's, that's where. Yeah, it's. That's a... Yeah, glad to hear you're doing well, uh, Jim. That is totally understandable. Is this the Screaming Mad George's Arena? No, there's not enough buttheads in this. <laughs> One. Kick kicked out. One. Kick kicked out. I still don't know how One. I got talked Kick into watching, um... Which, which Screaming Mad George... Which Silent Night, Deadly Night was it that Screaming Mad George worked on? Was that four? Yeah, like three or four. Or also, these babies on the side of this. Yeah. Th thanks, acclaimed <laughs> staff. Oh, it's CDP in hell. Yep. Who's he helping? I came man? down here through Dante's Inferno to, Do to Diamond Cutter you. God, please. Or to just stand here. <laughs> <laughs> Got Vincent Got the, Stone the cold it's... face there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DDP's with uh, Virgil. Extremely good faces all around on, on this stage. That that face in the meat back there is. <laughs> oh yeah. DDP's like, in rare form. Yeah. DQ. Let's go. What the? Wait. That's right. Bishop, you you stay here. Oh, we'll, he, has we'll... a... <laughs> he has a voice clip for the bang. Hmm. And also for some reason Vincent does the bang motion. That's uh, so. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe this game is good. It's good. This game when you're not, yeah, when you're not playing it. <laughs> it, it, it lets you simulate sending Bish off to hell, and I can't, uh, I can't dismiss that. That's that's powerful. So Rick Root is now part of the Horsemen. Okay. Uh, because uh, he has to fight Chris Benoit. Hmm. Now. Hmm. Hmm. NWO material. Hmm. Do we go to his reign or just... I I guess we oughta. I mean, just yeah. for completion, for completion is but violent. Step it's funny oh, how no. his, his hair we'll is completely different. What it's all about. It's like that. Those are two different sessions. <laughs> yeah, they. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> New mustache order. <laughs> Yeah, the wacky stuff is like, I've been saying for like a week now, if this game actually had good gameplay with all of this insanity, it would be the best wrestling game. There's probably some world in which you, oh, I don't like that Rick Rude chin thing you got going Chris Benoit looks weirdly <laughs> Kurt cobain -y there. Like if Cobain had like a shovel jaw. <laughs> There's a lot of grunge in, in, in this game over, this is grunge. This suit is a little grungy. <laughs> Uh, looks looks like moss color. It's yeah, apparently putting Rick Rude in the Horseman gives him Mr. X's suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nitro's probably better. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> um. Oh, this. this... <laughs> yeah, backstage assault like. I have people say that's one of the worst games I've ever played. I played that. I'm like, nah, this is far from the worst. <laughs> There's there's probably worse than that. Yeah, it's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, it's are we not just good, are we just staying but... out? Are we? I don't know. Who's the cat? That cat is somehow the most realistic. Uh... Okay, we're back. <laughs> I miss that cat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> gonna mod this to turn into bean cat. <laughs> if, if you could make everyone in the audience the cat, <laughs> that'd be an amazing mod. Just like everyone holding a sign, all the signs have the cat. I could do that for Wrestling Empire. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I have to step away for one second. I'll be right back. No problem. Please, Rick Rude. Do it, do it for the horse, baby. 
One, two, kick the count. One, two, three. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the cat. The cat one. Really? <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. I also gotta be right back. Uh, so, enjoy this demo. All right, we're sort of. I'm so. I'm sort of back. <laughs> it's real. It's real thunder hours. Melly will return in just a moment. I uh, hope everybody's having a having a real slobber knocker of a wrestling afternoon. It's wrestle weekend, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um. There's wrestling afoot. Is that a I have to. Uh, cap in the background. I have to. Uh, so Chris uh, Benoit a, got a solid pin. question. Uh, Legally distinct squirt is really funny to say out loud, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I have, um, oh yeah, this is this is this is a quality. This has to be a quality rant. Funny you say that. I hope so. This is the stinger, and I'm in the mood for handing out more than just one stinger death drop. <laughs> You're not his best. <laughs> um, so we have him. <laughs> I I just I like how he must have been exhausted. I don't know. It's just yeah, he looks way too tired there. Dillinger, however, is <laughs> spry and and ready to go. Dillinger <laughs> is 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 going all the way in this bracket. IMO. <laughs> yeah, Sting's uh, Nitro rant was like terrifying. <laughs> Don't Dillinger, my favorite whole pack member. One, Sting kicked out. So wait, just making Sting generic WCW just turns him in the Great Muda. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> so, funny thing about this arena is, uh, I think this was reskinned from Nitro. This used to be called the Rec Room. Hmm. And also, the soda bottles say Tony Soda. Or Tony's Cola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. Tony in his special blend. Just, just leaving. Just, just leaving it everywhere. <laughs> Tony, you gotta. You gotta. Tony, you gotta stop spilling this cola everywhere. <laughs> it'll got the camera. <laughs> Jesus. Tony, Tony, buddy, you. 
your cola. It's we oh, talked about this. <laughs> I remember this arena because Nitro PC modders turned into like Jerry Springer. Right now. I can't Run. believe hmm. somebody modded the PC version of Nitro. <laughs> That's that's like five levels too deep of of, of I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> yeah. That sting. What is going on? I, I Dillinger not messing, not not mucking around. Dillinger's here to sting. You better oh, formulate. Is he doing? It? Yo, <laughs> yo, Dillinger, <laughs> sir. Sting, you better figure out a Dillinger sir. escape plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Uh, <laughs> you're, 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 that's 11 out of 10. <laughs> Just... Thank you. There's somewhat... Head scissors. Yeah, head scissors your way to victory. Just... The somewhat thriving community because there's no one of the 3D PC games aside from for a while. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I, I, I don't know. Wow. What in... What in... <laughs> what... <laughs> Wow. Wow. This is suddenly a banger? What's happening? Wait, is that me? That's me? <laughs> yeah. What is occurring? Oh, wait, no, he's helping, uh, he's helping Sting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> PG, please. <laughs> oh, the double drop game. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's I didn't even say it. It was he, this. He's twerking it. <laughs> Did you say he's twerking? He <laughs> said, <laughs> Gene is twerking. Me... <laughs> Just me, Gene, like twerking up against the wall. Like... Wow. Twerking up eating. That's a WCW. I, I cannot <laughs> believe the way, the trajectory of that match. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Somebody donated a hundred dollars. Whoa, hello. <laughs> uh, who was it? God damn it! it I thought it was. I, it looked like him. I'm not sure. <laughs> Why is Twitch I, so have bad to, at letting me know who that was? I, I'd have to like go into a clip and like rewind. I, I could do that real quick. Let me see. <laughs> I hope this works. Well, thank you very much for whoever did that. This happened the last okay, time. You. Oh, why? Okay, Hippo did it. Yeah, <laughs> that was Hippo with the 150. Yeah, Hippo my goat. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Where are we? Is it? Um, now, I know at 5, they were talking about doing um, like a recording sesh for certain stuff that's happening in a little bit. Actually, they, it looks like they're pushing that to 5.30. I, I might... I still might be able to play a hooky from that for a bit. <laughs> gotcha. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how I go. But again, appreciate y'all so much uh, for donating and hanging out. Yeah. Um. The the the, the CB pizza run in. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, we got the reanimator. Joe, Joe. Uh. Joe P. Actually just put up a I think a trailer for uh for some of that stuff. Um. But uh, right now we're you know we're we're having a wrestle weekend. It's, it's the Macho Man. <laughs> yeah, Reanimator has to tangle with. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm the Macho Man, <laughs> Randy said. Don't make a big mistake. Get with the madness. That's what you want to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get with the madness. Get with. I'm. I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay. Yeah. I've never not been with it, Randy. <laughs> Reanimator, you better prep yourself for the madness. Now, Reanimator is not does not feel like they are dressed for the occasion to be. <laughs> yeah. Kind of to freak. either to either be here wrestling Macho Man or to be to have that name is what I'm saying. <laughs> is he just like smiling the entire time? I guess if you just know that you can, you know, you're either referencing Herbert West or you are, uh... Sorry, this, like, this is hard to get it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm looking real hard at this face and I'm... 
Oh, now they're doing the switcheroo again. It does look like he's grinning. I, I can't really... Or like, gritting his teeth, I think? It was like almost on the monitor behind it. <laughs> yeah. Now the ropes are in the way. We're so close. <laughs> they did the head scissors. It's a surprise attack! By who? Whom? Is that? Another shirt and shorts? That's Doug Dillinger again! <laughs> oh, he's helping Macho Man out! Dillinger, <laughs> the, the mega power. <laughs> Dillinger got the badness. The <laughs> this game needs, needs a highlight reel mode. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! So bad wins by default. Guy with stronger uh, sense of gene denim and white tee comes in power pops. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna say these matches. <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> these matches are a lot more varied than I thought they were going to be. Uh, e ever since that Reese one, yeah, it's just been a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> you can camera manipulate in the dancing state. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, we didn't get the dancing stage yet, which is killing me. That that is bizarre. That it just has not occurred. Maybe it's like a one in something chance. Uh, Maybe it like depends on who you pick. I I can't even call it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my guy at? Hold on. I know what that stage song sounded like now. Just Chocolate one, starfish. Just Sorry. One <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hear that. Uh, where, <laughs> where's Perry Saturn? Uh. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Is, did, oh, did oh, he... oh, he's in a hood. Okay, that's why I couldn't find Oh. Him. What are you looking at? Are you going <laughs> to trick me or not? Because we all know I can wrestle rings around the competition. Uh, Chris, whenever Perry Saturn comes up, he'll just start going, Perry? Like in home movies. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. He is up against 5 o'clock Tony. Huh. Here is what happens if you put... Five o'clock, Tony, in a uh, computer versus computer match. Um, mm, mm. I'm excited. Oh, now we're on the dance stage. Yeah, it, it just freezes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, so, can't do that. <laughs> I I don't know who to blame here, Perry Saturn or Five O'clock Tony. I just I assume Five O'clock Tony is to blame for that for this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I tested it. Like, this... Any any time that he's not playing against a player, he he just crashes the game. And I <laughs> Five O'clock Tony don't take no bumps. That, <laughs> that didn't work for me, brother. <laughs> so we it didn't got. Work for Five O'clock. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. That ain't gonna work for me, bro. <laughs> So we got Bobby Heenan versus who better? Ah, uh, yes. The of offense, Canyon is calling you out. Pick me, so your opponent will be flatlined. Notice the uh, there was some background chatter in that ring. Yeah, uh, I I thought that was in the room for a minute. I was. <laughs> the innovator of offense, Canyon is calling you out. Pick me, so your opponent. Will be flatlined. Yeah, someone in the break room is just having a tiff while he's. <laughs> it's like, excuse me, Canyon is trying to record. Uh, it, 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 the. <laughs> if Five O'clock Tony didn't crash every match, he would have proceeded. But. Yeah, we got a we got a DQ Five O'clock Tony. You know, hate to see it. <laughs> is it Bobby Heenan the brain? I was assumed Bobby. The brain heated. I don't, don't want to. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Doing this. This is a great canyon face, by the way. It's... Yeah, sad there's no Mortis. I was gonna say M Mortis, and, like Mortis and or Glacier in in the next round. Like that's that's what I would want. But 
We also could have gotten Mortis versus Adamant, and that, that'll sadly... May, maybe in a dream match, some other game. Wait, did Adam... Power thought... bomb! Oh, Adam won. <laughs> that chair, what the... <laughs> <laughs> the chair, Oki, you hate to see it. The freaking Steiner! Frank Steiner. He gave him Mizumi wiki for this game. <laughs> All 120-something characters. My god. <laughs> like the largest wiki on <laughs> there somehow ends up being thunder. <laughs> like, Adam might be top tier just because of his hitbox. That, that could be, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Mantis and Adam, if you had to actually play through this game with any, like, you know, sweatiness to it, is. <laughs> Bombing the break with a meaty chair hit on wake up. Yeah. I'm 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 mating flapper. <laughs> Just, oh let's... yeah, yeah. The apparent <laughs> high flyer. The Breaking Steiner! The Breaking Steiner! I, I also feel like um we would need some throw loop testing to be like, can you just head scissor people forever? <laughs> Probably. It's a surprise attack! Who is it? Who time? whom? Throw it. That's um... Throw it. Or don't. <laughs> Wait, that's the flapper. Oh, you speak of <laughs> speak of the flapper and she shall appear. Is it? She's got like the same face. Right, Wait, no, because none of them are in the wacky. So I don't know who this is. Huh? Ma Ma'am, boom. <laughs> So wait, Flapper was just a Nitro Girl reskin this entire time? Damn. Wait. A Tigress. <laughs> yeah, it's scissors. It's one of these again. I don't, I don't know who I actually want to win this. <laughs> Canyon's like my second favorite wrestler of all time, so I'm biased. Uh, I could, yeah, that's, that's probably good. I have no idea who's gonna win because both of them are beating this shit now. Yeah, that's where I'm kinda lost, is like, I... Th this was, this sure was a lot of interference. <laughs> that cat is back. <laughs> oh yeah. The cat returns. Good movie, if you've never seen it. The cat returns, good flick. <laughs> Canyon, Canyon punishes Heenan. Sure. He's punished now. He's punished even. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff happened there. I don't know. That... <laughs> that one was ridiculous, but not in the way that, like, um... Not in the way that that Sting match went. <laughs> like... Yeah, like, the... the... The snapback on that was really intense. If you if you saw the Sting match where Mean Gene came out of nowhere and tombstoned a guy, you'd be like, "What on? What is happening? <laughs> what world are we in <laughs> where that happens?" So we got a very worried THQ man here, uh, Dave Hoffman. It's left. Dave. <laughs> He'll have oh, to go up. I just noticed the sailor says, I'll swab the mat with you. Yeah, that's pretty good. And yeah, he'll have to fight Hoovy. The juice. Hoovy. Uh, wait, is that the guy? Is that the same guy? The promo where he kept calling him the juice? Where he's like, you know, would you want to come to the juice bar? And Yeah, yeah, that's him. <laughs> that is him? Okay, well, now I'm a little, yeah, now I'm a little biased. <laughs> I wasn't is before. Hooventude is, like, awesome in the ring. It's just, as a person, he's a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah, he... I, I said when, um... I think Crab was the One, first person to show me that, um... He was either Crab or, uh, uh Hirobi. One, one of the two. But, like, the first time I saw him, I'm like, this guy has, like, Zandig vibes. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> on, at least in terms of, like, promo. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I said, fuck you, you son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave Hoffman, yeah, he's like the producer of this, I think, or... I don't know, he's on Twitter. He looks, he looks producer-ish. He's... 
<laughs> he's coming into the office with the jorts on. He's. <laughs> That's a, pro a thing producers do. I could probably retext her to be jokey real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, Joe, Joe, um, wait, who just ran up? Ray Mysterio Jr. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I want you know, those TH2 shirts. Da Dave, I don't, Dave, I don't think this is looking too great for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Hoovy and Revenge is really good. <laughs> this is, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> Wait! A second! Wow. Run in. Oh, he dropped the TV. It's okay. TVs are heavy. Don Nowert, who is also just hanging around Twitter. I just. I have to at some point look to see if someone has compiled matches where someone does pick up a CRT and throw it. Because those things are fucking heavy. <laughs> I'm sure there's at least one. Like, you know, it, it's impre it's it's cool when uh Um sorry, I'm brain farting about something. Yeah. Uh, Understandable. <laughs> I was gonna say when Eddie Kingston grabbed the H D T V and threw it and it was like a cool of a, a funny, you know prodigy reference or whatever, like that was a neat moment, but that was not a CRT. <laughs> like, yeah. If you've ever had to move a CRT somewhere, you're like, oh god, <laughs> why why did we live like this? <laughs> yeah, I really suffer for this N64 sets. Um, I in in about half an hour, by the way, I may have to step away from the, from it for a little bit because um I need to help. Look, okay, put car, cars on the table. I have to help my roommate unload their car. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll be back in a little bit. They're they're at the Wegmans, I guess. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this matchup is so normal. <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> yeah, this feels. <laughs> hmm. Not not <laughs> the one I was thinking it would play. <laughs> <laughs> at least they got theme songs. <laughs> yeah. I saw a giant destroy a CRT in that same underground pl uh, PlayStation Underground interview. The <laughs> <laughs> Frankensteiner! It like feels like, a yeah. It's a normal match, but it's not taking place in a normal arena. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe the inside of just my computer, really. I don't know. <laughs> I had a 27 inch CRT, and every one of my family, for some reason, was mad about it. What's. <laughs> Mm. He got mad because Vincent beat him in a thunder match. Oh yeah, yeah, there was that. Yeah, there was that footage that I'm playing the game. Yeah, I remember that part. I'm surprised they didn't um do something like that with like um Bob Sapp. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Uh, like during the Tekken 4 bit, like you know he he loses and just. Picks up the arcade machine and throws it or something. <laughs> Probably could. Guerrero's working it out. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> Oof. He's working it out. I thought I said Ray. Ray I, was, I was like, yeah. he's not here. One. I guess two. he could hypothetically. Like. Uh, how? Where would they run in from? Now that I'm actually looking at the computer menu, it's a mystery. <laughs> what is it? What is it to be weapon? One, two, three. One, one, two. Okay, right. I I kind of expected this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now how's he gonna get out of this machine? <laughs> He'll cheat his way out of it somehow. I don't know. <laughs> in, so we hear this most, yeah, most, yeah, most programmers do that. I think. Oh, uh, what yeah. were you saying? We have another inland in fight, although this one's much wackier. Because there this veals might meet her there. Um, I also put this guy in my VPW mod, so he may look familiar. Um. 
end. Hmm. Has to fight Stingray. <laughs> Not the one from uh, Undefeatable, thank God. Uh, <laughs> that guy looked like Brutus Beefcake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, Veal's fucking huge. Veal is a large lad. <laughs> I guess what he has, he has his own unique moves. Well, not unique, but you know, he has. That's new. Yeah, I mean, that, that's. Moves, yeah. Over a second, I thought he he was doing. Wow. <laughs> he was just... Now with the ring out tech and you know all the surprise entrances and what have you, Stingray could still win. <laughs> but true. I just I don't know. Veal doing like the oh, one hit. This. Holy. <laughs> See, there's that thing. Oh, yeah. I guess it looks like the TV turned off when you picked it up. I guess they that would be a little too hard to program. I don't. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, I guess my coding theory didn't make much sense. <laughs> but oh my God, Beal, please, <laughs> uh, Beal, he's just a lad. It's just a boy. It's just Halloween havoc. Can't just. <laughs> It's, it's make believe. You're not supposed to actually murder a man. <laughs> this is one of my favorite venues, too. This is a pretty good one. Neil yeah. wins by default, somehow. <laughs> um, Stingray is dead, I think. Yeah. <laughs> looks like Veal is beating up a child. Yeah, that's kind of what <laughs> it really looks like. J just, just towering over this this poor programmer <laughs> uh, so what is it we got uh pick me what's wrong with you heard nash nash said don't pick me fine because i can smash nash pick hogan oh put him to sleep three times pick me you know why because everybody's gotta pay the pipe I love that he referenced another promo in the game. Yeah, I, I like I like shooting on other pro like in game. That that's really good actually. <laughs> uh, where's uh? Yeah, there he is. Oh, he doesn't have a rant in this game. Oh. He said it was, it. He, was, he said it was on like neck bones and like tro, and I still wonder what the hell that means. <laughs> they do both get entrances now. I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> I'm all out of pyro. <laughs> Look at a little Rudy Ray Moore esque there. <laughs> Stevie said the neck bone thing all the time, and I never got it. Yeah, it's. Oh my god. The... What did they do to Stevie Ray in this model? Stevie? Yeah. Um. What happened to his hairline? <laughs> I don't know what's up with this gear or I there's a lot. I'm speechless. <laughs> I guess I haven't really seen him without the bandana, but one! He kicked out! <laughs> what a he surprise. kicked out. <laughs> Roddy Piper looking a little Lane Staley in this model. <laughs> So much apple punch. Snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Yes. I appreciate that much like with current, like, MK sounds, it's just something involving fruit, usually. <laughs> yeah, X had that Someone horrific... smashed a cantaloupe and was just like, hey, let's use that. <laughs> yeah, X had those cantaloupe. horrific gurgling sounds that they thankfully never did again. God, oh, yeah, God. I'm I'm good on that forever, I think. That was made by like putting a plunger to like jack or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you troubleshoot or like if, if you if you're making a sound effect for something like this. Um and you know you got your, your booth set up. Who, are, are, are you the same person who has to clean it afterwards once you're done recording it? I don't... 
That's a good point. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. One. The, the, the intrinsic like responsibilities. Of, as somebody working at janitorial, delegate that. As somebody working a janitorial position, they probably just. Leave it. I I did that for a um. I I did it for I don't want to name the, the place, but I, I I I yeah it's. <laughs> Uh, Five o'clock, Tony. I think only did programming for JX for Android or something. Huh? So he he didn't do those sounds. One, he kicked out. Yeah, five o'clock, Tony. Only only you know once five o'clock hits, he's out of there. He's not. <laughs> Which is funny because his responsibilities for the day are over. <laughs> I believe that five o'clock, Tony has been the victim of a disinfo campaign. <laughs> Uh, his Brandon. many opponents and foes have been out here talking mess for <laughs> The best <laughs> info is coming from this game. Ma many, many, uh, you know, many enemies. You, when, when, when you're 5 o'clock, Tony, you lead, you lead the 5 o'clock lifestyle. <laughs> that was... Wow. I guess that's kind of an upset. Yeah, the park is happy about it. That's psychosis, which makes it even. Funny. Oh, that's psychosis. <laughs> they were, the camera was too far out. I couldn't tell. Yeah, and it kept spinning around. So. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Sonny Ono is gonna get dropped in Street Fighter EX here. Oh no! You, you, I. <laughs> You're getting cycloided. You've been had. <laughs> How will you not get cycloided, Sonny? <laughs> this uh, picture they also use for Nitro, and I'm like, could you maybe take a picture where it doesn't look like he just woke up? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of me all the time. I don't know. I, <laughs> okay. I thrive in a perpetual state of, of that now. It's either that or just... I'm eventually going to become wireframe like this. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, honestly, that portrait <laughs> seems to sum up how Sonny Ono felt about uh, being in WCW at the time. <laughs> well, we're back at Sonny, by the way. Wireframe looks more like yarn than anything. <laughs> like, yeah. Maybe because he's not glowing, but... <laughs> I think so. Yeah, like there's no... Like the lighting makes him look... I don't know. He's he's textured in a way that like wireframes aren't usually. There's like a flatness to it. That... Yeah. It's, also, it's like wireframe, uh... but not. I don't know. It's. <laughs> also, I just noticed who is taking pictures here. Uh. The rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the the most electrifying camera people. <laughs> I hear Hogan. In this, in Stonehenge. I hear Hogan wrestled one of those oh, last week. <laughs> It's a little eerie, this, yeah, the flashes coming from, like, nowhere, like, those camera people. Here comes Crush Death, by the way. I think there was a Junji Ito story about that. Uh, <laughs> Is the wrestler Crush not, um, wait. <laughs> the Crush is in here, he's just Brian Adams now. Oh, so yeah. they they couldn't. Okay. But 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 crush depth is not itself a joke. Referencing crush, I'm guessing. Maybe not. It's just we we had a swimsuit. <laughs> it's an interesting uh, color palette. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed the flippers are <laughs> the flippers are very exciting. It's an exciting color. Yeah. Uh, Sonny Ono almost had this, and I You know, the, the, um, the trajectory of the matches that usually have a run-in and someone just gets jumped, like, I'm, I'm noticing a trend. Yeah. <laughs> However, Chris Dev just booked it into the... <laughs> Here comes the disciple! Whoa, the disciple! Oh. Okay. Uh, Disciple is tired of your shit. <laughs> Sonny Ono and the Disciple. Right. <laughs> He's having yeah. a good time now. This, this might be... <laughs> Sonny, Sonny's bringing this back. <laughs> 5 o'clock Tony when 6 o'clock Tony walks in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Rico Brutus Beefcake. Yeah, the Booty Man. <laughs> the, the Booty Man is really always the one who wins. <laughs> Does the booty. Oh, on the on the. Oh no! You know. It's fireframe. Wireframe had nothing for it. That was. <laughs> Jesus, that was a violent shift. Yeah. <laughs> you, you love you love a you love a uh, a match that, you know, has, someone has a, a drastic recovery like that. <laughs> <laughs> the disciple is relentless. It's not even important. <laughs> this running happened later. Yeah, that is true. Uh, so we do have one of the best rants of the entire game. I'm so ready. I'm so <laughs> Hey! You gotta pick the ammo, baby! Because there's no way, no way anybody is gonna be an ammo! You ever see an ammo drop on someone's head? <laughs> <laughs> the snap into stoicness at the end is one of the Im best Important, things. important anvil questions. Have you ever seen an anvil fall on someone's head? In a, in a, in a non-Looney Tune sense, anvil? No, I have not seen that. <laughs> Thank you for proposing this. <laughs> Gets a lot more fucked up when you do it in an actual person. <laughs> <laughs> so he's fighting Dynamite Johnny. D Dynamite Johnny seems not super excited to have at the at the prospect of this match with Anvil, but he did. If if he had to hear that, <laughs> yeah, you know, and then go into that match, just you know. Oh, right. Uh, I, I wouldn't be super confident either. <laughs> right, this stage. Uh, anybody with arachnophobia, look away for a minute. Oh, yeah. This is... I, I personally don't do great with multi-legged things. Um, there are entire swaths of some games that I cannot play. <laughs> oh, the, the... A lot of EDF stuff. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, EDF makes me very itchy. That's somebody... I don't have that. <laughs> but, yeah. I some don't... some games like the the one that one whole section of Hollow Knight totally okay. Did not bother me. It's when it's when stuff is like I guess in a certain proximity to the camp. All the why Anvil, holy shit. Um Dynamite Johnny is just defending himself I, at this point. Ooh. Spider really liked that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like the giant rat. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the that's the best part. Also, what does that say? J j j <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, on the on the opposite side of the ring. I'll I'll I'm sure we'll see it again. But there's like several brand name something or other. Well, I'll, I'll wait for the camera swings. Around. Oh my god. <laughs> Anvil is dead. Please stop beating him. He is finished. Man, Dynamite Johnny. I... It's over there. It's uh that that stuff in the red in the red font on the other side of the ring. I I need like one more good camera swing to see it. <laughs> Off the top. Okay. I mean, Dynamite, you're trying here, but I don't know, bud. You got. What? I have never felt more robbed. Yeah. That... The, the Dynamite Johnny screw job will be told about <laughs> what we talked about for generations. <laughs> oh my god. Anvil's walking away with a broken everything after that, though. It's <laughs> just full traction. Just. Well, at least we got to see a giant rat. That, that was a. <laughs> A cool, a cool and smart rat to just get springside seats with his spider friend and spend and spend you know a nice evening <laughs> watching two men beat each other savagely. I'd hang out with those two. So we have another <laughs> heel match because we got Rick Steiner versus. Okay. Starfish. Chocolate starfish. <laughs> got um. That one guy, I, I still do not like the name of the show, uh, Worst Album Ever Made, question mark. Uh, oh, he yeah. Did, uh, he did Limp Biscuits. Uh, results may vary. And Oh, that... there's something about... Oh, this... this... <laughs> Wait, the way this model stays. Yeah, Starfish is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's not like as bad or freaky as the as the spider sprite, I guess. It just I say sprite, but it was I don't know. You get it. <laughs> it's, it's not even oh, chocolate. It's just yeah. There's something. <laughs> I don't know. And thanks for stopping by. Power Appreciate you. Um, but uh, I soy bird voice. <laughs> Yeah, results may vary is a fucking weird album, apparently. <laughs> yeah, like when you it, when you sequester a Fred Durst in a place where he's got he's it's just himself, yeah. and he has like a crisis, <laughs> and yeah. then he makes songs about it. What does that sound like? I guess that's it. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird because from what I heard of the album, it's like, you know, they try to do some of the, like, you know, mindless party songs, but, like, it doesn't yeah. sound like he's believing it anymore, so it's just like, it's an album basically made by a guy being like, fuck yeah, party, and then he just whispers, I'm not doing so hot, guys. <laughs> like, yeah, it's the... that, I guess, uh, what's the guy's name, Wes Borland, I guess, wasn't there for a lot of it, so it's just yeah him trying to deal with these, like, his thing with Britney didn't work out. The band is just about to break up. It's like, I, I'm, am I rolling anymore? I don't. <laughs> I don't think he was. I don't think I'm rolling. I was guys. expecting that album to be as bleak as an affair. Yeah, you know, they they brought it back. Though. Gold Cobra, I guess, is fine. I don't remember a lot about Gold Cobra. I just know that. Violent J tried to drop kick him after that and it was unsuccessful, <laughs> so he's, he was back. He was back. I guess both this of them have is... wrestling experience. This this wrestling match might be one of those I know it smells crazy in there. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> and 90% of it is from Rex Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our, uh, here's well, our biggest heel. Uh, now, yeah, now I really don't like him. <laughs> like, it's, it's a shame because I like, I love the character that he was just this weird dog person. <laughs> he had to ruin it. Yeah, just, you figure British Bulldog and him could have, you know, li linked with that linked on that level of just being dog boys so the nitro girls are fighting now oh the girls are fighting okay i'm <laughs> I'm, re I'm ready for the girl fight spice versus chai uh, again do not know either of these people i cannot i could not tell you the first thing <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure that uh, we, we said earlier, like, a lot of the Nitro girls do not appear to be on social media or posting at this point. I don't even know. I, I, I made that up. <laughs> they could be, they could have a bajillion followers. They, I would not be able to tell you. I hope they do. I hope, I hope they're out here posting to their hearts with Dan. Or not. Or just living their life. I, I... <laughs> well, see, I guess we found out Spice was, uh, the flapper the entire time. Oh yeah, we we get double flap. <laughs> this. The flappers does sound like it could have been a stable, if you think about it. <laughs> yes. The freaking Steiner. One. He kicked out. Um, unless there. unless you have like the flapper group idea, and then you go to Bischoff about it, and then Bischoff is like, "Well, this is how it ought to be." And then the conversation just ends, unless that happens. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the more apt scenario. I can see ECW also having that stable. Like, if you do, because you know Tony Storm's whole current thing, where it's the old timey, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> rendezvous with the stars kind of thing <laughs> in black and white. Like that, you could have a stable of just that. <laughs> But at what cost? Because eventually, I don't know, people just get weird about it. Like, <laughs> by people getting weird about it, I mean Bischoff. I mean, Bischoff, if he were in charge, would be weird about it. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> and again, shout out to them for doing all this in heels. That's <laughs> that's powerful. <laughs> yeah, maybe like WCW should have just done, done this. <laughs> I'm I'm googling the Nitro Girls' salary because <laughs> I guess I want to be sad now. Uh, Stacy Keebler only made 15k a year geez. in '98. <laughs> Why is the stop sign perfectly set up next to the store like they're gonna wait for a ball set? The hell is the fixed place got here? Yeah, that's you know that's that's where the you know they didn't have Uber yet, so <laughs> One, they're both smiling until they're like just there like, the I had a really depressing thought just now of like the the Nitro girls having the Uber pool. I I don't <laughs> I, I gotta stop this train of thought. This is... <laughs> she was only just brought the company in ninety eight after when they Contest. Huh. See, that's fine. I just think that I don't know. Spice punishes. Uh, that's Spice is doing the cold burn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting our cow. She ain't leaving now because the stop. See, that's the thing. Yeah, once they use the stop sign, then they don't know how are they getting home. They gotta just walk in shame. <laughs> we have uh, THQ man Don Nowert. Uh... <laughs> Don Don Nowert, Don Nowert, you you you're a cool guy. This is a... <laughs> There's a lot of footage of him in that Nitro credit sequence. Uh, he's in the same room with uh, Alex Wright uh, several times. So. Mm. To fight Bessie. Oh, 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 Bessie. I okay. <laughs> this is gonna be in the Cow Palace, right? There's no way. There's no shot. I hope so. There's... If we are not either there or the. Well, you know, never mind. <laughs> well, we're in a palace. Getting essence of a. You know, this makes sense. Bessie. Bessie is the queen, and she knows it. <laughs> queen any, of the ring. Any cow wrestler. C coming off of her guest spot in Fighter's Destiny 1. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> in, in the rodeo match. I, forget, I always forget if it's ketchup or mustard, but I saw them playing as a cow in the first game. <laughs> One of their moves, they were completely horrified to see. Yeah. Every... <laughs> I think every time I've like as a as a young child, I think every time I would see that win pose or the win victory dance thing, I I would have to question <laughs> like should I be playing video games? I don't. <laughs> I wasn't even that. The fact that the joke cow character has a move where they just like vertical hit their elbow in your in your elbow and basically just break your fucking arm in half as a throw. Yeah. Like, and no, I don't think anybody else in the game has that. <laughs> like, it's just... Having like a cow do that to me is a, is a prospect. I'm <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, when Tom Walker was playing that fucking game and he saw the uh, arm break animation for the first time and he had to pause for a second to be in like. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I I, th I threatened I threatened uh, someone to make a list of every game with like X rays in it prior to Mortal Kombat X rays. <laughs> so like that Death by Degrees. Um, I'm, I'm blanking on the rest. <laughs> I guess Samurai showed it. Oh yeah, well yeah, pure, purely with Hanzo, I guess. Uh, yeah, Fight Club, Death by Degrees, Sam Show, uh, one of the. I get. I guess for if you want the one that looks the most like this, you have to play 64. Uh, oh, AFK for 20 minutes. What's happening? Uh, this is wrestling. <laughs> A THQ it's, producer uh, guy has to fight a cow in a castle. Wrestling and it's, you know, this is... 
This is basically a main event. This is main Bessie is main event mafia is the thing. <laughs> um the I I <laughs> I feel like the producers had a really long time to think about the kind of secret characters they wanted. But like the minute they they started the conversation, someone was like, yo, cow. Cow give me, put, we're putting a cow in the game. Bessie punishes Don. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Don. <laughs> so we have you another. Know, Bobby Heenan enjoyed watching Bessie just, just devastate this this shorts wearing man. <laughs> they have a cow, but not a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess in the in the converse thing of that, like Eternal Champions has a chicken but not a cow. I don't I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Goldberg's part of the NWO now. Uh, oh yeah. Goldberg here. If you pick me, over here. you'll find out who's next. <sighs> I just cannot. I, it's I yeah. Mm. <laughs> Goldberg here. <laughs> it's it's like a it's like a three as promos go. He didn't really say anything. He just made a noise. <laughs> so Scott Norton, I wanted to point out, uh, he was in the the uh, Sylvester Stallone movie Over the Top. He huh. had lines, and wow. Sylvester Stallone said, "No, he cannot. If he's uh, if that's the way he's saying lines, he can't say anything." <laughs> you want to take him down? Well, let's take him down. <laughs> One, two, three. It's my game. This is where I live. This ring is my square circle. I live there. I fight there, and I survive there. You want them? I got them. Let's beat them. It wasn't so much the delivery, I so get... much as like just the whole thing <laughs> felt very stream of consciousness. Yeah, I, he started freestyle. He went off script like halfway through, and <laughs> like I get why Stallone would say that now. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, he, like he, kept... he went on like a Gary Busey bit, <laughs> like somewhere in there. Just... He just kept improv lines about like being in the square <laughs> circle. Like, I live there. I get, I get Amazon deliveries there. I, <laughs> I take out the trash. <laughs> I do my dishes in the ring. <laughs> Yeah, Scott Norton's definitely a slow burner for most people. I saw some of his uh, stuff in Japan, and yeah, that's a uh, these portraits. <laughs> 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 Beat me, me when I step on a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Other person that accidentally left the Lego there. <laughs> so this this uh, building away. venue here. Uh, <laughs> This one feels like it should have the the real hard ring out. Like you should, you should like pit to off of the side of here if you get, if you get uh, ringed out on this one. I, I I'm sad they didn't get that thorough with it, but I I get it. There's a lot in here. Yeah, I don't know if uh, letting characters die he was in the contract. <laughs> Not even like pe like perish, but just like fall off and then, then that's the match. The match is in. <laughs> <laughs> see what I think of when I see this venue is uh, twisted metal. Oh, two, three, um. Hold up, I'll be right back. My my roommate just pinged me with something. I'll be I'll be right back. No problem. I might uh, why... have to empty said car. What's up? <laughs> why is gold? Berg and NWO remember basically if any people fighting One, each other or two, opposite factions like can change they just switch factions yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh be right back. All right. Scott, come on man. Yeah, right. Oh that's true, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, well there's that move. Head scissors! Yeah, the, the Patton and Norton uh, move, the head scissors. Yeah, 
Yeah, sad the wall isn't in here. I don't know when he joins his <laughs> Yep, here comes Booker T. Booker T, Scott Norton. I guess I'm not surprised that happened. <laughs> Add that to the streak, yeah. Okay, so we got Wrath. Pick the powerhouse of WCW. Because I'm big, bad, and dangerous to know. It's dangerous to know him. <laughs> anyway, he has to fight a TSQ employee. <laughs> John Ardell. There's a lot of, um... Found a lot of article uh, interviews with this guy about uh, games that were coming out. And, uh, yeah, now he has to fight Wrath, so... Dangerous to no one. <laughs> I suck. Off the turnbuckle. That, of course. Uh, Sends up until the very last line. <laughs> like, am I in danger because I know him or know about him? Maybe that's different. <laughs> Come on, John Ardell. Winning these tests of strength, so. The Frankensteiner! One! He kicked out! I'm so sad that the other John got knocked out like super fast. About to be doing corner grapples, but he never quite gets there. So much more confusing that the Frankensteiner is not actually in this game. Like Frankenstein with the Taking character. a beating. Rap is in rare form. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a good question. You might have to take it up with uh Raph. <laughs> now round two is still looking plenty weird. Still want Goldberg to win. That's my thing. Is 
So, um... Orale! Arriba la raza! A bowdy bowdy, a rowdy rowdy. Black and red wolf pack represented by the K-O-N-N-A-N. Yo soy el campeón mexicano, yo soy el campeón de todos los latinos. Something about the silent, like... Like, jewelry jingling sounds made that seem weirdly... <laughs> <laughs> this made it seem very awkward. Oh, well, he's gonna have to fight Zoot Suit Man, so. God, round one is taking like. We're near the end. We're not almost there, but we're near. It. <laughs> one! He kicked out! Yeah, this could be Slim Daddy from Versus. Backbreaker. One, he kicked out. Do kind of sound like Seals, actually. One, he kicked out. I feel like I'm going to eat my words in a second, but... Conan's got no energy! Stand by! Hello, gamers. I'm back. Hey. This is the time to watch the oh, mask be your man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> into just... <laughs> shrapnel. Uh... Wrath just, uh, beat up a THQ employee. Hmm. Uh, Goldberg won. Oh. Uh, the Frankensteiner! The Frankensteiner. <laughs> Coming in as, uh, Conan's got no energy! <laughs> okay. This Ooh, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just... <laughs> I ran up a lot of sets. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that's... I know. That's fair, I know that curl every day. <laughs> <laughs> Pile driver! Pile driver! <laughs> you should say it like, um... Like Zazie. <laughs> Pile driver! I hate when I'm punished by Zutsu. Can't stand it, it happens all the time. Yeah. The, the uh, Zoot Suit riots of the 90s were, um, you know, not historically as <laughs> looked back upon with you know, reverence the way they should have been. Um, okay. Zoot riots. I, I had to sit with that sentence for Sorry. a second. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's just like a whole story there. <laughs> but uh, he has to fight Cobra. Uh, Cobra, loving you true, Cobra. <laughs> uh, neither a space adventurer nor, as far as we know, a bloodthirsty martial artist. Uh, he's just like a guy. Uh, <laughs> I like to think of the very, very grandiose theme song being applicable to just a guy. <laughs> yeah. Pit Finley. Kind of just a guy? I... Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Something off of that, I don't know. Finlay. It's the portrait. Did I miss who farted? No, uh. 
<laughs> they show up near the end of the first round. I appreciate being here for you, buddy. That's <laughs> you. You are you are the person who who comes to the arena with the who parted sign, and I love that. I love that for you. So that's TJ Tosses did because I would do it. Too. Yeah, I was gonna say like. <laughs> There are many signs in the audience cheering on who parted. <laughs> Which is great too because they even have a Ren and Stempy reference in the description because of course. Really? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, the description says, no sir, I don't like it. <laughs> Crispity. Hey, Crispity. No. I just every time I now I'm starting to want a Reese's anytime I hear that that sound. I'm just It's not even a Reese's thing, that's Twix, isn't it? Yeah. Except Reese's are better. I just want chocolate now. Maybe hey, that's it. <laughs> I might dig up that ice cream I have after this. That's a solid plan. <laughs> like you you deserve it. I I think yeah. um The other day I had um I had a Hagen Dazs caramel um, monstrosity. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those pints with a bunch of like the cone pieces in it. Mm. <laughs> Plus, it's a solid, solid pint of ice cream. Yeah, I can't they're making these. good pints these days. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly are. I got uh, got milk and cookies flavor in there right now. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn I, am, I am rotating cookies and cream in my mind at a speed and fervency that is <laughs> absurd, really. It's hard to get out of your head once it gets in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like Cobra's odds. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've seen some, some of these flip, you know, before. I just, I feel like, uh... The bikers are here more for fit than they are for Cobra, which is uh, strange, because <laughs> yeah. the headband, you would figure, they see the headband and they're like, oh, I like, I like that Cobra kid, he's got a good head on the shoulders. He... <laughs> Part of some Warriors game, I'm sure. <laughs> he likes to listen to the Doobie Brothers, I bet. <laughs> I there was another thing with school players. The like... <laughs> Early Early asked Rusty, what do you think of white people just out of nowhere? And she's <laughs> like, well, I like the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, besides that. <laughs> I like that that's the layup. It's like, look, we're just going to assume you like Kenny Loggins, all right? That's not in question here. <laughs> Finish. I, I feel like Punishes is doing a lot of work there. They really keep, yeah, they keep saying it, and it's like, I, I don't know. The Thunder way of thinking about the world and how people are punished is a little at tension with the ways that video games think about punishing people. I don't know. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's like how Melly destroys somebody in Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly destroyed in Connect 4. <laughs> All pieces <laughs> melting. <laughs> So we do have a classic Scott. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Big Papa Pump, you step in with me, you'll find out the man with the large arms of the world does whatever he wants. You'll find out why they call me the superstar. I love that he turned step in the ring with me into like two syllables. <laughs> you step in with me. Just the, the world's largest arms. If you say anything about him from the opposite side of the planet, just a pair of arms out of nowhere just grabs you. You're like, where do these come from? <laughs> They're the, la the world's largest arms. <laughs> he has to fight a THQ employee who's standing way from, away from the camera. Uh... It was it was probably coherent because it was like a midday thing. You know, he'd had enough call. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like that. That this was maybe prior to some. <laughs> Some moments for him. <laughs> Fairness. Fairness. Well, Leland Ma looks pretty skinny in game, so uh Leland Production. That's a good company. <laughs> I like the idea of Leland just owning THQ. I don't I don't know who owns THQ really. Um Me neither. 
There isn't really like a one person you can point to is like they did it. <laughs> He's about to go to the gym, so he hasn't pumped yet. Just yeah. He he has not. Um, no no one has taken Siner by this point where this came out and said we're gonna inflate you and make you big and round. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do, do not do not Google Scott Scott Steiner inflation. Don't Google that. <laughs> I cannot be held accountable for. <laughs> People like THQ was originally created by the guy behind LJN. <laughs> that explains a lot. Damn it! <laughs> you know, <laughs> if it what if what if the stats were measured by parts of the character models, like you know the. <laughs> The, the more stamina you did, you did get, like, you just One, have, you end up with enormous down. breast assist. <laughs> I can see it, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel like there's at least one game I played where it works like that. I can't remember. Yeah. That. I'm presenting all wrestling game devs out there with a bet One, for the rest of your development down. cycle. You have to ask yourself, am I, am I representing, you know, these, mo these models in a way that is consistent with... You know, with that, am I? Article <laughs> if, I if I make Big Butt Jackson, <laughs> <laughs> am I? Did we talk about Lee Johnson yet, by the way? Oh, yeah, that was a rave DJ thing with a uh, song by Fetus, aka the Venture Brothers soundtrack guy. Uh, he has a really good song called Gums Bleed. It turns out if you mash it up with Ahmed Johnson's theme, you get Bleed Johnson, and it works Bleed just perfectly well. <laughs> hey, get ready! Get ready for Lee Johnson! <laughs> Start Better take your belt wash! <laughs> <laughs> if if that is not if if no wrestlers have used the name Lee Johnson, I I strongly endorse. <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna be the one. Uh, it's gonna be the one after speaking Helsen. <laughs> <laughs> I I strongly believe. That, that that's a powerful um, <laughs> a powerful gimmick. I, I don't even want to call it a gimmick. It's a lifestyle. Really. <laughs> Leland is uh, kind of pulling ahead here. It's like as it turns out, Lee Johnson on the way on the way to get the Intercontinental Champion right now. No, we said <laughs> Rave Don DJ. I, 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 oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, I hope I didn't misspeak there. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, DJ does have a strange issue where the 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 trending mixes on the front page of it are always unhinged as hell. Don't click those. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm shocked that Scott, Scott Snyder lost that, but maybe that's I don't know. Le Le <laughs> like Le I said, he's not he's not pumped yet. <laughs> yeah, Leland was uh, he was kind of on the ball there. So <laughs> yeah, highly educated university. Yeah, the 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 one. The, the university where they get where you go to learn the, the ways of thunder. I've oh heck yeah, like we got. Shoot at you, yeehaw. <laughs> so we I got... I love when I love when enemies are coded to to kill me instantly from afar. That, <laughs> that's a. But if if it's a shmup, I mean that that's the thing. Like people people like um, I don't really like revenge bullets. In, in games like that, but some people are into that. <laughs> but it's the idea of like, is am I am I fighting this game? Am I am I shooting? You know, is is in a shmup? Am I being shot at? Is a thing people like to feel in terms of game tension. That I opened Rave DJ and the first thing I saw was the bottom chief Roman Reigns. You know, the you know that's chief. that tracks. I think a revenge bullet is when say in in some games like Raiden series if you shoot an enemy and they explode at a certain difficulty uh this also happens a lot in like the second loop of a game uh the enemy will explode into bullets that that are aimed at you and so depending on how far away from them you are when you shoot them you might not have time to dodge it's silly but it's like a way, kind of a way to mess with the player um <laughs> oh, I'm being uh, I'm being pingied. Uh, one second. No what if I do a revenge, revenge bullet? 
Oh my God! Now, now we're cooking. <laughs> that is, you are chefing something fierce, and I and I like it. Uh, Kazayashi um, has to fight a pig now. <laughs> this is exactly what uh, what he was thinking. You bring career. them back just to uh, the the dairy series has some stuff like that where you take over ships and use them against other ships like that. That's you know. Granted, that's not the same thing as, like, gathering their bullets. That's something like, uh, Takumi, the one dev, used a bit. Did he just brownhouse this pig? You know. I think he did, yeah. Wrestling, wrestling, anything can happen in the computer <laughs> where they do the wrestling. <laughs> I, uh, I'm curious oh why, my God, Sergeant. why the pig is named Sergeant. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the Sarge of all pigs. I I have a bias against the name Sarge because of Clay Fighter 2, and I need to get over that. <laughs> yeah, Clay Fighter didn't have any pigs in it. That's true. Well, uh, just T, T Hoppy's clone was named Sarge, and he was absurdly broken, and I hate that character. Like, it made me think less of that game overall. I I have a bias against this name. Should have given him a I, I, uh... Oh, off the turnbuckle. I don't know what you'd really call a pig. Like, if I had a pet pig today, I'd be like, guys, what do I name this guy? Um, Sergeant Oinker? O Oinky? O Oink something? <laughs> Oinky's pretty good. The uh, <laughs> hmm. I think a pig doing Frankenstein. <laughs> this is, yeah, just throwing item after item. Just, you know, that's... Sergeant's the Zoner <laughs> character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is, um... This is, this is, this might be, uh... This might be a five star, I don't know. Uh, Sar Sergeant looking like Osprey over here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're... <laughs> As Kaz Hayashi's uh, famous trademark, the <laughs> apple eating. <laughs> that would be a wild taunt to do in front of a pig. Just eat a whole apple, like, while they're... <laughs> I like, I want that. Vertically suplex and farm animals, again. The, the, world, the World Wildlife Federation is gonna... Have a field day with this. Because yeah, they were once a wrestling federation <laughs> after all. <laughs> it's true. It's a different oh, pain again. What? I can sleep her. Why? What? What the? <laughs> oh. <Wow>. Submit. Hey. <laughs> hey, didn't we? We did just reference Cobra earlier, so that actually fits. The. <laughs> Would your eyes big? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Submit, pig. <laughs> Uh, Tiffany that's, Payne. That's a good match. Good job, you beat up a pig. <laughs> Kaz, Kaz has no, you know, Kaz has no time or mercy in his heart for <laughs> the beasts of the land. Ma Mankind knew they could not change wrestling, so instead they blamed the beasts. <laughs> Ka Kazuhiro Hayashi. No, Kazuhiro Big Killer Hayashi. Yeah. That's what they call, <laughs> that's what they call it. Jamie the Learned. He's oh named, God! He's named, that, he's named that because his name is Jamie Learned. Uh, I'm getting like Doctor Tracksuit energy from this guy, and I don't like it. <laughs> I, there's footage of him in the um, in the Nitro credits. He looks a lot like Nirvana's first drummer. <laughs> a whole a whole grunge album that that came with the game. It's uh, <laughs> he was like wild. The, he was like the drummer they had for like ten minutes before they realized he lived way too far away. <laughs> mm. uh, he has to fight the barbarian. <laughs> so uh, good luck out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie the Learn's face is also the same face as the cowboy. Uh, so. Mm. Any of these games have really bad heels. I want to see Knuckleball or the Stormtrooper guy playable. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh, you mean Shockmaster? Oh, yeah, sadly there. there's no Shockmaster in here. Shockmaster! 
um, for for all of the as, as good as it would have been, like I don't know what move list. He, like I can't really believe him doing the head scissors. <laughs> yeah, it's got I could I could see him time. doing like um, well like like that. That was a silly thing. Very just did. Um, he would he would play like Veal, I think. Yeah. He would just be a big a big dude. Oh God, barbaric usage of Bill. Oh God. Drink. Oh God. <laughs> Jamie is not learning a whole lot here. His one move is stumble through the wall. That would be incredible. <laughs> just bring around a miniature piece of drywall and just crash it through people. It's funny because uh, him as one of the natural disasters, he was in a couple of 2K games and he does have move sets for that. Hmm. Yeah, then again, it's, it's, yeah. The, it's the 2K game, so I don't know how accurate they are. Hmm. Particle suplex, that's a pretty good one. Maybe he got learned, that's for sure. Uh, was, I, I feel learned. I feel educated. <laughs> He has learned defeat. <laughs> That's why he should have stuck with the name he had in Nitro, which is Jombo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, um, is that not, uh, is that not what Elena says in Street Fighter when you, um, I could, I could be, I could, I could be completely wrong. I could be way <laughs> off. I've been wrong before. I don't. Uh, yeah, I guess he would say it that way, wouldn't he? Jumbo, and she does a cool flip. <laughs> so, she, it just puts me in a good mood when, when someone says that and does a flip. That's a, you know. <laughs> that's kind of like this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Tony Schiavone has to fight Kimberly Page. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is legitimately kind of strange. Like, whoever booked this, you are. Did you just hit randomize? Like, what? <laughs> On a rooftop, yeah, this is definitely... On a rooftop, yeah, someone just... <laughs> it's, you know, again, we, we thrive a little on chaos, it's fine. <laughs> well, you know, I just sniffed a lot of paint thinner, and uh, this is the magic thing <laughs> I only said randomize earlier because someone, I saw someone tweet, like, Tony Khan just hits randomize and... <laughs> sits there with a grin on his face. <laughs> He's got that music. Oh, kinda... He's got that music. Yeah, I... Because, uh... Fucking Abaddon wasn't on TV for like a year. Steiner. Yeah, and that's upsetting. <laughs> yeah. Like, just underusing Nyla Rose. Like, really? <laughs> the fucking Steiner? <laughs> <laughs> Particle suplex and fucking style. Oh my god. Whoa. Y'all are. Whoa. <laughs> You're like, right. Oh god. I'm so Particle scared suplex. for y'all. Wow. Yeah, yeah. See? See? In, see? In a game where they thought about it, that would have been it. <laughs> yeah. Kimberly would have thrown Whoa. Tony Schiavone off of a building. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tony Schiavone, you can't, you can't do this. This is, this is not okay. What are you doing? Kicking butt. Kicking butt, as they said back then. <laughs> oh, invisible wall. <laughs> I'm really dizzy. This torch. This. Here this... comes <laughs> Here comes Saturn. Our, where did you? Okay. Sure. Really? <laughs> Is it... Hey, Tony. I'm gonna scratch your back a little bit. Kimberly Page friends with Perry Saturn. I'm keeping a list of all this. This is gonna be important later when we need to like, you know, get, get all the social links. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're gonna make one of those like those those trees, those family tree things. Like when pe when people are not familiar hey, with like the Tekken lineage, you gotta be well. Like Suhi Hachi is uh, the father of. <laughs> Oh, Kimberly wins. Yeah, good place there. Tony's just gonna lie on the side of this building. 
the parries at her just stare. <laughs> Hey, we want to talk about an underrated uh, WCW guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He married a mop once. That was a thing. Su suppressing the, the coolest people. Speaking of, the coolest, WCW. speaking of coolest people, we got Ernest the Cat Miller. Hell yeah. <laughs> fighting the character that was just dying to get in the ring the whole time, apparently. So so Tiffany Payne has, yeah, like, we've only seen, we have only ever seen Tiffany Payne run out to just, to muck things up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I want to see what Tiffany does here, because I, I think, uh... I'm also just after realizing, Power like, bomb. the name Tiffany has been popping up a lot for me lately. I don't know what it is. The the, the, the raw time thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Just making just make a note. <laughs> also, Project Justice. Uh... Yeah, exactly. See, oh, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised about the name coming up. I'm surprised to the degree that it, you know, keeps happening. <laughs> One. Kind of remind, like, it kind of reminds me how many people in WCW were named oh, Scott. Bomb. <laughs> yeah. Scott. At least three. <laughs> yeah. Disappointed that Tiffany doesn't have the last break. <laughs> Yeah, that's any time, any time like a body slam happens, it makes the stone cold glass break sound Kick like that. That would have been. Really good. Yeah, it's like that would be too much effort. <laughs> it'd be a lot of yeah. It, it'd be a lot of the disc like spinning to play the same like effect, and like your your disc plays it would eventually just burn out. It, <laughs> Be like, look, I can't, I can't keep doing, I can't keep living like this. <laughs> so one model, a modeler was uh, looking over time. Was like, you know what? We do all this shit. But, uh... Yeah. Um. One. He kicked out. He kicked out. By the way. <laughs> yeah, don't they all? <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> as as much as I want to say, like they don't. We, again, we we still haven't. Have we seen any pins in the in the way that you would expect to see someone get pinned in a wrestling match? Uh, yeah, a couple of times, but they're very far and few between. I just mean, you know, in in the one, two, three, ding, ding, ding. That's it. Uh. I, I like that this game is, like, not reliable with that. I like that it's teaching you a way of engaging with wrestling there. It's like, no, people don't actually win that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't want that's, to, you don't have to. That's almost, you know, that's probably not intentional, but it's kind of smart. Like, it's... <laughs> it's like, no, actually, what if you won because me, Gene, Ogilvy showed up and... <laughs> And like hurt and really hurt a guy. <laughs> One, he kicked out. So, subverting your expectations is what I'm saying. One. Yeah, I know people what? who pin and they're all cowards. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany won somehow. I. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany pinned him after he already lost. I I think um. Yeah, see what I mean about subverting expectations? Double double victory, double win. Yeah. So uh I like when <laughs> I like when the rules are such that you can just turn them off mid match and be like, no, I I'm gonna win this way with no consequences. <laughs> <laughs> so um Yeah, Horseman gains a new member today. Um it is so weird that Ric Flair is all the way down here. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's a little strange with, with no rant whatsoever because out of everyone here who is ranting i mean that's <laughs> yeah. I, i'm okay i'm okay not hearing it personally because of how much i've heard him rant but i, I think we all get it <laughs> like, yeah. uh voice attorney of the tiger is now uh part of the 
Ellis, man. <laughs> as, as, it, as it should be. <laughs> You'd think Rick would be un unable to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I mean, that's just true of him in general. But <laughs> I still I still laugh at myself sometimes about how horny people were online for Tony the Tiger that they had to turn off flies to their account. Yeah. <laughs> That that's so good. That's that's so good that it's like <laughs> you, you can't just be like, hey, this is part of this balanced breakfast. People are like, daddy, and you're like, no, wait. <laughs> what do you mean, fuss yeah, like, my flakes? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, like bustle <laughs> <laughs> for icon. That actually makes bustle a... for icon. Yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense because you have Ooh. one of the most notable things. I have with, uh... I have a prediction. If if that if that one indie fighting game, uh, Serial Killers, comes out, <laughs> and if they have a Tony the Tiger analog who's hot, you are Party never Fire! going to hear the end of it. <laughs> People are going to immediately be like, be, just just frame one, be like, <laughs> Yo, bring to me, me the Tiger's Addy. <laughs> Dude's a Dorito. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ric Flair's looking a little corn chippy here. He's uh, he, he someone left um. Particle yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the whole Ric Flair oh like God. being a last minute thing makes a lot of sense because yeah, that was a glaring thing. That does. Right. One with uh. Um, what the hell's uh? With with revenge. Uh, I think he really yeah. does look like Super Macho Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like my Ric Flair. Well done. Yep. Yeah. If if we don't if we don't uh, put the A one <laughs> all over Ric Flair's face, <laughs> it's not it's not complete. Literally, you know, uh, set set to simmer. <laughs> he looks like he's been simmering. He looks like he's been in a crock pot. <laughs> Slow cooked Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah, like, I think. Yeah, like, there was even, like, Ric Flair's character data in the old bag when he got Bummy Hell. So. <laughs> okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, Ric Flair sucks, but. What what I would. Oh. No, you want that. Bag on it. Um. <laughs> I would like some hero to take the in your house characters and somehow like backport them into a WrestleMania arcade game somehow I it, it's impossible yeah but it would be neat <laughs> why is Flair Hogan flexing uh because uh yeah last minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> just 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 sort of <laughs> Spo spooned that one in there. Just, <laughs> so we got a um, we got a Booker. This is Booker T, one of the hottest rappers in WCW today. And if you pick me, you'll know you're the best in the business. Now can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> uh, so I'm approaching. I I can kind of dig it. I I'm I don't know. Yeah, he also seems kind of tired. He's <laughs> yeah. He, everyone's at this point is like. They're, they're, it's like halfway through the tour. They're all, you know, no one's getting any sleep. <laughs> the astronaut is here. Yeah, he has to fight the astronaut. <laughs> God, round two is looking uh, delightfully strange. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm here for. I know they're they're doing um, from the looks of things, uh, they're they're doing. Uh, well, they, they are finalizing John Handgun recording in a, a different in in that other channel. However, I, I think I'm probably good until they tag me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out until they tag me <laughs> to be to like unless I they unless I am needed specifically for any lines. I'm probably good. <laughs> I'm getting a good buzz out of this. <laughs> there was a. Ah, I see. Is that Buzz Aldrin? I, I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, there was a B man in Nitro called Buzz. So, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, almost like a, I think the wacky characters in Nitro are a lot better. 
Like the ones in here feel more basic at times. It's like, oh, this is a cowboy. But we're not talking like, not not a B movie tie-in. Just happens to be a, a B a B guy was there. I guess. <laughs> uh, this is um. Yeah, this is Stonehenge. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the real thing. <laughs> it could be some kind of Stonehenge on the moon. It could be like some some Kubrick thing. <laughs> Where Kubrick's like, what if a guy wrestled another guy on the moon? Wouldn't that be fucked up? I I, I could see that. <laughs> the astronaut's just like, my god, it's full of head scissors! <laughs> so I'm not sure who this fake sportscasters in the Nitro roster is supposed to be. So the one guy, Steve, um, he's Steve Rhino, who's like, uh... Taking a, a beating. Long standing, like, producer guy. I don't know who Brian is, though. He just looks like one of the lawyers or something. That just, yeah. Some. <laughs> some guy. Some some guy who, <laughs> if he were. Oh, God. <laughs> I looked away and looked back for one second. I had the nerve. <laughs> now it's truly like a Kubrick thing. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Man. Booker T, you're, you're in trouble, bud. <laughs> Booker T, the entirety of the village people are here to mess you up. You gotta... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta do something about this. Astronaut hasn't moved. Astronaut's just surviving. <laughs> I mean, I got, all my... Stonehenge. I got all my health back, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, whenever you're ready. <laughs> I think he just stopped working. <laughs> he, he, just, he isn't even doing his victory animation, he's just broken. Meet me when my social battery runs out. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened that was, there? That, that was something. Bobby Heenan liked it. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Booker T just they they shoved him in the cube. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> The, the Stonehenge cube where you wrestle, and <laughs> he never made it out. <laughs> so, God, I love history. So, <laughs> Buff is now going to be part of Raven's flock. Uh... I'm Buff, I'm tough, I'm the stuff, and if you don't pick me, well, I guess you're just not enough. Short and sweet. Uh, I'm I'm the stuff is weird to say. That's a strange thing to say to other people out of your mouth. <laughs> a lot of people did. Um, they thought he was a really cool guy on Twitter, but it turns out there was a guy ghost running the account. So uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that that guy was actually the stuff. <laughs> the, the ghost writer of the stuff. Sorry, I had, to sit with, the... I had to sit with the fact that Sick Boy is now part of the NWO. <laughs> sick, sick Boy, I'm shocked, didn't actually ever... <laughs> <laughs> just, just just, snatch that sign. Buff, they needed that. They spent seven hours making that sign, Buff. Sick looks like he does have a fever, so... <laughs> sick, sick is, sick is uh, come under the weather. I don't know. I think he's pointing to Sick Boy. He's like, yeah, that guy's sick. <laughs> he's very blurry. Sick, sick derogatory. Oh, they're in space. <laughs> sick derogatory. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and see this. In, in, the, in the space queue. I love this menu so much. This is probably my favorite one next to... Um, this and the computer. I just I like the computer more in theory though, because I still don't know where they'd run in from in in the computer. Wow, what the? I don't know where they'd run in. Either. A lot just happened. <laughs> it was a lot of items. I like when there's a bunch of items in a row. That astronaut's very flat back there. Oh yeah, wow. Well, they're in the cube, it's... so he doesn't spread a mega <laughs> <laughs> Why did they decide that the flash color screen is great? I guess they all just work back, so... Maybe, yeah, um... I... <laughs> Bagwell is possessed! 
Sagwell's possessed. Yep. The, 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 spa the space stuff, the space sickness is getting to him. Where are they throwing things at him from? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Damn. You know, this is the last stage of Turok Rage Wars? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I missed that. <laughs> That's a pull. <laughs> like, please remaster that one, Night Dive. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's all the space garbage we left behind. Uh, Damn, so we, we, we left Buff Bagwell in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> so we got uh, we got another inland fight here. Hmm. Sleep Dep Ed. A lot, of, a lot of team kills in this bracket. I don't. He wants to know if I'm going to eat that. I probably am going to eat that Sleep Dep, Dep Ed. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, I have a container full of uh, drunken noodles here. Uh, yeah. I was just thinking about trying to get noodles of some sort. I think I, think I have Robin down there. I should see. Anyway, maybe in a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and we also got... A little man, ill man just got beaten up. You know, wrestling is <laughs> fucked up, because wrestling Matt is just here. Like, wrestling Matt didn't do anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> the unsung hero. Wrestling Matt just likes wrestling. <laughs> I think he's and now we're going to put him against his best friend. Sleep that bed. <laughs> sl sl yeah, sleep that bed is half asleep. And and we're just we're for, we're pitting these two. That was a ooh, what a starter! <laughs> yeah. So it's sleep immediate kick in the face to wrestling man. Like I don't. That was rude. So sleep Dep Ed. Uh, he was in Nitro, so he has a character description. He was known as Eddie the Wire in that game. Uh, That's kind of a better name. <laughs> yeah. Um. That guy said he had mob ties and was rumored to be a hitman. <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> quite a thing. I, I love I love I love when people do like Todd McFarlane level backstories for their gimmick, like just for no reason. <laughs> yeah, for these self insert uh, characters. <laughs> Matt, get in the fucking <laughs> Oh, Matt, eat Matt you poor man. Matt looked a lot like Garth. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Matt. That was fast. <laughs> I couldn't get into the ring, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Matt okay. knew his role. He had to lay down. It's called Wrestling <laughs> Matt, not Wrestling Ground. <laughs> <laughs> so this... God, this matchup is so normal. Except I gotta change some stuff. Oh. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you selected Scott Hall? Big trouble for you. I'm gonna rough you up, you little punk. I'm gonna rub your Wait. face in the mat. And when it's time, boom. Wait, but 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 if I'm the player and you're helping me, why would you hit me? I'm we're we're going out there to do things Scott, I, th I think you're right I think people got their wires crossed a little <laughs> with these like you selected Scott Hall, big trouble for you, big trouble for you it's like damn Chico, I, sorry I <laughs> I won't I'm Lex Luger, they call me the total package you know why? Something about I'm Lex Luger in front of a green screen makes his ears stick out you got the naturally takes me on yeah, he looks like more wiry than usual than this one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the green screen. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I I saw him at Wolfpack now. Uh... I don't miss Lex Luger specifically because. <laughs> And whenever I play WrestleMania the arcade game against a Lex Luger player, and they just hit me with that anvil for a year, I just have to question my life path that led me there. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Like. I don't remember. I don't know much about Lex Luger's personal life, but I think you may be onto something there, man, because I think that's what I'm saying. I, yeah, I don't want to say that he's a, the ski lift type or anything. I, I don't <laughs> I don't see him in front of, like, the Tony Mantana mountain or anything, but I think he's had a history. I, I don't 
Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Wait, did I Working change bombs? Heck yeah. Did I change these factions correctly? Uh... uh so wait, Lex Luger in WO is is Scott Hall? Um, what was the Scott Hall one? I don't. Know. Oh yeah, he's part of NWO and then switched. I think I don't know. Ah, <laughs> Scott Hall has made the switch to Bloodstorm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny. I played with Ben so many years. I forgot that. Um, I forgot that uh, Revenge, I think, is the only game that calls it NWO White and NWO Red. Huh. That is odd. <laughs> it's like, wait, nobody else calls them that? <laughs> well, it's... Hmm. Uh, if they did another one like that, I guess that wouldn't be a bad idea to like have them be like, like, like Pokemon games. Like, you have one... <laughs> One side of the roster is. <laughs> yeah, don't bother getting red. That's the one that has Conan in it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Just keep that one. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, so no, no Hall or Nash going forward. Uh, yeah, in this bracket. You know, that see, I mean, I guess that seems like if you if you are still on board with Hall and Nash in a video game sense, at this point, um, you qualify for a senior discount, and uh, you're me. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, up oh, yeah, here comes the debut of uh, everyone's favorite. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> and they have to fight. The nephew of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Horace. Horace Hogan. That Horace is... is not ready for who farted. <laughs> Horace kind of sounds like horse. Who? Who? It does. I was just thinking. <laughs> GG easy for who farted. You know. On. I don't, don't want to count. I don't want to count Horace out this fast, but. <laughs> the I. I had a whole thing where I was complaining about like battle pass outfits in, in fighting games the other day. I would buy a battle pass for who hearted skins. Give, give, give me, give me who hearted Aki in Street Fighter Six. <laughs> I'll yeah. I'll I'll play as horse horse freak woman. That that's me. It's intensely me. Oh my god! If it, look. If a horse does head scissors to me like that, I'm dead. I'm dead, I and most, I deserve it. I think That's... most people will be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Who farted? <laughs> who farted, please? This is, this is a... This is a rated T for Teen video game. <laughs> they gotta start pulling ahead. They're not doing very well. Come on, who farted? Give him the... Give him the razzle-dazzle. Oh, uh, break this. They're getting... They're getting... Thunder back. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that to a horse, probably. Yeah, that's fucked up. One. Yeah, throw Eight stuff at this this horse. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is so hard. Head <laughs> Stop head scissoring the horse. <laughs> Taking a beating. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's One. gonna come in and help, One. right? Hit him! Hit him! One, two, kick, kick down. Oh my, that, that was the scariest kick out of the whole journey. That was... <laughs> One. Ah, it's Yo! Bobby! It's Bobby! Oh my god, that's Bobby's music! Bobby got totally destroyed last time, so... Get him, Bobby! Get one for it! Show, show him what they do! We just in... hit it! Who for it? Let, let, him get, let him get some life back, it's fine. Let's go hoof. <laughs> hoof, rather. Instead of send a hook, it's send hoof. <laughs> Jesus. Send hoof is a little Yeah, yeah, take that horse. The horse just jumped on you. You should not survive. You cannot survive this. That's his uh, <laughs> magical. Oh, the <laughs> 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 
Destroy the Oh yeah, we're good! With a hook is so good. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Get him, Bobby. So they're doing the same moves, but All it's right, Bobby's like out. Different oh, form. Fire, 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 hoof! <laughs> yeah, this has to... Don't, don't you care? We, we take those. Hoof by goat. That's right, we're going to Mania. <laughs> Holy Did not disappoint there. Ma match of, yeah, five stars. Possibly seven. I <laughs> Nimrod sent me the past year theme from Fighters Destiny 1 and said this improved the horse fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you're if you ain't if you're not down with that. <laughs> if, if you didn't get you know, <laughs> so if you didn't get a little zoomy from that match, I, I don't know what to tell you. That was <laughs> that was kind of glorious. So he's an inland guy that's been in both games that they had to change the models for because in Nitro he had a big old mullet, and uh, mm. he isn't in this game anymore. Uh, so. You, you love to see someone freed from the, the mullet cube. <laughs> <laughs> he was known as Virtual Andy in that game. Uh, hmm. And he has to fight Uncle Monkey. Un uncle? <laughs> is is this just like, I'll be a monkey's uncle, and he just he just went, he's running with that? I, I kind of see it. Yeah, I think that has to be it, right? <laughs> I don't know that any actual matches... This weekend, other than again, maybe that Ram Kaicho and Danhausen match are gonna get anywhere close to how good that that hoof yeah. match was. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm still a little stuck on that. <laughs> yeah, that was an effective swerve. <laughs> I was not ready for the Bobby run in to be that hype. That was <laughs> like that. That got me, you know. <laughs> you got, you got, it got me punching there. my own leg a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom me looking a little. Uh... Patrick Swayze from Roadhouse here. <laughs> it, it is maybe, yeah. <laughs> like, you would figure these outfits would be switched. Like, Uncle Monkey tells me that the gimmick is like, oh, he's going to turn into a monkey or something. He's like a Uzaru form <laughs> that he can do. Like, why else would he be barefoot? <laughs> Like a like a Marina Shafir type deal. I don't know. <laughs> What's also We're really funny? In. We got. Is that the outfits they wear in the portraits are almost never what they have in game? So. Yeah. Do you think that Zumi is on a? <laughs> I was, you know, what? I was gonna make a wiki feed joke. Let me not. Let me not. Let's backpedal that one. <laughs> yeah. Let's table that one. Uncle, Uncle Monkey. Monkey could kill Vegeta. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there was that. Because Uncle arc. Monkey understands the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Uncle Monkey arc. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> fuck money. <laughs> oh, thank you for the fuck money. Big price. Hey. We're at two ten. Appreciate you. Remember, One, if uh, three, it goes two, to a thousand, I will suffer through the dancing battle royal. <laughs> There, there's, there, there seems to be an amount of suffering that, that, suffering positive <laughs> that, could, um, <laughs> that could result from that. I, I just think that it's, uh, from all we've seen thus far, <laughs> I, I want to see hoof hearted dance really is the thing. <laughs> so, you know, if you're into that. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, Back right now. It's funny because they can get they can, that many can get picked. It's just it's not doing it. I we I think we saw it once. Yeah. All, all of, and it was the one we couldn't do. Yeah. So they just sort of it was sort of normal, which is for this game. That's I don't know what that says. <laughs> Zumi, come on. Zumi, you're uh you're so close, Zumi. Oh well. <laughs> Once again, the Uncle Monkey screw job. That'll, that'll, be, that'll go down in history. Um. So the last match of round one. Four mm. hours in. Uh, we're, we're finally here. Performing for you. <laughs> uh, we got... 
Van Hammer versus a robot. <laughs> <laughs> so somehow it's surprising we hadn't seen robot yet. <laughs> Just we were saving the best for last, I guess. Yeah. Explains why Who Farted came so late to the game. <laughs> Who farted versus robot is, is gonna is gonna slap. That's. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So I thought that this was like an enclosure, but it's really I guess some kind of field. <laughs> like. Yeah, a field doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, they can't they cannot contain robot. You cannot hope to contain wrestling robot. The you can only fire. momentarily inconvenience them. <laughs> So yeah, Van Hammer kept interfering left and right. Him and Tiffany Page. Yeah. Matches. Are are they part of the? They were part of the same stable, right? Slash polycule. I don't. <laughs> I lost track a little ways back. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Tiffany Page stuck in a wacky uh, group. So. This is combat to me. So true. This is. This is Lee Chao Lan's video. Wrestling in space. <laughs> He definitely had some shares in WCW back in the day. Yeah. Wait, the robot went er? <laughs> yeah, everybody has the same exact sound. Why was I programmed to groan? <laughs> the Boston Dynamics robot. Boot. Uh, pillar. Okay. Something's okay, there we go. It's hard to film matches in space. <laughs> yeah. That milk has to have gone bad by now. <laughs> the milk's been sitting up here on a set. Oh god. Isaac Asimov warned us about this sort of thing. <laughs> Robots say you must be so far. Vertical suplex. Oh. I think one day in wrestling that, uh, you know Yoshihiko? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to just eventually animate Yoshihiko like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yoshihiko gains sentiments, I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't see... You, know, you, you can do the elaborate dance with, with Yoshihiko if you are skilled enough, but not everybody is that skilled, so I think at some juncture... Maybe they do like a Yoshihiko 2. Oh, and yeah. he's just and he's just remote control. <laughs> uh that'd be incredible. <laughs> or it's just a guy in a suit. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, speaking of You know. Um Chrome, you were so close. You were right there. <laughs> Sorry there was traffic. Uh <laughs> From from here to the moon, <laughs> just you know, really uh, really crammed out there in space on ninety five. So that's that's all around one, huh? Yeah, um, I think we could probably do like I don't know, like six of the round two matches, and probably leave the rest for tomorrow. I gotcha. <laughs> we'll we'll see how fast these go. <laughs> yeah, I'm a. Uh, <laughs> I think um. I got. I gotta eat something soon. Um. <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm popping down to see. Just a momento. Uh, yeah. Really, really appreciate everybody who's been hanging out and checking this out, though. Um, oh yeah, again, for sure. This has been. Consistently really good, and and some of these matches are, again, probably better than some real world matches you're going to see today, this this weekend. So, oh, absolutely glad to glad to be able to share those those moments. I <laughs> uh, appreciate everybody who donated for sure. Thank you for helping out. Um, you know, the Cobble Breaker trip is going to be a little oh, pricey, God, but I think we. Uh... <laughs> my stipulation is I'm going to donate myself. Near the end, but like if the winner ends up being somebody that sucks, I'm gonna double it. <laughs> <laughs> if, it if it ends up being like, um, did, did Hogan make it past round one? 
I don't. I don't think he did. Uh, yeah, he did. He beat one. He did. Okay. Right. If it if if it's Hogan, then I feel like we just gotta redo the match. <laughs> <laughs> we we have we have to screw Hogan. That doesn't Big work for me. what? <laughs> Oh no, it's um. One. He kicked out. Rocco Rock, I think. I think that was. Oh yeah, yeah, no, Rocco Rock, you're right. <laughs> I would not have remembered until I saw the thing on his shirt, but I, I, I couldn't remember just based on the public enemy thing. <laughs> yeah. Public enemy, I know nothing about. Same with yeah. Mikey knows actually. No, knowing about Public Enemy in wrestling terms more so than the other Public Enemy oh is is like going on a quest <laughs> of acceptance. <laughs> you just have to accept that that's a thing. That was a thing. <laughs> that uh, that face uh, Rocker Rock was doing was chilling. Uh, <laughs> being, being beat up by a horse, brother. Yo, look at him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> AC Jazz just checking this out. <laughs> oh God! Ow! <laughs> One. Out. Rock Rock is... Sorry. Oh no! no uh, never mind. I <laughs> forgot what I was gonna say about Eno. It probably wasn't that interesting. <laughs> it's just yeah, like I've heard of Public Enemy. Mike Eno, I know absolutely nothing about. So I'm gonna have to just look into him now. Did Did he like? Okay, here's. Here's my. F I I I'm gonna find a fa some fast facts about Mike Enos, I guess. <laughs> um, he was mainly a tag guy. It looks like uh, his finisher was the Whirly Bird, which is, I guess, like a spinning crucifix thing. Huh. Uh, he was managed by uh, a guy named Coach. I guess that was just his name was Coach. I don't. <laughs> also, Baron von Raschke. Huh. He he teamed with a guy named Dick Slater. <laughs> I don't know any of these names. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, he seems like just kind of. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I guess also he he um he had. He's also gone by The Mauler and The Masked Skyscraper and Blake Beverly, all of which seem like worse names. <laughs> like... Well, Although The Mauler is like, there's been a bunch of people called The Mauler. There have been. I, I, I don't know. That seems... <laughs> it's like the best name, so it has to have been used a bunch. Like, old dirty thing. <laughs> Well, the mass skyscraper. You know what the problem is? Is he was in a tag team called the Skyscrapers. So it's like, which guys? Sorry, which skyscraper are you? <laughs> like, what's your name again? <laughs> uh, what the hell? Right. So, um, Mike Tanay Iron... is now part of Raven's Walk. <laughs> I Iron Mike Tanay always has that like Dick Vitale face. He's just like, it's awesome, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's the same Blake Beverly. I could be, I could be full of it. I, I again, I don't know Jack about Mike Enos. I am simply along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Riggs with the, uh, the Big Trouble Little China fit here. It's a good fit. It's <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of denim in this game, so it's like one of the better denim looks, I think. Yeah. That's WCW for, uh, like, for Yeah. Um... Vertical suplex! <laughs> yeah, yeah, the leg drop hitbox strikes again. <laughs> he looks like a Blue World Order member. That's, you know, sure, yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, why not at that point? <laughs> yeah, it's like, sure, but... <laughs> But that's the fourth Scotty. There's a lot of Scotties. Like, wrestling has a lot of Scotties, a lot of um, Scots, a lot of. I feel like a lot of Mikes. I don't know. Maybe that's just the world. I don't know. 
Yeah, I think Mike might just be a little bit. There is an unusually high amount of Scott. Yeah. Riggs, he's standing up. That one claim to fame is making a video that made Scotty Riggs cry in a good way. Oh, have that mm. be fucked. I'll say, hey, Chris. How, how powerful. <laughs> that's, that's strong. <laughs> Great Scott. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey yeah. there. there yeah. Uh, is putting the hurt on. Taking a beating. Doing pretty good. Uh, today he's taking a beating. <laughs> Could have been a nose lock. <laughs> Mike today, I don't know if you if if you're Oh wait, wait a minute. <laughs> One. He kicked out. He kicked out. Who, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna do the head scissors next. I feel it. I feel it coming. Like it's either that or Frankenstein. <laughs> I, you know. So when you're right, you're right. <laughs> and Dean Malenko coming out. <laughs> Dean Malenko jump scare. <laughs> Scotty Rings. He kicked out. Okay, the, Fra the Frankensteiner came from a different source, but it was still a Frankensteiner in the oh. way that oh, oh, they're things. They don't like this. I forgot. I forgot Dean Malenko is part of the, the new flock now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe in his dedication to the flock. He's not oh, wearing the, uh, oh. the, 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 the cool shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the uh, $20 of fuck money, Curry and Jackson. Hey, appreciate you. And Mike today he moves on. <laughs> you know, I, I guess there was a there, there was a moment there where it seemed like he was just gonna kind of just get steamrolled, and uh, then then Dean Malenko happened. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of endings to match. Is that then Dean yeah, and then, and then Dean Malenko. Yeah, it's like when you drastically add Kurt Angle to the mix. <laughs> Well, like he's not even wearing gray. How are we supposed to know he's fly? Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't really change that for him. <laughs> God, this... Yeah, like no, no gray, no, uh, none of those um, goth lettering, you know, those goth font jerseys. None of those. <laughs> Big motherfucker. Those, those jerseys are all right. I have a Maki Ito jersey that's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch that video because uh. That sounds very familiar. Maybe I didn't get around to it. I like how the flock in NWO basically just changed positions at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's opposite day. <laughs> so we have Arn Anderson versus La Parka. <laughs> your car, I'm taking your car. Wait, what? La Parka I'm taking your parka. <laughs> La Parka's already part of the horsemen because of a previous match, so I guess <laughs> Oh, but yeah, does it does it let you not does it not let you um Huh. Huh. This is an interesting dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> Good look. Yeah, you car on tape. Nice, yeah, nice. I like the studious glasses look. I, I've never <laughs> even really, uh... <laughs> Meanwhile, Aparka just doing that. <laughs> oh my god, Orn got the Reese treatment. Oh my god. <laughs> they just put a PNG of him. <laughs> look, Ar Arn, Arn had places to be that day. <laughs> Just... America's dad versus Skeletor. <laughs> I like how due to the kind of the limited paling, paladin going on with the textures, it looks like Arn Anderson is severely balding. <laughs> when, when when someone, you know, it's like get out of your car, I'm taking your car, and that's that that'll that'll have that effect on Oh just... <laughs> Oh god, oh god, Parker, please. The hitbox. Yeah, this, uh, through, through the ring. Oh, just <laughs> oh, chopping his head off. Oh my god, the Dio. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we know Laparka's true identity, I think. Kodo Laparka da. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that... That's a highlight. That's <laughs> that, that's so good. Speeder on. 
He just beat Arn Anderson within an inch of his life with a stop sign for like a straight minute. And then the match just ended. <laughs> All right, Hogan's part of the flock. <laughs> oh, it might as well. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. You know what I tricked you before? I'm going to trick you again. But this time, the torture is going to last longer on the Hollywood Walk of Shame. So if I pick you, I'm gonna get embarrassed. Is that what you're? <laughs> that that sounds about right. That's how I interpret it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need the uh, sneeze button. Hold on a second. I guess the Hollywood Walk of Shame does kind of apply here to well to everything about <laughs> me and that first. Uh... Did Sting ever? Did Sting ever beat him in the at that time? I don't, I don't remember. He should have. I hope. Yeah. I. <laughs> I don't want to go back and look and be disappointed. <laughs> ah, sorry, uh, another allergy attack. Yeah, uh, the embar- no, you're fine. I, I'm actually, I'm getting it too. It's it's kind of just a, you know, an, an East Coaster Atlantic thing. <laughs> like, there, there was like a cold snap or some shit this weekend, so it's, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> we got hit with a Nor'easter st- storm and i looked at the weather it said moderate pollen i'm like oh yeah because all these trees <laughs> fell over uh, yeah is it... like, so... oh, it's time to spray my offspring everywhere <laughs> it's that time again damn it mr I... burns <laughs> power outage and allergy attacks so would, would better match in hell uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah name a better or worse Not combo money. all right benji benji i believe oh. in you <laughs> the Holly- Thank you, Chris, for the fifty dollars. Um, hey. But also, it said the Hollywood Hulk is shame is what they call this Chicken sex butt. video. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh my God! What? I just okay. I want. I I, I need I need Benji to <laughs> upset here. Head scissors into item. All the this just still went away. What happened? It just like vanished. Yeah, I don't know how that really works. I don't know. Ben, ben, Benji, ben, Benji, Benji, to quote, to quote the late great, um, uh, what was that guy that Austin brought out to be like get the table, Devon? Ah, shit, what was his name? <laughs> I, I'd have to go look at his name. Never mind. Actually, wait, right I can just. One. He kicked out. He used the stool softener. Come on, Benji. Spike Dudley, big dick Dudley. <laughs> Damn it, all three of us said that at the same exact time. Big dick Dudley is really good. Dudley. Dudley from Street Fighter. Mr. Mr. Dudley, as your lawyer, I I, I strongly encourage you to, to put Big Dick Dudley on all of your merchandise. And your... <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna make you the next daddy ass. I think Big Dick Dudley's up next. <laughs> really, I'm seeing a bright future for Big Dick Dudley. <laughs> Big, big dick ass, yeah. It's, it says like Big Dick Dudley is back in town. That'd be a that'd be a really good. Uh... <laughs> Daddy ass Dudley. One. <laughs> My Benji. Ah, oh, Benji, you're so close. Benji, you just need like one more item beat now, or a run in. A run in would be so good right now. The Frankensteiner. I uh, did the Frankensteiner. <laughs> one. Hit Hogan with garbage. I think I think more garbage, more garbage assists. It's like a it's like a Marvel vs. Capcom thing. You just uh, it'd be so funny if the trash actually hurt. That would be incredible. Like it's just if you, if you were a heel, you were like slightly stronger, but all the garbage hit you. Well, oh, Benji, you were so close. Oh my God, this is robbery. This is this is the screw job. This is I don't. No. Really? Really? God damn it, Hogan. Really, Hogan? <laughs> I'll never forgive you. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast. I'm gonna blast.
Macho Man be a man in in, in protest <laughs> outside of his house. Just gonna <laughs> find his place of residence. Brutus the Barber beeped on Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I like just like adding Dudley to other to, to everyone else. That's yeah, Raven Dudley. Ra Raven might have my favorite rant because it's like <laughs> I it actually is so good to me now that I don't know if it was phoned in anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. do whatever you want, leave me alone. Yeah, St Sting Stings was pretty like you know you just you just threw something out that was. Yeah. He's like, look, I just got off a plane like ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, he's he's not quite altogether there, but but Ravens is, is at least like believably really like I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has to fight Snuff. <laughs> Raven, my favorite part right. of the NWO. The, the per the perfect ring for this. The perfect venue. <laughs> Yell, dub, dub. <laughs> I really like the idea of Snuff Dudley. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's also uh, that Chris is here. That one story you made about uh, with Belial the from uh, Basket Case. I was laughing so hard. Oh yeah. His name was Belial Bradley. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a wrestler name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> they could just put Belial in this game. Belial Dudley. <laughs> Belial <laughs> Dudley is is powerful. That's <laughs> <laughs> the the power the power of Belial Dudley is is just Belial like the, like the like the gravity of a collapsing star that Belial Dudley just <laughs> Belial get the best Belial get the best that's so good. <laughs> People don't want. People aren't ready for the Basket Case Wrestling Federation. They're just not. <laughs> They're not. No one is. No one is. No one can withstand. <laughs> but the monster from Brain Damage being the guest character. I just. I feel like you just incorporate all of the third or fourth string, like horror icons that aren't quite like all the um, all the fucking. All those evil toys from like uh, Baby Oopsie is in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to see Baby Oopsie wrestle. That's what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, book Belial for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for us to book him and he just responds with, One, I am a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Belial and Gokaban. <laughs> <laughs> It's a surprise attack! Uh-oh, from who? Sergeant! <laughs> I, I was, yeah, I was like 99% convinced it was gonna be... Look, Sar Sergeant, you deserve this. Sergeant deserves the world. <laughs> Look at his face, he's so He's beat. so happy! He's helping! <laughs> I love him! <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that's got to be the spot of the night. That's so good. <laughs> Are you serious? Holy shit, this match. <laughs> Raven and Lex Luger, let's get... <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> Animal Farm 2. Oh god, the game is dying. This game is Truly. awesome. This game is awesome when you're not playing it. <laughs> Oh my god. Sergeant my coat. Uh, okay. Snake stuff takes it. That was. <laughs> that was a bona fide WCW match right there. I just, yeah, maybe this game is good. I, just, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I don't necessarily want to play it, but the way, the, the way that these keep going. <laughs> Make me want to orchestrate chaos using it. That's what it feels like it's great for. So we got Alex Wright versus the Mantis. We're gonna have to listen to his rant again because I mean yeah. Hey man, here's Alex Wright, the German. If you wanna know what the Germans are about, pick me and you're gonna have a hell of a victory. I promise. <laughs> I think in Nitro he had um 
had like two different ones because he just said the one it, uh, he said the second one entirely in German, and I'm kind of sad they didn't do that here. Uh, if he if he had an option to like play it in in like both or like it it did one after the other, that would have been powerful. <laughs> if you want to know what the Germans are about, pick me and don't read a history book. <laughs> yeah, just don't. Uh, yeah. It's, it started in wrestling, and there was nothing before that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, wrestling and Heinz um, Arende New Belton. Uh, mm -hmm. That's about it. <laughs> That's our teenage ride for a little bit. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's just power bomb. This time for some minutes. <laughs> wrestling is so good. <laughs> Model is terrifying. Particle that mantis is my <laughs> uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Mantis. That's uncle, they call yeah, old old Johnny Uncle Mantis. <laughs> yeah, like seeing that live footage where the inland devs are like around Alex right to like shoot stuff makes it even funnier that I'm looking at him wrestling a giant praying mantis now. <laughs> They, they don't train you at the Nightmare Factory to wrestle an actual Nightmare <laughs> Mantis creature that's going to beat you with his pipe. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> or, or to do that. That's just natural talent. <laughs> to just find the thorax and just... Like, did he break its back? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> ow. Ah. One, like me saying out. ow when I don't have the same physiology is wild. I'm just <laughs> I think generally any organism that like if you interact it with a way that makes that noise is never good news. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Scott Norton. Okay. It, now, now, last we saw Scott Norton, wasn't he on the what? side of the creature? Has he? What? He's, whoa! Wait! <laughs> Hold on, I had to pause to write this down. So, Mantis <laughs> is now with Arg and Varg. <laughs> I didn't realize that was. <laughs> the the, nego the negotiations have broken down between the creatures <laughs> and then. Oh yeah, Chris, we were talking about that like 20 minutes ago. We were just like, God, there's so many Scots in WCW. There's a lot of Scots. For some reason, is. I wonder if anybody named Scott actually worked on this game. <laughs> I wouldn't. If I, if I Google THQ Scott, I feel like I'll find a, a pretty sizable... <laughs> what is happening? No one has any health, by the way. <laughs> This is a uh, oof. We got all oh, suplex. <laughs> Where's the mantis? Our, our... Oh, hey there. Uh... <laughs> is man is mantis okay? <laughs> I think mantis <laughs> might win. Um. Yep. <laughs> it's like did did mantis punish him? Really? <laughs> we'll, we'll, fi we'll find out on on Monday night. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Fuck money. Oh, thank you for the fuck money. Uh, hey. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we're up to 330 now. We're, we're, wow, we're killing it. Thank, thank y'all very much. Um, yeah. I, no charity stream has ever gone this good before <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, so we got Bulldog versus Mean Gene. Uh,. Now, Good. now before, um, who did, now, now Mean Gene, he ran in during the Sting thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, it was Sting he, versus Doug Dillinger. He, he used a tombstone, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Strangely, that's one of the generic moves. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sweatiest also that I think I've ever seen Mean Gene in that, in that video, but, um. <laughs> Also, this looks like he's about to chide him for like not showing up to a piano recital or something. <laughs> like, he's... 
Well, just because you're British doesn't mean you have to show up for a piano lesson. <laughs> <laughs> if Melly gets to a thousand, we will put three wrestlers' characters from this game of her choice in the song house. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Put Chicken Boy in Soul House. Yeah. Ch Chicken Boy, would you like to play a game? <laughs> Me, Gene. Your usual love of chicken is... <laughs> oh my god. Me, Gene is surprisingly, like... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Spry I was gonna say Spry, but Agile is, is better. <laughs> If Melly gets a thousand, we will kill Mean Gene again. <laughs> you can't kill me in a way that matters. <laughs> mean Gene's like the. He's like, I crave the cruelty of the audience. <laughs> now my favorite. One of my favorite Saw Out bet, bits is still uh, Jigsaw talking to the contestants, and one of them is Cork from Millbleed. He's like. <laughs> Like Cork, you killed all those eggs, and then he just pauses. Like, we're gonna kill you, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I could kind of see Mean Gene as Donald Cashman, like a. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like he jumps into the wall and he's. <laughs> One, he kicked out. My other favorite bit from Saul House is when he was bragging about uh, the like pretending to be dead on the floor the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yeah, I pretend to be dead on the floor for like nine hours. And <laughs> <laughs> oh oh, wait a minute, Gene, Gene, you can. Me, Gene, uh, you got it. Ah, yeah, oh, the headset, of course. Ah, oh, the old. <laughs> me, <and> Gene's <laughs> getting pounded. No. Me, me, I. Hmm. <laughs> Wow! Damn. An actual pinfall. <laughs> also, someone was running in at the very last second. That's... Is that Kazayashi? I think that's Ka like... Mm. <laughs> I was gonna say it is. <laughs> he had the, the Kaz... He had the Kaz pants. <laughs> Me, Gene, is getting pounded. I recognize those... <laughs> I recognize those pants anywhere. <laughs> Mean Gene is, you know, you know, don't, don't, don't look at my Mean Gene browser history. Don't, don't, don't do it. I said, <laughs> Nothing good is there. Okay, so we have a person to root for here, and his name is Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Gucci, my goat. Gucci. <laughs> we beat last time, actually. Oh, he beat Sanders Keel. Okay. Yeah, I, I I think Gucci might begin be one of the dark horses, especially here though. Like it's this is not this is not what I want Gucci to go down to. I, I want Gucci to take this. I'm a little biased. Just a tad. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean yeah. Excuse me, what did you mean when you googled Mean Gene recipe? <laughs> <laughs> mean Gene bean dip. I'm sure that's in like a WCW cookbook somewhere. Oh yeah, the the mean the mean Gene. Uh, bean machine. <laughs> the Dr. Robotnik Bean Gene Bean Bean. You, you, you take the beans and you clean them <laughs> for the soup that you make. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> As Sasha would put it, this is Jericho, parentheses, better times. Yeah, but Jericho before, I don't know. I don't want to say before the accident. Jericho. <laughs> Jericho before the bubbly. Jericho before. For the internet, I guess. Before Maybe January before yeah. sex. Yeah. Jer <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I, <laughs> I remember um, during the cable of wrestling empire playthrough that Chris did, which is. Uh, Highly recommended viewing. At one down. point, he's just like, uh, I think it was something he posted. It was just like, this is wrestler's wife is technically a terrorist. Hit his band fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> the Jericho Vortex. Also, is Jericho's head just really big here? <laughs> it's, um... It's like the size, almost, of... You know, Veal's Be model was huge. It's like not quite that. I think they're ac uh, accounting for the hair. I think the hair model... <laughs> it's like quite... It's, it's kind of jank enough that, damn. You know, that, that would be wild if... Uh, it's just suddenly Jericho exploded. <laughs> MK3 style. Yeah, just six rib cages just came out of it. This ain't wrestling empire or pro wrestling sim because I found out people could die in that. Hmm. I, I, I read the Wait, news. So <laughs> I read the news it was like NWO Sting suddenly died. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just need a version of this with ring outs. I think that's <laughs> like 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 real like real, you know. Yeah. Like, 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 oh, we, we brought up, uh, Onida Atsushi FMW stuff earlier. I need, like, an exploding bat finish or something. I need... Jericho wins. Oh. Ah, dang it. Well, Gucci, you tried. This is a valiant attempt. Yeah, I mean, it really did. <laughs> it's okay. I, I almost... Jericho, you're on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Worker deaths are a thing. I I feel like I used to see Journey of Wrestling in like the used bin a whole bunch and I always thought about it and I never committed. <laughs> I did like you could kinda of make a little sprite of your character in that. Anyway, uh, Brian Adams has to fight a gorilla now. Oh wait no, Journey of Wrestling is the free one. Okay, I'm I'm looking I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I'm being silly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brian Adams, famous flock member. The the free? I, mean, I like I like free. It's like it's, it's like a free browser-based thing. That might be a good way to get my morning going. I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the big caps with Dort on them. Hmm. I'll look that up. Probably not going to be anything, but... Oh, not the spoder again. <laughs> <laughs> If if you have any sort of in entomophobe, uh, oh, though, okay, ju ju it's like squirt but with a J at the front. Okay, see that's what I was questioning earlier. I was like, those are bottle caps. I didn't know what the hell those were at first. Yeah, I don't know why they're yards. Why is Get you some delicious. Or maybe it's supposed to be a D and not a J? Like it's lowercase? Yeah, oh, is that the giant was... rat? Why? Yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, the reason why Brian Adams looks like that is because apparently joining the flock just turns you gray entirely. That tracks, I think. It's... Brian! <laughs> <laughs> gorilla! No one, no one yells gorilla. Everyone else is yelling for Brian. One. He kicked out. He kicked out. He sure did. <laughs> I mean, I, I, kicking out of a hold by a gorilla, that's impressive. I, I think we're not recognizing how impressive that is. You know, Vanessa Chris left just as the gorilla showed up. This is true. <laughs> I, th this, this rat looks sad. <laughs> I want to cheer them up. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just, you know, they're being treated I think it's because Gorilla's losing. Like, I think that's why. Yeah. Have you they, ever they came all the, the... The rat came all the way down here to see their, their local hero... Fight Brian Adams. One. Wait, who? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, astronaut! We're here <laughs> from the future! Like, Brian Adams, you gotta go, buddy! You don't know... We need this Gorilla to save humanity! Quickly! Yeah, back right here! <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, Brian, take this! In the hip toss! Girl is doing the Gumbo Saruna O's also. Oh my god! Oh my god, this ass, this, this space gorilla program, the, the, the new alliance. I love to see it. Girl, I'm not, uh. I'm really doing a whole lot here. Oh, the frig is. This frig is at her! There's Tony a lot, which is very good. 
<laughs> Ten seconds. Dang it, what, what a what a change of what a change of pace. What a <laughs> what a turn of events. They're they're in this. Oh. <laughs> You cannot stop Gorilla last minute. <laughs> Not when he has the assistance from NASA. <laughs> I love that Dean Malenko just jump scared at the very end. And it's funny too, because you, know <laughs> you, you know who's up next. Oh, oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay. So now Dean Malenko is now part now not part of any um Un unaffiliated faction, i see but now bang is with the raven is ra <laughs> everyone's getting the cool raven flock jersey everybody just... <laughs> the flock is becoming like a virus <laughs> <laughs> can't believe the, the that the the, the the flock wasn't secretly the woke mind virus all along Jesus. <laughs> Maliko couldn't figure out the shrink rate. See, that's the thing. It's it's the best, like, <laughs> honey, I shrunk the, the wrestling scenario that I think I've seen in a game. So is this game bad? I'm sorry. I'm having to question that. I don't think this game is, uh... So wait. I think this game is adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, when, uh, Dean Malenko was with the flock, he had black and purple, but now he has yellow and red. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, I don't know if I like this 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 palette for his. Uh... Yeah, he's not pulling off ketchup and mustard very well. <laughs> that's like that Meng didn't even get a Raven's flying yeah, shirt. It says WCW. I like the I like the uh, the skull logo on the pants. That's a cool like. Look, but yeah, it needs like something. It needs something to accompany it. It's yeah. Come on, Meng, you can't go out like this. Meng, if you, <laughs> Meng, look, Dean. Oh Dean God. tried to. One. Dean is without morals and scruples. Dean tried to assault a gorilla, <laughs> like five <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> he became really tiny somehow. <laughs> yeah. <he did. laughs> I like the idea of Mean Gene trying to work the shrink ray and like not really understanding it. Right, whoa, folks! I don't, I don't know what's uh. <laughs> oh, now we're back whoa, in the Cal to... Palace. Cal Palace? <laughs> oh shit! Is Cowboy still in? I, I forget. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's in. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> he's, he's up against Adam. One. <laughs> The, the the good you know the good news for all the cow pokes out there all, all the you know if you're if you're waiting to say howdy I want to see cowboy versus beef hearted <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that would be a banger um, maybe we'll do that as a bonus match where we call it <laughs> the Frankensteiner the Frankensteiner oh <laughs> this Ming just spearing people that's hmm. yeah. You know, it's not copyrighted or anything. <laughs> it's, it's just... <laughs> Me, Gene, I shrunk the kids. This is really good. That might have to be the title for something. <laughs> it's a, it's a very normal uh, film idea, I guess. <laughs> Or match concepts. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come on, Meng. Don't get hit by anything. Oh, nicely done. That was. <laughs> Didn't even need a right. run in. Would hey, throw, like... throw all the garbage you want. That was that was a solid match. That was there was no last minute. Attempt to change the outcome. There was no, you know, <laughs> no gorilla interferes. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, we do have gorilla doesn't need help. <laughs> oh, it's time. 
it's real like, hard out here for an old cowboy, especially when you gotta fight. Tight <laughs> Got to fight thermite. <laughs> Man, we're in a fight now. I... If, you know... The Frankensteiner! <laughs> I'm glad he said that because I, I couldn't Hitler. tell what the hell he did. I think that th there was... So there was a point where wrestling maybe got, like, a little, like, exhausting right. in the Attitude Era, right? Like, people were like, okay, this is just... You're just doing edgy stuff, just to be edgy. It's me, Austin, yada yada. Well, <laughs> listen, Adamant could have fixed it. Vertical suplex! <laughs> and I'm, I'm watching... I just watched a cowboy do a vertical suplex to it. I... What the listen, The pin out. looks so strange. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what wrestling needs. Yeah. I, I want... I want... The, I want an advanced level of WMAC Masters bullshit. Daniel Piscino fights a giant. Man. <laughs> yeah, like just. Imagine if he started singing EDF right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even shoot them anymore. We have to wrestle the them. Frankensteiner! Every time he does the Frankensteiner, I'm so confused as to what I'm looking at. Bomb. <laughs> Simple enough, I suppose. <laughs> this is truly just the the perfect reenactment of the nineteen nine the nineteen eighty nine family friendly comedy. Funny, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> but in wrestling for like, what if? I guess Rick Moranis as the cowboy would be good. One, oh, yeah. kicked out. Or just, you know, you have Rick Moranis with a really amazing looking fake mustache, and then you give him aviators and a... <laughs> that... looked incomprehensible. That looked amazing, like... <laughs> just be bending through your, like... Your, your chaps <laughs> to, to reach this ant. You're like, I gotta get this ant out of my... Out of that region. The Frankensteiner! The Frankensteiner. <laughs> oh god, Ant's got a bat! <laughs> he got a... He got a boss. Oh, sh... Oh! <laughs> um... Um... Okay. Oh, is he trying to do a timer scan? Uh... Let's get oh, this him, feels though. like... This feels, this feels scummy. Oh my god. Cowboy, you... You piece of trash, how could you? <laughs> Can't believe this. Uh... <laughs> well, Adam, you Adam, you fought valiantly. You you made it past me. I'm Adam, even for making it out of that first round, which was an absolute bloodbath. You gotta you gotta <laughs> hand it to the the four foot tall. <laughs> wow, what a creature. What a what a perfect it, just perfectly equipped for battle. Again, ants can pick up things that are that weigh many, many times their size. I, I think that just cowboy, you know, really it was it was the it was the the chaps that did it. Oh yeah. Trying kind to of maintain, you know, your 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 grapples, your graps on those chaps. You can't grab those chaps. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just Jamie the learned uh, getting his revenge for <laughs> the last match he had. Uh, I think maybe. Four more, maybe, than we could call it for today. Sounds good. I can, I can hold off on getting fawood. I think. <laughs> it's what? All right, flapper. Ah, flapper. I miss you. <laughs> yeah, I miss John. <laughs> I uh, want to be a fish, Sherman. <laughs> Yeah, this Rocco Rock portrait is really great. <laughs> it's just a snapshot from TV. <laughs> uh, he looks like the guy from Ministry a little bit. He oh my like god, Al he Jorgensen. does. Yeah. <laughs> no W is what you're gonna go home with after you fight Rocco Rock. <laughs> <laughs>
Did I have, have I ever told you that's one of the first albums I think I bought with my own money? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh wait, shit! Hold on, I gotta do a fashion change because. <laughs> Ooh yeah. yeah, yeah. This, uh, this is important. <laughs> I don't remember what the first album I got with my own money was. I think it. I know it wasn't the first one, I just know it was a ministry something or other. It wasn't like Houses of, It was Houses of the Mole, I want to say. Uh, at least that was like... I was at least in college at that point, which is weird. Um, <laughs> Mine might have... Might have been Honky by the Melvins. Or the I too, strong. That, that's yeah, a strong yeah. one. Yeah. Um, then I... I remember uh, trying to... Uh, uh, like I, I had to go to school. I was like, but I want to listen to this album. God damn it! Why? It's been like a whole day, and I haven't heard it. Then I heard it. My life changed uh, irreversibly. <laughs> so. mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah Rocket Rock has no alt costume, so he's just, you know just take our word that he's part of the NWO. And sometimes the the impact sounds just get me. <laughs> like that suitcase smack noise. It's a it's a good sound. It's a it's a memorable it's like um it's like that Gundam sound where like <laughs> Wow. Where it's like Sunrise uses the same like sound where where a mech does that little jump jet thing. <laughs> They they use that across a bunch of different shows. It's just it's kind of like that. Uh, I accidentally skipped the match. Um, oh really? <laughs> I mean we we kind of I think overestimate like th this is a this is a pretty big back bracket I think <laughs> like we're you know yeah. we're a ways in though. Yeah, Sasha will have plenty to watch. I'll tell you that much. I I'm I'm here for it. I'm I'm excited. <laughs> Chavo Guerrero and Johnny Grunge are not affiliated with anybody, so... <laughs> Johnny Grunge has no allegiance. <laughs> only to only to Grunge. <laughs> I only care for Grunge. <laughs> I love that portrait, too, because he's just like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> like, hey, are, are you, are you, are you going to take the picture yet? Uh, hang on. Uh... <laughs> what do you mean you already took it? <laughs> Okay, yeah, this match, then... Alright. Yeah, we'll stop at, uh... The Larry's Abisco match, I guess. Power <laughs> bomb. Uh, well, It'd be so I funny if Public there. Enemy had to fight, fight each other. <laughs> that, that would be the... Yeah, because they did a bunch of in Inland's team kills, I want to say. Like, Inland's... Yeah. Just... Just unfortunately thrust in the position of just One, taking each other out while everybody else stands around and watches. They're like, okay, let 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 them let, let them fight. <laughs> but let them go first. I guess. I almost threw him in the trash. History's history's most punished stable, the inlanders. <laughs> Didn't get any moves yet. They're still beating each other up. Yeah, just just slumped. <laughs> Did any of them progress to round three? No, not not yet. <laughs> it was the it, it, Chow, oh Chow. By the way, it was absolutely the the boring the, the <laughs> it was the boring thing. It's it's exactly that. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Thank you. <laughs> like, it's that saying. It a bunch. You know what else uses that? Uh, Votoms. Votoms uses that a shitload, which is incredible. And also, Votoms is great, and it's one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. Like, it's... Yeah, Head Scissors. Head Scissors. Uh, head, head Scissors, again, is still maybe the most, like... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> this is how you tell we've been watching a whole bunch of matches, is I'm starting to run out of vocabulary. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um... 
Once he gets the un shot unassailable. Over. The un an unassailable move. Head head head. Head. See, he has it. He just <laughs> if they're standing there, why not head scissors? Why not Zoid? <laughs> you can't reverse it. One. I'm I'm not reversing it. Is it? That's a. <laughs> I would like to again point out that Hoof Hearted was head scissoring uh, <laughs> some people Poor with some hooves. <laughs> like, can't, that can't feel good. I can't, I can't believe that the horse fought a horse. <laughs> Particle suplex! Yeah, it, it, means, it means the world to me that, that yeah, that Hoof Hearted fought a guy who sounds just close enough to being named horse that it's like they start they they wanted that match because it irritated them. Who farted this in his head scissors master? Yeah, he's the real uh, uh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You, you go you go to the factory to learn how to head scissor when you're a horse. <laughs> Oh, Johnny Grunge defeated Dude Man. Get him out of here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, we got two more for tonight. Um, hopefully, the in yeah. one of the inlands can make it out of this. Uh, Absolutely a beautiful bracket so far. I'm, oh, we're going Arge and Barge. All right. Versus Chicken Boy. Ooh, history is most punished boy. <laughs> Chicken Boy. Um, stagger, staggeringly good name. I think. I think that if the rest of the staff gave them this name, the more I think about it, like, <laughs> it's, I think the thing is his portrait just tells a story. Yeah, like he has that smirk, that half smirk, like, it's like, oh, you're just gonna name me Chicken Boy in the game, really? All right, <laughs> just take it, the picture before I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, didn't even take my jacket off. <laughs> I got my or chicken. He's, or he's really into it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got my chicken to watch, chicken boy. <laughs> and it's like, how do you get that name in the office? Is it like, do you bring chicken for lunch? And someone's like, hey, some kind of chicken, <laughs> chicken enjoyer. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Always with his nuggets, I swear to God. This, this guy fucking loves chicken nuggets. This, every, this guy loves his tendies. <laughs> <laughs> or you just have chicken for him. Could be either or. It could, I mean, yeah, that's... Just, we have diagnosed him with having some affinity for it to the point of it being his name. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, I want to just be able to find one of these devs on Twitter and just, like, what, what was with all this? <laughs> like, yeah, like, did you, do you want to explain, uh, you know, it, it would be very, uh, <laughs> if they, if they feel like they don't want to talk about it, I mean, I can't force anybody to tell me, you know, tell me the true story, but I'm just saying I'm curious. <laughs> I mean, this is enthralling to me. <laughs> the 90s are clip of putting your DoorDash driver in my game just because they happen to be around during photo day. Yeah, it is, I would very, very much appreciate, you know, if, if the staff <laughs> could, could do some murmurs to, you know, to some of us, like... <laughs> Squire. Squire is, um... I feel like maybe it's odd that Squire would be helping Arge and Bar. I don't make- I don't wanna... I just felt like they were from the same region. Before now. Chicken boy gets so Maybe that's an assumption based on the medieval trappings. I don't know that that's even accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Chicken Boy! Chicken Boy, this is uh, this is still doable, but you gotta you gotta lock in. <laughs> you gotta really lock in here, Chicken Boy. I, I don't. What's Dirk the Dairy doing in the Impact Zone? Uh, Inwin loves Monty Valid Python. Question. Yeah. This is... <laughs> 
Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. <laughs> no, he said chicken butt. It's for chicken oh, butt. Oh, okay. You know, you know, we. <laughs> Look, they, there are certain foot. There are certain phonetic like sound alikes. <laughs> oh, chicken boy, we we had we had so much riding on you. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no. I'm just I'm just you know. We we now I guess can assume that Squire is a villain. Squire came into that ring with nefarious <laughs> intentions. If we riot now. <laughs> well, I started rioting the moment uh, John got eliminated. If you don't know who John is, uh, it's this guy. Yeah. He got like John, John had a John had a, a good shot at it. It just. <laughs> I'm still also. Did we did we eliminate? Uh, Five o'clock. Tony is like off out of the. He's out of the game, right? He's not. Yeah. Okay. Four or five o'clock. Tony. We just we barely knew he. <laughs> John's doing the Mr. Beast pose. Replace Mr. Beast with John. That's that little, little, <laughs> that's uh, true. Yeah. I I want I want a normal guy like John as opposed to Mr. Beast who is an abnormal human being. <laughs> He's basically the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could I could not ask for a better replacement than John. <laughs> Now, 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 Larry, you're our last chance to to surpass the sentient tech. This, this AI, it's just ruining all of our our days. Just, just <laughs> the tech stuff can be pretty funny, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it's look, <laughs> not not in wrestling, not not in my not yeah. in my you know normal sane ring. <laughs> <laughs> I my, my my I want these organic wrestlers. I don't want this like. <laughs> That's definitely not how you spell Larry's name, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. They misspelled Larry. Frankensteiner. One. The Frankensteiner. You know, the more I think about it, nothing is stopping you from doing this to your computer. That's true. So sometimes <laughs> you can yeah. you can just do this to your computer whenever. <laughs> if your computer ever gives you problems, you can just break it. You can just head scissor it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can head, you can head scissor it. They'll go like oh. <laughs> Many, many such cases. <laughs> of If you go into like a Best Buy and let's get the Geek Squad behind the counter, this is what they're doing. <laughs> uh -oh. This is what it looks like. Oh, come on. Uh oh. I don't like, I don't like this scam. I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Say I out of here. I'm done. I'm done with it. Get, get out of here, Chat GPT. This ain't for you. <laughs> okay, before Hell we yeah. go. Well, before we do the bonus match, I want I want to see if any. Oh wait, no, we do have an inland guy because Veal exists. So. Veal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Veal might be the strongest inland uh, representative. Like oh. I can't think of a better. Yeah, like look, look at that guy. That's a good face. <laughs> he easily is, and he has to fight Stevie Ray. <laughs> All right. Then after this, we'll uh, do a dance match with uh, the cowboy and the cow. I like, I like capping it off with a dance party. That's that's a, you know. Okay. Whoa! Per perfect, what? perfect locale. What, Veal? What? Why did Stevie Ray just teleport to him to get him? Um, uh, Wesker. <laughs> <laughs> X Factor, I guess. Veal is just an X Factor all the time. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> uh, this is the, the horses. Something's gotten into the horses. <laughs> TV Ray <laughs> used instant transmission. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig this sucker? And then he just teleports. <laughs> Oh, 
I just, I love the idea of Stevie Ray puts the two fingers to his head. He's in he's in the ring. Like. <laughs> it's funny because out of all the feels with the inland guys, where I'm like, I don't know who he is. I, yeah, I don't know what he, wow, he was, that was a very difficult looking pile driver to execute. That was, <laughs> yeah. got, got a hand it to CV on that one. What? Oh God. That's Rick Fuller. <laughs> Rick Fuller has had it. This Rick Fuller has been in the barn long, long enough. <laughs> he a beating. Look here, Veal. You think just because you're from, you think you're from the farm? People shit you're not on. From, you're not from Hillshire Farms. You don't know. <laughs> People shit on Steve's <laughs> first Harlem Heat run in WCW before how well he did the Soul Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> Ooh, cow and chicken. <laughs> it's funny is that Veal is just taking his time being outside. So. Feels like this is a this is a. This is Bay Ever Average. This is. <laughs> Feels having fun. In this game, they also have the same. There's like two. Wow. Win. Okay, never mind. Feel lost. I'm kind of shocked, actually. I, I Ray half-heartedly raised the roof. <laughs> I um, I simmed a couple of matches with him just to test. That is not the first time he has lost like that. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah. Uh, so, let's have a little peek as to I'm, I'm not gonna sim them right now I just want to show what is uh, there for round 3 right now hmm Mike Enos versus Iron Mike Tanay okay Parka versus Hulk Hogan oh <laughs> no oh gosh come on Laparka do, uh, do us all a solid <laughs> Snuff versus Mantis <laughs> uh, banger Bulldog versus Jericho, that's just standard WCW. Yeah, it's like a... Third no, game. get get out of here. Oh, right? no, any... Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, there's four-man matches in this, but, it's, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, um... Because if, if the... I feel like a four... A four... A four-way in bracket would be a little weird. Like, a, Yeah. I you, think... would, you would probably still have interference, right? Like, I, I guess you could turn it off. I don't know. I think also you can only have the battle royal. So oh, okay, that's rumble, you know so. what's so funny about that? That's just ring race. <laughs> oh god, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the ring rage. I'm holding a tournament that probably only me and Eric are gonna be in. But yeah, you know, well, be fun. we'll we'll take a we'll do a. You know what's funny? If we get an opportunity to do that, we can do it the way that you're kind of intended to play it where it's the exhibition thing and then there's a tourney mode where you and someone else go and beat everyone else like that's you know the co they meant initially i think for it to be a co-op game like a like a pit fighter almost and then at the last minute someone was like get us one of them mortal combats <laughs> <laughs> one of them mortal combats um uh so you know, the, it's my. <laughs> one of the other matches is uh, a gorilla versus Ming. Yeah. Uh, that's just gonna be horrific. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm back in gorilla all the way. I, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a unique occurrence in the history of wrestling if, if a gorilla won a thing. I, <laughs> I don't think it's ever happened. Uh, Cowboy versus Java Guerrero. I like how Cowboy is moving on pretty far. Cowboy is really killing it. I I don't know. Cowboy needs a stable. <laughs> Hi, I just yeah. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like Mang would kill a Gorilla, but a, gor a Gorilla would kill Mang, so it's just kind of like whoever lands. The yeah, person. it's really <laughs> that. That's like the truest five five. <laughs> I can't wager any other odds in that. <laughs> uh. Rocco Rock versus Arjun Varge. <laughs> Arjun Varge getting farther than I thought they would, too. That's kind of wild. Yeah. Any animal on God's Earth. M Mang versus the dinosaur is coming soon. Um, <laughs> I think that's a thing you can book probably somewhere. <laughs> All right, so. 
Oh, it's time for an old cowboy to hit the dusty trail. But Bessie, you're getting in my way, and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do about it? We're going to dance our asses all day. <laughs> let, me, let me show you how to do cowboy shuffle on thunder. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, wow. <laughs> um, they made I don't. A I'm at a. This too. <laughs> I got to I'm at a. So. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> hey, speak. Speaking of Zoot Suit Riot from earlier, this is. <laughs> oh yeah. Awfully. Uh, the zoot suit and the flapper. <laughs> so, <laughs> that idol stance, by the way, has a hitbox. Huh. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Is it Cool Cat Daddy or Cool Cat Debbie? I didn't... Cool Cat Baby, I think. Or Cool Cat Baby? <laughs> it's a Cool Cat Baby. <laughs> also known as Bean Cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to Bean. <laughs> This we... is your song. They're playing your song. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we found our theme song. <laughs> the, the little spin is wow. <laughs> <laughs> can we can, can we find the mocap for, for this? <laughs> I want my royalties now. <laughs> Is that a guy in the back with just a Tommy gun? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice, nice joint you got here. <laughs> you guys should got cows. <laughs> It'd be a shame if a giant ant came in here and wrecked the place up. <laughs> we, we, ought, we ought to racketeer the joint. <laughs> Hey, hey, Tommy, they got cowboys wrestling cows. That's, a, that's innovative. That's a, beautiful chain wrestling. <laughs> this is, this is without a doubt, beautiful. This is, this is a moment that... <laughs> the cake always gets may, may, Maybe video games are art, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to suggest this game to the actual account games are art. <laughs> I, but yeah, actually, shout out to them because I I didn't uh, I hadn't been on their channel until recently. <laughs> um, the games are uh, I like a lot of people go with classes of game, but there's just something yeah, about games are hard that I'm like. Yeah, I think they're both pretty strong in terms of. <laughs> Whoa, Bessie, just trying to seal the deal. Oh, one second. Cowboy punishes what? Bessie. What? <laughs> no one was just break dancing. <laughs> what a what a thing. What a what such a, video a thing. Game. Such a match. <laughs> plus, plus ten stars for that last bit where he just starts spinning on Bessie <laughs> after the bell. Oh Lord, god, that was five and a half hours. Uh <laughs> That that's some of the best wrestling I've ever seen in a wrestling game. I, I look, I think that's the bar. It's a high bar. <laughs> how, how can can we surpass the bar? I I don't know. I mean, we got tomorrow. We got we got uh, some other stuff. That was that was strong. Thank you again for everybody who's been hanging out and watching and donating. I'm wow, he's alley. Yeah, it it did, it did have that roadhouse feel to it. That was. Yeah. Got the end really sing a Malenka there. Uh, <laughs> man, thanks so much for donating. We'll, we'll, it'll still be... Um, it, the donation will still be active, or the donation system will still be active tomorrow, so plenty of time to get the dancing uh, Royal Rumble on their way. <laughs> <laughs> if you, yeah, if you want a whole rumble like that, like what you just saw, there's, there's still... <laughs> there's gonna be time. <laughs> Uh, it's too sweet. <laughs> too late, I, uh... Oh man, that was a lot of thunder. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of thunder. Some would say a, a sumptuous. 
<laughs> hours upon hours of thunder. I, I was I was shocked yeah. by all this this thunder. I, again, that some of those matches were actually bangers though. Like that that hoof oh, yeah. one especially. I I think that's a powerful highlight. I just, if you wanted to make a reel of that, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> yeah, hoof and uh, hoof versus Horus is something yeah. that Eric Bischoff wishes he booked. If uh, someone actually makes a sand hoof thing, I'll I'll love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but till then, yeah, we got a lot of round two to get uh, to look at. Then round three, and round four. Then the fight. I cannot imagine who's gonna win this whole thing. It is like anybody's guess. I'm I'm point. still I'm still calling. I'm I'm pushing for a. Uh... I, I got a couple of dark horse picks, but I'll, I'll save it for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come back and you know, come back and do some analysis, some, some deep dive on the thunder with us. Uh, you know. <laughs> deep dive in the thunder. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it just it makes you wanna the 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 whole theming of it makes you wanna you know get get like real theatrical with it. I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I need some rest. <laughs> oh please, yeah. Um, <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> we will see you uh, at noon tomorrow. We'll be back. Catch y'all then. See ya.